We're going to show the context of everything. Hold on. Okay, apparently I have to I have to open. Oh no. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and since then there's been a whole lot of in my opinion I'm going to take this off now. <laughs> yes, I need to see your face. <laughs> nice to see you guys. We went through a lot of trouble just for that gag. I'll tell you what. Thank you AB for getting the hay this morning. Well done to Sam getting the gumby. Everybody was um let me know if you need a touch up. Right now. The barn was a bustle in this morning, but I'll tell you what, we get er we get started early. Uh, there was a whole lot. I felt like I was being gaslit by a bunch of pedos. <laughs> like I'm losing my fucking yeah. mind. This is live. All goddamn weekend, and I was just thinking about this show on Monday because I had a little bit of a loss of innocence, and, I'm, and I mean that, it sounds silly, but I'm being somewhat serious when I say that because I did not know there were so many people that were like CP adjacent, lolly, lollipops I'm calling them now, mm -hmm. Boston the lollipop <laughs> guild. Oh, <no. laughs> Stroking as hard and fast as we can. I, I, t I barely touched on it. We took a long time getting through it because I, we all were having fun with it. I mean, it was just outrageous, ridiculous. But I feel like as we moved on, we started to understand like, oh, this is, this is actually really sick. Right. When we mm -hmm. saw, when we got like a higher resolution, when we actually got to see what was in his folder. This is sick. And so since then, there's been a ton of stuff I've seen, man, that is absolutely hair raising. And I'll tell you this, I didn't know there were so many people like that because not only is Vosh, as I'll continue to show today, how do I put this? He seems to have a vested interest in normalizing and people are gonna say that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna explain that, but I, I, I'm gonna stand behind this. He seems to have a vested interest in normalizing amorous relationships between adults and children. What? And I know that's an insane claim to make, but I feel like when I'm done here, there'll be no other conclusion to draw. Mm -hmm. That's what I, and so. Hold on, we're gonna watch this, probably instead of watching the other one, because this one's way better. But I'm gonna pause it, because this is live right now. But I did just look up the Vosh photo. Somebody sent me the link. And I will say a couple of them are very young looking. And I will say the nuanced and caveat to some of this conversation is, uh, this is pretty part of the course of a lot of hentai, but also a lot of people like porn that is about the energy of the porn they're consuming. So it's not exactly like unrelatable or unlikely that they would engage in what, looking at hentai that is drawn to depict an, an energy of what they want, but it's not, it's not, it's not without raising an eyebrow. It definitely is like the younger, it's definitely lolly. It's definitely young. And so it's like, oh, like there's that part of it. I think the horse stuff is kind of like, I hate to say it, humans like bestiality and I don't know what's wrong with them, but they really do. And I don't get it. But like, okay, whatever. That part of the population needs to figure their shit out. Um, but okay, like that's interesting. Thank you for sending me the photos. They're pretty he like normal hentai stuff. But obviously I could imagine like a person who's never seen hentai just being like completely confused by it. Now, the question is, does having the hentai mean you're into it literally or just the dynamics? Like BDSM is role play, right? Are you into the role play you're doing or do you just like the fun of the energy the role play gives you? And that's the question. Not only that, which was disturbing and shocking, but the amount of people that were coming to his defense, both fans of ours and some public figures. Oh. Like Keffles yeah. and oh, Tipster. Keffles. Both came out against me. Cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. Yeah. Keffles is a degenerate. I don't know when we're going to learn this about her. Like, I don't trust anything that comes out of her mouth. <laughs> and uh, Tip Tipster was lovely enough to provide us with the new rendition, which we'll watch. We have so much to watch. I'm telling you, Dan. 2024 season, Tipster, dude. Dan was like, should we talk about the Super Bowl? I says, dude, I have so much. <laughs> oh, they just started? Okay, so they're not even talking about him yet? I don't know. Do we want to wait around for... I wonder he which story they'll do first. He paid $7 million, supposedly, for, for him. This is the original one. Let's do the original and then we'll react to the new one. We're gonna show the context of everything so that we can make the best informed decision. Mm -hmm. Let's get more horses in chat before we start, please, everybody. <laughs> Recently, it was a few, yesterday or the day before, he ended his stream in a panic after he accidentally exposed his corn folder. Maybe Here's do the clip. A, like a one-liner of who is Vosh because um, 
you can see this is sure. I mean, yeah. We don't normally talk about him. So. Yep. I'm looking. Yes, sir. I guess we to. got the button. Yeah, oh. it's censored. It's censored. I did okay. myself. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, well, in the actual picture, is there even anything that is like mega vulgar? Yes. I think so. Yes. There is. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's enough there that it's Ca a problem. So, just for the record, I've seen the photos now. Thank you, Discord, for supplying those. Uh, they are indeed uh, would be offensive to the regular uh, peeps of the world. In the hentai world, I would say they're kind of, I want to say standard, but also very kind of lollyish, which could be considered standard since I don't know why Japan is a thing for younger people. Y'all need to get your shit figured out. I will say, look, I've watched a lot of hentai in my life, a lot. And when I watch anime, I age people up. In the same live stream, Ethan goes on to say like Nami's tits are too big. Everybody slow down. She's over the age of 18. But also like I just age characters up. When I watch anything, if they're still in high school, I just pretend like it's a bunch of 30 year olds in high school. Because, like, I'm 34. Like, when I watch anime, everyone's my age. I don't care that Goku's 50 in the series. He's my age. Like, I just make everybody my age. That's what I do. So, I don't know. I just kind of, like, um, I just, that's what I do when I watch stuff. I don't know if other people do that. But I just assume, like, okay, what if I was back in high school, but I'm, like, my age. I don't want to be 15 again. I really don't want to be a kid again. Like, I hate to be. I don't want to be a kid again. So, that's what I do. So I kind of think that's what a lot of people do. That's my theory. But I'm not sure if that's true. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's true. Cock. So here is a clip of the end of his stream. <clears throat> the Yo, other day. YouTube chat is filtering all of the, uh, horse, the corn? horse corn eggplant emoji combo. What? Uh, it's like getting hidden, auto hidden in the chat. I can see. What are they uh, running defense for Vosh? What What's the, the deal here? Maybe it's just too spammy with emojis. So they're... it's a secret language that we're finding out. Mod, if we if we could manually go through and show all of these. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what happened. And again, Vosh fans, if you want to defend him, I'm going to be receptive to everything you're saying. I'm not here with an agenda. I'm just showing something funny that happened. Okay, but I will say this. What was on the agenda? This is what socialism does to a <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We love the socials. He's just a uh, political commentator, right? So he's a, he's a political commentator, a socialist, and uh, he is pretty popular in that space. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there's like probably three main... Oh my gosh, yes, MC Bill says in Euphoria, in Euphoria, I always laugh because these quote kids look fucking mid-30s. Bro, even in American TV, the reason I swear to God people don't know what teenagers look like anymore is because all of the teenagers played on television are played by people in their 30s. Uh, Gossip Girl, all the shows I grew up in, those are adults playing teenagers. Have you ever seen a real teenager? They look like children. I don't think any of us are consuming media and actually thinking about kids. And I think the ones that are, are. But like, I think all of us are just like, I don't know what we're imagining, but I'm just aging characters up in my head. I'm aging shows up to be my age. Like, even if I watch shows, I'm just thinking like, okay, what would I, but I, I don't know if that's normal or not. I, I don't know. Um, based off your comments, some of you say that you do that as well. Um, but it is one of those things where again, like I, I can understand why these pictures would be super, 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 uh, confusing to people. But again, I just a bubble top so much. I've seen so much corn in my life, but also I love anime and I know like hentai is very controversial, but I, I wonder if everyone's having that same relationship with things like there, there is definitely a suspicion to the kind of corn you consume. And I definitely think a lot of corn is unethical based off of like how it was produced and all of those things. So I think there's a lot of conversation to be had around these things. Oh, political lefties, My which bad. is like Hassan, Vosh and Destiny. Mm -hmm. See, Vosh, Hassan and Destiny, the three stooges. Who all think they're the smartest people in the space. I love them all so much for all different reasons. So he's part of that trinity. He's one of the main guys. Got it. Not like mega popular because obviously it's a niche. Uh, yeah. Sure. But but he's very popular in that space. I mean, his videos get hundreds of thousands of views. Sometimes a million. Here it is. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now the sound. This is my biggest fear. Because again, I like even in my downloads folder right now, there's like all of my pictures for OF and I'm always afraid of leaking my own OF. Like that would be very bad. But also it's too many spoons to like organize everything. I just try to be very careful about what I put on screen and I try to go very slowly when I move. But it's so weird because this happened to like Tom the other night or like Vosh here. I don't know what happens except like it just it's a tech issue. It's a it's a you're not thinking issue. The question is, is Vosh allowed to have porn? Oh, God, I'm going to get demonetized corn on his computer. Is that the issue? Is it the issue? 
what it was is the issue that it was on stream. Look, it being leaked on stream, I just think happens to streamers sometimes. Not a big deal. But do we are we upset at the kind of hentai he watches? Are we upset um, that it's bestiality? Are we upset? Like, what are we upset about? Because like I I will be honest with you, especially in neurodivergent girly circles, a lot of us are reading corn about devils, about goblins, about just 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 creatures. And so I don't think that's very abnormal. Like, I'm going to be real with you. Some of your New York Times bestselling authors are writing books with basically corn about mythical creatures. So I'm going to throw it out there that it's not that weird. And I would argue it's not that weird because y'all are paying for it. The numbers don't lie. The money doesn't lie. Humans love fucking mythical animals. I don't know what it is. So I think we should have a conversation about it. You know what I mean? I think the only thing that was offensive is that the, the characters that Vosh were looking at was really aged down. The question is, does he like it because they were aged down or does he like it because of the depiction of the energy, the image displayed? That's the question. Now, is that how the stream ended? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. When people were posting it on Twitter, that's how they labeled it. But um, I, I think of... if I remember, I think it cut to like a, a holding card, some mm. sort of static holding card for a moment. And then it ended <coughs> shortly after that. So one more time. <laughs> so this is you how see, it this ended. Is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! <laughs> that's a face of a man who knows <laughs> so on the right they secretly they want to they're chasers i think they call them they want to be with trans women hmm. right. on the left they want to fuck horses <laughs> Bro. i want to see hassan's private folder now please like the stream guys because not only am i gonna get demonetized but ethan is gonna get me demonetized please like the stream guys <laughs> we need to fucking get to the bottom uh... Uh, but we all have secrets, don't we? So he he panics, and it couldn't be funnier, frankly. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't get to see what? his face. It happened so quickly. Yeah, it does. It happens fast. So here is an enhanced. He was so quick to turn off his stream too. Version of the it's uh, the thing. I'm not. I obviously can't put this on screen, but Eli, I'll show it to you. Oh. So I'll describe it to you guys. So it's a folder. Oh, is this the super high res one that you found, uh, love? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so oh, this is my... old. Oh yeah, you're, there's a there's a higher res one. Guys, I just found this leaked photo. Oh Hassan. no, dude, oh. Ha Hassan, <laughs> no. explain this shit oh, now. No. This is when he realized he was a socialist, right? <laughs> wow, right here, baby. If this isn't the richest kid picture I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> <laughs> there's no such thing as a coincidence. Look at him on that horse still. He looks comfortable. The pussy. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. This motherfucker rode horses as a kid. I mean, we talked about it many times. Pony ass. Pony Express ass looking. Pony <laughs> Express. You, you just uh, s revealed that you're afraid of horses, right, Ethan? I'm not afraid of horses. I just think they're powerful. You, they, they, they should be respected, not fucked around with. I, okay, yeah. I I mean, wait, is Ethan talking on stream about Vosh? That there was nothing bad in that folder. What? And that is a convenient lie that's told by Vosh. Okay, this is the updated and his one. Or this is his live. audience who are, um, frankly, unwilling to look closer at it and they're just running to his defense. I'll tell you what was in the per what was in that folder that was a problem. There was a there was a girl who looked 13. That was a problem. Mm. There was a girl who looked very young who was sucking off a horse. Is that a problem? I I don't like that. Don't Some like of that. these girls it's look all, pretty young. Um, okay. It's all anime. It's we all drawn. Yeah. Clarify again cuz It's all drawn. Yeah. Tacoma wept but apparently lolly which is a genre of hentai that features really young girls mm -hmm. is apparently a topic of huge debate mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people that support this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is absolutely mad oh wait till they find out about lollycon <laughs> the reason for that which we talked through on friday which love pointed out is that the consumption of this type of content normalizes and comforts people who would otherwise not uh, even think about such things or, or people who are more likely to act on their impulses or to go and buy actual CP to satisfy their. Also, a lot of people who've had childhood trauma also 
sort of like relives kind of moments to feel safer in it and or people put themselves in those situations to feel vulnerable feelings. So a lot of adults will role play being childlike because they want to feel a very type, a specific type of vulnerability. So there is actually a lot of like a lot of nuance to the conversation. But in general, I absolutely understand we want to protect children. But lots of adults, especially ones with like heavy amounts of trauma for lots of reasons, not just like because they were like maybe assaulted as children, but because it's a vulnerability energy, they mimic sort of like being childlike. Even adults do it now. Oh, can you make that for me? Can you warm up my soup for me? Can you bring me a blanket? All of those are like exhibiting childlike behavior. We're asking someone to take care of us. Even the action of asking someone to care for you is like reverting in a lot of ways back to adolescence. And then some people take that further into a sexual dynamic, right? Mm -hmm. Sick desires. And so. And then there's just the freaks, right? What was in that? That's basically it. You know, it was those two things. But part of the problem too for me guys is that this to be sorted folder he also leaked in 2017, I believe, or 19. Oh, boy. A couple years ago. Oh. And someone asked him on stream, I have all this, but I'm just giving you cliff notes now. They said, what's in the folder? He said, 98% porn. So I ask you this. Well, is that sex we negative? saw the very tip of the iceberg of that folder. <laughs> that folder's been in use for years. What else is in that folder? Mm -hmm. What are no the chances? Pedo. What are the chances that just on the top there was like several deeply, deeply disturbing images? So what is the chances that down below the years and years of saved images doesn't have worse? I think the worst stuff is in the taxes folder. Now, okay, for the record, on the last stream Ethan did about this, he even mentioned how he doesn't like One Piece because of the way Nami is drawn after the time gap, time skip. And I think like if you're watching anime and you're worried about people being depicted sexually, I think that like just like it's I think it's so cool how Ela and Ethan are prudish in the same way. They're so compatible. I, that's just I so compatible. I could never imagine my husband and I who also watch anime ever even thinking about it because we don't give a fuck. We just want the storyline. We just know it's anime. It's going to be sexual. Move on. But they are so prudish about it. They have to stop watching anime. That's like too sexualizing because it grosses them out. And I think that's kind of beautiful because it means they're so compatible that they both think like the same things are gross versus my husband and I, we just like don't care. We're like, who cares? Even though I am more of a of a pervert because like I am such a master Roshi, like I will be like Nami's boobs, 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 Robin's boobs, 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 boobs. And my partner's like, damn. And I was like, I mean, boobs, boobs, boobs. I like boobs. But yeah, I get it. Like, I absolutely get it. But I think it's a good sign that Ethan and Ela are actually on the same page in this regard because it means they're really compatible. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> I've heard that theory, actually. You have? I did, yeah. Oh, I thought it was original. <laughs> I think the taxes is like a cover up for like the worst. That's so again, this is pure speculation, <laughs> yeah. but I did see someone saying like, I don't know how any, nobody pointed this out, but like this is super common for people that consume this type of content to have it in a folder like taxes or something. Uh -oh. Although that doesn't because like if if he is trying to hide it, yeah, he wouldn't well, put it there. Together. Yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah, it's not, really <laughs> well, good hiding spot. not a great hiding spot. Unless there's subfolders in there, yeah, so it mm -hmm. has like the years of taxes, and then you go within there, and then like there's a subfolder right. within right. subfolder, and that's the really. Fucked if up anything, shit. it's just a protocol to be like, I need to be extra, extra, extra careful with this. Stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have at some point in our lives been going. <laughs> I agree with that, Miss Fishy. Some of the fan service sexualization is really annoying in anime, but like it's not the sexualization; it's the fan, and they do fan service a lot on One Piece. To be fair, fucking crazy on some hentai site. No, we have. No, we haven't. We have well, okay. We so, have so, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. So far, that's fine. Going hentai is perfectly fine. Sure, sure. Go on, uh, go on, uh, Vosh. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Okay. Okay. So, well, there was. A... That's We've part all of this... the lolly at some point or another. <clears throat> yeah, there, there it is. Uh, oh. That, that part Wait, I just. No, we haven't. That part no, I just. No, we have. Uh, we have not. We have not. That's a singular experience, uh, I think. I heard the term for the first time on Friday. I've never heard that term. I dated a girl, and she and I almost went to Lollicon together. True story, because she was a little. And I was a little partially. But, like, yeah. Like, some people just express themselves weirdly. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not a fan of it if it's going to hurt children. Obviously, we don't want to hurt kids. I just think a lot of adults have a lot of shit they have to work through. And sometimes they work it through, like, 
animation and hentai. But obviously, we want to be aware that some people could be predators, and those people we should be aware of, right? Right. I had no idea what it was. This is all new to me. (laughs) Um, Dude, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't grow up amongst anime and all this kinds of stuff. So I have no idea hmm. that this was a. Th- I didn't start watching anime until I was an adult. Oh, hmm. and we were like in Israel. I think the first anime. And so, oh, this is all kind of a new world. This here, by the way, is um, Drake and Vosh. What are we trying to say with this, uh, Cam? Created oh. by Dan Schneider. I don't know. Isn't it called Lollycon? I could be wrong, but it's the one that happens on the East Coast. I don't know. She invited me. I didn't end up going. But I don't, I don't, I, it's not an event I would go to. She just wanted me to go with her, but it's called, right? Isn't it called Lollycon in the East Coast? I could be wrong about the name, but I swear that's what it was called. But it was for lollies and it was a conference, but it was in the East Coast. I just didn't go, but she did invite me. So I was open to going. I mean, it's an 18 plus event. So you know what I mean? This, this is just a pun I had in my head all weekend. So <laughs> Lollyadon? <laughs> Hold on, hold the phone now. This is a we- this is a strange coming what? of age tale. <laughs> That's a still from Drake's court appearance, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, you didn't have to do him like that. That's great. You know, it's the they rebooted iCarly, and now they can reboot Drake and Josh. Now I want to make a few things clear. Drake likes to hit on. Mothers. If you watch hentai, allegedly. If you watch furry, if you do all that. That's I have no I'm not here to kink shame anybody. But what I'm I am here to talk about is explicitly disturbing content that is not good in any uh facet of okay. the world to exist in. Right. Now Vosh made a two hour long uh response video to our Friday's episode. <laughs> with incredible okay. takes such as this is a Dan conspiracy. <laughs> That he's, oh Ethan's only doing this because I'm anti-Israel. Can we talk about the Dan conspiracy aspect yeah. of this a well, little bit? We ca- I have a whole section on it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but We're only in the cliff. I mean, I don't even know how to, g- there's so much, bro. There's so much. All right. We'll I should to try it. to, I should actually tr- make a focus to work just, through this. Let's just get right into it then. So in, in his video, he had these incredible takes, but I want to tell you all. Vosh and his supporters will tell you the following things. Mm -hmm. It's out of context. All the clips of him. It wasn't. Mm -mm. We looked at the context. We looked at it and understood it. They will. Oh, I'm going to accuse H3 of not understanding it since they don't actually watch. Like you can't just watch like full clips. Like if you're watching debate spheres, the full context could be in a two hour debate. So I just want to say that out loud. Tell you that what was in the folder was not lolly. It was Lolly, mm-hmm. by Vosh's own admission, which I will Definitely show you. Definitely Lolly. Definitely Lolly. That it's all been debunked well, or explained a yeah. million times, they'll right? say. It has not. Mm. It has Does not. Does Lolly mean a certain age group? Is that the problem? Because these girls were definitely, like, under high school, I would say. Not. You will hear the same tired reasoning for every clip. Other, in- This is the... This is the context that they continue to tell us is, at, is um, cut out because it's the same justification every time he brings it up. He says other industries are bad, like cobalt mining or chocolate, but we aren't morally consistent. Saying that uh, he's not saying he's pro CP, he's saying he's anti capitalism <laughs> or consumer capitalism. He's, and so this is the, f- the point that we've grappled with in great detail already mm. and explained why that's obscene and wrong. Right. And yet they'll continue to tell us that it's been debunked or that it's old, uh, un- uncovered. This, this defense, by the way, may have been believable up until we found that he is actually consuming lolly. I mean, stuff yeah okay allegedly okay fishy says p- lolly is usually prepubescent well in that case like yeah i would think that i think the images i saw from vosh's like leak were prepub were they prepubescent maybe yeah i would say so right guys Ugh, i don't want to look at them again <sighs> but yeah i would say like that is suspicious to me like i don't know why you're attracted to that in a cons- like a consistent way I think there could be more than more than being like attracted to children. I think there could be more of a reason, 
but I would say it's a huge red flag. Like I don't know. I wouldn't feel comfortable dating a partner that was into it. I've never dated a partner that was into it. Never dated a person who was really into littles or really into like lolly stuff. I've dated people who are lolly adjacent or lolly light maybe, but like only in the BDSM way, but never like into lolly. So I think I'm kind of grateful for that because I do think it would be kind of a red flag. I don't know if I could do it if I'm going to be honest because it's I really don't like it. So yeah, I think I think that in that way, I would think I'm more on Ethan's side because obviously like I'm going to if I have a revulsion to it then I think that says like I don't like it. You know what I mean? I think there's something about that that maybe I should pay attention to that we should pay attention to from our You know what I mean? I feel like <clears throat> the context of how, how everything happened. It's all changed. It's yeah. So he leaked this folder, which was super silly to begin with. The horses it's, what it, got me. It was funny yeah. at first, and then the more you look at it, it starts to get a little disturbing. And then you realize all of his background. <laughs> and that's the that's basically the rabbit hole we went down. Absolutely. And you know, he accuses me continually in his video of doing a bad faith character assassination attempt. I have no reason to assassinate this man's character. I thought the horse porn was funny. Mm -hmm. And bro, you need to at least make find God on that one, because that shit is objectively ridiculous and funny. Just you know, the right what I mean, have yeah, Priestley says, coupled with him saying that adult relationships could be good for the child, I think if I'm being good faith about it, he's probably referencing more cultural marriages like my grandparents' marriage or my auntie's marriages where it was not ideal. But I think at the time you could say it was best for them. But I think I would argue and I don't think they're the problem is, is like we're talking about real people's lives. So in my own lived experience, having like Middle Eastern family and relatives and my parents being immigrants, like child child marriages to adults wasn't uncommon. And I wouldn't the problem is like I think it'd be very hard for my family. It's a very I've having this conversation with my family triggers everybody. Everybody gets triggered. Because you're basically saying like the people that you love the most, everyone, all these happy marriages you saw your whole life, they're the products of a child marriage. And it's a very hard conversation to have because everybody, they, at their, in their old age, they're grateful for their partnerships. They're grateful for their life. They wouldn't have had it any other way. So for them, for us to say to them, like, this is disgusting. We never should have done it in the first place is very hard for them because their life turned out great. So I think that's what Vosh is saying maybe, but I will say it's very difficult for me. I try not to bring it up to the family because it really triggers people. And it's just like, it really triggers the fuck out of all of us when we have the conversations. My parents were grown adults when they got together, but like my grandparents weren't, my aunties and uncles weren't. And so there's like, it's a very difficult conversation to have. And I hate that it's so difficult, but I think that maybe is what Vosh is referring to, maybe. But still, I would want to break that generational curse. I would want to live in a world where we no longer had to do that. But I also want to acknowledge that lots of people in a lot of cultures around the world, they saw it as like a survival thing. They survived together. They overcame together. And there's something there that I would allow, I don't know, like I would be open to. But it, yes, it's very upsetting. Like it's very frustrating. You know what I mean? It is a very frustrating subject to talk about. Having a to sort folder is funny. It's all good. <laughs> like, that's where we all started. Yeah. It started from this is just being really funny. There was so much to say about it. <laughs> and so as we reacted to it live, it became more and more apparent mm. that this is more disturbing. There's other disturbing parts of this. So, and again, I'm telling you, the other thing that Vosh and his fans will try to tell you, that I'm trying to pretend like he's been hiding this, that I'm acting like it's some big dark secret that he's hiding. Mm. And so in his mind, he's saying that because my people know that I'm a pervert, Therefore, mm. you shouldn't be outraged by it. Now, not everybody in the world, you might be, I didn't know you were a pervert on this level. And so, it, what does it matter if it was hidden or out in the open? You know what I mean? It's still fucking disturbing. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that's also not true because the lolly shit was not out in the open. There's a new wrinkle in the fabric of this story. But also, there's, okay. there's different levels of knowing somebody on the internet. I've seen his clips from time to time on a certain subject, mm -hmm. especially lately with so much going on in the world. Sometimes mm -hmm. a clip of his will come up and we'll watch it. That doesn't mean that I know anything about Vosh or his history or his Discord chats with his fans. You know, this, this is a whole different level of like knowing you and following you. It's a literal iceberg. Clips. It's just in, like, exactly. So, and, and when I don't know that you're into horses, you know? I didn't know that about him. That was news. Yeah. And by the way, <laughs> and that's fine. There's a lot know? of people being like, you know what? Consuming horse porn is ethic people make this argument that it's ethically okay you know what i'm not going to even argue with you guys right what? i'll let you can have your horse porn but i'm allowed to think that it's fucking weird and to judge you sure. for, for watching that shit like i'm sorry <laughs> yeah bestiality stuff is gross to me like i am not into it i don't like it like real animals like okay i understand like vampires and werewolves girl i get it but like real animals real porn like i grew up at the time in the internet where your friends would literally send you porn to prank you 
I have seen my fair share of six second moments of porn. I wish I could erase from my net, my head. I wish I never saw those things, but I think it's gross. And I think humans that engage in it, like there's something severely wrong with them. And I think, I think there's something to be said about that. Like, I do think there's, again, everything is trauma to me. The fact that you think you're ugly when you're not trauma or like the fact that, you know, you're into bestiality trauma, something about your biology, something about your animal brain. Like it's just maybe go get checked, you know, maybe talk to a doctor. I wish we had a space where people could talk about these things without being ostracized, obviously. But you know what I mean? Like I, I feel like why are you, leave animals alone, leave animals alone. You know what I mean? Also fun fact, do you know, like petting the bottom of your cat, like people always do is actually a part of like making them horny. So stop doing it. Freaks. I recently learned this. I don't know how true it is, but I was like, that's why your cats get like overstimulated. Apparently. I don't know. I just like, I was like, "Mm -mm, we're only petting the face. Like ma'am, ma'am. Apparently like animal, like animal. Okay. I just leave animals alone. Leave them alone. I'm judging, (laughs) you know, Uh, that's it. Keemstar even said about us that we were more charitable with context than anyone he's ever seen on the internet. (laughs) Now, of course, um, it's worth mentioning that Keemstar hates Vosh. Uh, And, uh, of course, as he does with nearly everybody on the internet. And Keemstar, (laughs) you can get the fuck out of the chat. Literally suck a fucking dick. However, and this... (laughs) Okay, tipster. Calm. Well, hold on. Now, Whoa. Our allegiances are all Whoa. twisted. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tipster has turned our world upside down, man. Oh, man. Fucking hell. Well, Keem, I guess, had a situation where someone drew his daughter, and so this is personal. Like, when you pet the bottom of a kitty, like, you go like this with their tail, and everyone's always doing that, apparently it's stimulation for them. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no more. Oh, him. So I did not know that. Yeah. So, what Keem said, and I didn't know I didn't this. I didn't know that. Somebody, an artist that I guess Bosch is friends with, drew CP of Keem's daughter. That's disgusting. That's, that's what, not, that's what okay. he said. Now, Keemstar is not a reliable uh, uh, reporter. Yeah. We would need a third party, but that's what he said. Mm. And that Vosh is, I guess, just like t- openly friends with this person mm. who's a known lolly artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to rewatch the video now because I saw it right before he went live, but I wasn't sure if he said Vosh's friend or Tipster's friend. But <clears throat> oh, tr- it may true. Have okay, I'll good. confirm. Good. Mm. <clears throat> so <clears throat> here's the yeah, I'm not pretending that's a big dark secret. I didn't fucking know about this. And even if I was saying it was a big dark secret, what does it matter, bro? You know, it doesn't change what it is. So you can stop with that one. The other thing he keeps saying is that we were friends and that I backstabbed him or something, <laughs> which is entirely absurd. I've literally talked to him twice in, in uh, Twitter DMs. Twice. Mm-hmm. Briefly. So this whole... Th- Why won't Ethan talk to me? I know they've seen my videos. There's no way. I'm a pest. They have got to have seen my videos. Thing that I should be running defense for him, have, being like having CP... Uh, can I call it CP? Is that justified or is that? Uh, I, should probably I think you should probably make the distinction. Lolly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, drawn, drawn CP. CP does have the drawing element makes it makes it very different than if it wasn't level. drawing. True. So can I should I call it draw, drawn CP or just a lolly? Lolly. Yeah, drawn, drawn CP. CP I think is fine. Fine. It's yeah. if it's, no, but, lolly is so much. No, drawn CP is a different connotation than lolly. It really is culturally speaking. It does feel different to me, and I think it's disingenuous to say drawn CP. Because when I think of drawn CP, I don't think of lolly. When I think of lolly, I'm thinking of anime. Like, it's not the same. Because I, I don't want to I don't want to put anything on him that's not right. correct. Castle. It's not totally accurate, mm-hmm. you know. Okay, I like it for Castle. Okay, so just to clarify, there was an artist that drew some lolly that supposedly Chris uh, from Mr. Beast's crew shared that same artist, Drew Kim's daughter. Oh, it's got nothing to do with Vosh or Tips or anything? So this, it was I, all... I heard him say that they were friends. Yeah, no, it, he kind of links it all Okay, together. whatever. We're yeah. talking the Keemstar Vortex. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about any of this shit. Just, yeah. <laughs> so, I, listen, apologies to everyone we mentioned in that. We, I don't know nothing about any of that shit. Right. That's a Keemstar thing. Yikes! Yeah. Other than that, somebody drew his daughter. Um, additionally, you know, you will hear these arguments for two reasons from his fans and his defenders. The only two reasons that I can see, one, they've been misled by Vosh and they don't grasp, grasp the entirety of the depravity of what, what he's into. Or, and I'm sorry to say this, two, they also watch what he watches. Mm-hmm. Like, right. I'm sorry, but if you're out here defending this shit, you need to really check your fucking self because you do not want to die on Lolly Hill. <laughs> milk That's we lost true. a lot of good men out on Lolly Hill. <laughs> That's you, true. It was a bloodbath that day. We do not want to lose any more. Guys. Yeah, Shadow B, I agree. Drawn CP for me would imply you used an actual child model to draw it. I agree. Versus like anime models, like they don't depict the same way. So I would say what Vosh had was Lolly. Uh, because again, like Lolly doesn't look like people. Like they don't look like people, guys. Anime just doesn't look like people. That's why I love anime, because they don't look like people. They have expressions that people don't have and they move their bodies in ways people don't have. 
Um, I don't, I like, like anime art. Like, look, Sailor Moon doesn't look, this doesn't look like a person. Like anime just doesn't look like people. Yeah, I just think it's like realism versus anime. You're right, Re. Exactly. So again, like lolly to me means like not real people because like humans don't look like that. I'm sorry. Like humans just don't look like that. E like even like, I'm just anime doesn't look like people. They look like what they want people or think people could look like, but they don't really look like people. Don't throw your life away. Don't die on Lolly Hill. There are other places to choose your battle. Yeah. Reports say that the average um, private going out on Lolly Hill only survives for 22 minutes. Jesus. I do think dying on this hill is really dumb. And I do think people talk about it too much. Actually, there was a controversy with a YouTuber online and they crossed into like this, the conversation about CP and stuff. And I was like, I don't want to engage. I don't want to be associated with this. And they reached out to me for a collab. And I said, no, because honestly, like, I don't want to talk about CP, leave kids alone, protect children. I don't want to fight on this hill. I'm happy. I'm happy to have these kinds of conversations, but I think in general, like I don't want to promote anything that would encourage people possibly harming a child. So I don't even want to talk about it in the in the way on the internet. Um, you know what I mean. So I don't really want to do it. But I will say, like that's those are decisions I make with my life. You know, I don't know why Vosh decides to die on this hill. I think that's kind of telling of him. Um, you know, in a way. But I don't want to also put that on him because that reputation's very like scandalous, right? In Vietnam, <laughs> it's not right. And uh, I hate to say it, but two people that we are somewhat friendly on the show, Tipster and Keffels, have have uh, sacrificed themselves mm. to Lolly Hill, which we'll get into. Keffels Do is not a good person. Literally. Like, okay, she's a good person because everyone's a good person. But, like, she's, in my opinion, a very untrustworthy person. I would not trust her. Not lose faith, my friends. What you are hearing is merely the death rattle of a community on life support. Continual posts on our subreddit. From, from supposed fans and defenders of Vosh, of which, again, there are many, which is what prompted me to even get, get so passionate about all this. And I don't know Kefels, so that's just my personal opinion, okay? What you are hearing is the death rattle of a community on life support. There is no longer shade for Vosh and his supporters to hide under. No, mm. today, the truth will be laid bare to bathe in the light of truth and justice. Let us flood this dark corner of the internet with a blinding light. Let the rats and cockroaches scurry. And again, not to say anything about rats and cockroaches in terms of like, oh, that, that. I'm just saying that's what, they, they live in the sewer. That's what they live in the sewer. That's rats why. will dance for honey. I wrote that this morning. I thought it sounded badass. I was going to say, little, hey, man. It's a little too serious. I was like, let's fucking just get super ridiculous with this. General Klein. <laughs> I thought it would be a little funny, but it didn't really strike any. It didn't. I thought he'd be more like, and today, soldiers, <laughs> we will fight on Lolly Hill. We will fight on the breaks of the coastline of Lolly Coast. Everything's Lolly. We have fans proclaiming. On our subreddit, they are canceling their membership. Ooh. That's right. This is a post of a post. This is uncomfortable, but I don't think we should reward Ethan's recent behavior with memberships or subscriptions. Here's why. I don't actually have a link to that one, but I posted it in my stories. But they're saying because I'm uh, misrepresenting and lying and all this stuff. They're, they're leaving. Because I don't stand with drawn CP. Shame. And so let's say this, you know, let's let's put a little twist on this, eh? Get the fuck out. Let's get those members <laughs> up. You know what I mean? Let's oh, yeah. fucking let's get those members <laughs> up today. Do you know what I'm saying, people? Um, guys, let's get my members up. I just posted a video to celebrate my six month wedding anniversary. Today's my six month wedding. I've been married six months. <laughs> Congratulations to me. It's been great. It's been glorious. It's the best decision I ever made. He's the best human I've ever met. I just love him so much. It's just such a great honor to have such an amazing woman in my life, let me tell you. So if you guys want, become a member today because I just put out the BTS video, the behind the scenes YouTube video for YouTube members only. Patrons get Discord perks. YouTube members get YouTube perks. Two different kinds of perks. Two ways to support the channel, right? And I just showed you guys how to make homemade chicken nuggets and my freshly squeezed orange juice recipe, which is delicious. <laughs> like cry and mauled because we say yes to adult pornography. <laughs> we say yes to consenting adult pornography. We love it, in fact. Get the fuck out. In moderation, I think. <laughs> but ultimately, do whatever you need to do. So we say we subscribe, we become members in opposition to this horrible oh, movement. Charlie just donated 50 membership. Ooh. Charlie? Thank Got you. Charlie. 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 Somebody got the chocolate factory. Hey. hey. Actually, there's been a lots of- Thank you for the congratulations. We're very happy. It's been wonderful. We're very excited to hit our one year wedding anniversary. Um, Generous donations we should acknowledge. I already need to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I have to, yeah, I want to say thank you. And I want to acknowledge all those people because I think when they watch it and they see that like, dude, I'm, I'm, and I'll tell you this, Vosh and friends, I am, ben, I am making money right now.
I hope that bothers you. I'm gonna make a ton of money right now, bro. Oh my god. And you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm doing it. I'm saying this now specifically because it's funny and because I know it bothers Ooh. you. You know, I, 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 he says that I did the first show for financial reasons because it got a ton of views and it was drama. I'll right. have, first of all, I'll say this it had typical views, Bosch. Yeah. 40,000. Huge draw. Here's the thing 40,000 viewers. And I, and I, you know. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal, dude, and I, I don't know how to put this in a, in a All right. you know what I mean? Back like, up. you know, like, I'm I just saying, you know, 40,000, it's a lot. It is a lot. You know? Oh my gosh, Mantis, welcome to memberships. Thank you so much, girly. I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it, girly. No, yeah. <laughs> but it's not that it's yeah, yeah. typical for us. Because yeah, it's we, Friday. There's it's, a lot. It's Friday, baby. We have, a, we have a great show, you know? Wait, today's Friday? It was Friday. <laughs> oh, dude, fucking Friday. Friday. So, Hi. Vosh and friends, let it be known that not only am I wow. coming at you, I am coming at you in a suit of cash. Damn. <laughs> and I am saying there is business, there's industry in exposing this disgusting vertical of drawn CP. Mm. We are coming and we are coming. In Ooh, Drew the Dweeb says, is Ethan doubling down because v Vosh fans called him out, called out that his clothing brand, or brand uses a child labor? Interesting. That was Vosh's original argument, if you guys missed it, where he was talking about, like, you're not, like, it was a stupid argument. I could see his perspective, but I think ultimately the worst thing is, like, child CP. CP is the worst, okay? Oh, my God. AIM just gifted five memberships. Let's go. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Alucille, I forget how to say your name. Maddox. Yellow, let's go. Joe, let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much. Congrats, guys. Enjoy the videos, guys. Enjoy the videos. Watch them while you can. You know, again, I understand Vosh's, like, argumentative desire, but I really do think Vosh, like, I can get into Vosh. Like, okay, what's worse, child labor or ch CP? Because I'm going to say CP. I'm going to say it is better to be hit in the nose than graped, okay? I'm going to say violence is better than smexual violence. I think smexual violence is worse than just violence because it's two things instead of one. So like violence, okay, not that child labor is okay, but we know the world is run on child labor, which is bullshit and slavery. Okay, we get it. But I feel like CP is worse. So Vosh comparing like chocolate consumption to CP just feels very strange. Like they're both bad, but one is worse. It's the CP. CP is worse. So protect kids no matter what from, from smexual violence, no matter what. Okay, first and foremost, I feel like that's worse. This is literally me right now. Kobe person money suit. <laughs> this is me, Vosh, and friends. This is me coming to expose you. Hello. Grab a dollar, why don't you? What is that? I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> what is that? And it's not the money itself. Who is it's this? the idea. I don't get it. Oh, that this the is money me suit. and this money. is you. I don't get it. Me, money. you. Money. No money. No money. <laughs> no money. That's it. That's, That's me right now. <laughs> yeah. right. I'm literally plated in gold, my friend. Like the stream, guys. Like the stream. Um, Kevin. Uh, oh, wait, these are old ones. I gotta go down. Just to clarify real quick. So, yeah, he was saying that Tipster defended that artist. Oh, Vosh. Exactly why Vosh no longer supports the argument. So Vosh rescinded the argument. Okay. Okay, he rescinded. Okay, that's good. When he was canceled at a later point, the artist that worked with Chris from Mr. Beast. Got it. Wait, yeah. what is this thing about Chris and Mr. Beast? Because that's a, that's yeah, a wild thing to out there. Yeah, I don't want to. Yes, well, Keemstar put out a video right before, and it's uh, we went live. And basically, he said that Chris from Mr. Beast shared a post from this artist. The artist was canceled at a later time for doing some shady stuff, and he said that Tipster defended that artist. Okay, so I'll say this. Chris, I like Chris. He's a, or I'm sorry, she. Fuck, I'm sorry. She's a great person. Um, I've spoken with her, and I really like her. I've met her a few times. So I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know what happened there. I haven't looked into it. But it sounds like, based on what you said, mm -hmm. that it was, the, this expose happened after. That's my understanding, yes. So, yeah. so I'm not saying anything about that. That's a Keemstar thing. And uh, I don't know nothing about nobody when it comes to that, okay? Uh, thank you, Francesco Dalla Valla. For 50 gifted members. Thank you, Betty Swalsack. Whoa, 50 gifted Swalsack? members? Swalsack? Dude, you got a fat sack, Betty. Uh, hello, HG fam. I finally signed up uh, the fuck up for members a couple episodes ago. Someone mentioned birria. I highly recommend you try it. I don't know what the fuck that is. Taco. Oh, yeah, I brought that. I didn't know what it was. Wait, what? Thank it's you. a taco? It's yeah, like what? you dip the taco in the sauce. It's like a fresh oh, I know that. taco. Yeah. yeah, I know that. What? It's a little messy. Oh, it's good, though. Bella Simmons, go off oh, Queen Ethan, Queen Hila, and the Prince, the Royal Court. Thank you, Bella Simmons. Bella Simmons, again, dude, you're rich. Like, what's your story? <laughs> She's one of our great benefactors. R ratches and cockroaches are better than Vosh, Bella says. Mm -hmm. They contribute to their environment, are an important part of their ecosystem. Ree says, is it just like, does he really take back the argument or is he saving face? Mm. Well, he doesn't have the problem. Like, okay, the question is, is the consumption of lolly unethical? And I think that's a much harder question to actually answer. Um, and that's the question I think that all of Japan is asking itself. And it does make me wonder, like, is the consumption of lolly unethical? You know, I think that's a much harder question to answer. 
And I could see why that would be an argument we could have. You know what I mean? I, I will say like it's questionable and I think it's probably impacting parts of society for worse. But then I'm open to the idea of doing studies about reducing the harm of child sexual assault um, over time. If I don't know, that, that's the problem is we don't know. We want to protect kids. Whatever protects children the most, I think, is kind of the goal. So then we have to figure out what that path is. Systems. Okay, Bella. That is so true. Queen. We love the cock we love the rats and the cockroaches. What? Edward, thank you so much for the gifted. Uh Alex Franco, thank you, thank you so much. Remember I was on Reddit once, said lolly bad. Pause for clap. Thought it was an easy win. Easy likes. I was so wrong. I learned never to argue with the anime community about lollies. It is the minority <laughs> opinion, of course. Yeah, lollies in the anime community. I don't know how popular it is in the States, but I nobody that I I can't think of anybody that I know that like actively consumes lolly. So I don't know. It's probably not my bubble, but I can't think of anyone in my life who like actively likes it. But I think there are people in my life that I could argue are like very comfortable around different kinds of art. And like as long as it's not real like children, obviously. So I'm wondering like who are these people that are defending it so hard? I wonder like, yeah, I don't know if I could pro I probably wouldn't just be connected to those people, right? According to Alex Franco. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but what I'll say is that there's a ton of people that I didn't know fucking existed. Thank you, Chrissy Sherlock, for the gifted. We, we love you guys. At some point or another. I'm gonna have nope. to check back in, but thank you, Solaris, for the gifted. Thank you, Peanut Butter and Fika Sandwich. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I gotta go. On. I gotta move on now. Thank you, everybody. But thank you for your support, and I will be showing up in a money suit <laughs> to court. <laughs> Stroking as hard and fast as we can. All right, settle oh. down. We'll get to that. <laughs> so here we go. These are all the stories um, and tweets from the weekend. So Friday, I ended the show. We all thought it was a good time. And then I started seeing people on our subreddit and then people like actual creators defending Vosh. And I start losing my fucking mind. And I've been on my stories quite a bit this weekend. Just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just in disbelief. So here's Tipster, big tip, friend of the show. It was even featured in our live. Uh, uh, cheers, my dude, love you, no, no homo. Now updated to. Now updated to. Updated. <laughs> cheers, my horse, love ya, no pedo. How'd we get that? Find out. Tipster said, genuinely disappointed seeing what H3H Reproductions did to Vosh earlier tonight. You think after everything Hassan's community, as well as others in the past, have done to misrepresent Ethan, he wouldn't be so quick to do the same to others. Yet here we are. Here's the difference, Tipster, Ethan and other people that are echoing this. Do it. I don't justify. First of all, I, first of all. Okay, you know what? I don't even, I'm not even going to. I don't justify the shit that I did. I'm happy. I'm not happy, but like I engage with the stuff that I've done in the past. Openly and honestly and as frequently as I need to because right. I'm aware that stuff I've said and done are extremely offensive and mean And these are things that I'm reckoned with reckoning with and are I've served to uh, help me mature as a person So they are this this this, this concept and again, I see this echoing we he he helped you Therefore you need to cover for him enjoying drawn CP like I'm sorry in what fucking world does that make any sense? You know also he didn't he didn't defend me because he likes me. He probably did it because he thought I was right Yet here we are. He even used the same out-of-context clips art writers have been used to defame Vosh this time and time again. I see this and I say, bro, did he, did he must not have watched it. Ethan and Ela do not know what context is. Like, genuinely, I watched the original stream. There's no way they had full context for all the clips. They think full context is like two minutes before, two minutes after. But when you're in the debate community, you and I know that full context could be 12 hours of content. Full context could be three different debates. Full context could be three months of a conversation because that's how our communities roll. Not that I consider myself totally part of the debate community, but I obviously like watch debate communities. I just think it's obvious, like, to understand the full context of a situation, you you can't just watch a few hours. You you It really is like a rabbit hole. So when you make decisions, like, it, it is, I know, I understand, because it's very hard to imagine that's true, because most people don't get that luxury. But the debate community, we're chronically online, and we're very interested in the full context. Like, so we are going to be the people who are going to like spend time watching hours and 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 hours. And I don't think other communities are doing that necessarily, right? Yeah, and just as going to the go-to out of context because we made a huge emphasis on putting everything in context and watching it in the full entirety of the clip. And so the fact that he's out here saying we took stuff out of context is just like a self-report that he's just on autopilot here. Right. I mean, obviously what he did is still bad. Like how many times have all these people had to already do this? This is this is routine for them. And they say the same thing every time. And I want to I want to cut through all that bullshit. It's just not here. The go to arguments that I mentioned, you're going to hear it everywhere you go. It's out of context. It wasn't lolly. It's been debunked. <laughs> all wrong, by the way. He said, uh, 
Oh, and another thing I'll see, he goes, he uses the same out of context clips alt writers use. So if all if Nazis are alt writers like popsicles, am I not supposed to enjoy ice cream anymore? <laughs> like just because they said it doesn't mean it's wrong, dude. Mm -hmm. Like it might surprise you to know, but but there are alt writers that also don't like pedophiles, and like I feel there's a pretty big Venn diagram. There's some that like them. <laughs> not defending all alt writers. I was gonna say the people criticizing Vosh from the alt right are probably okay. I'm re looking at Vosh's leak photos allegedly, and I'm telling you right now. This is Lolly. Like one of them at least is Lolly. I'm gonna say one of them is Lolly. The rest are not. Okay, I'm gonna say one picture looks like Lolly. The rest don't look like Lolly. Uh, and I'm gonna stand by that. One of them at least from the video from the thing uh, whatever I'm looking at here, whatever this is that I was sent. Thank you guys so much. One picture, two picture, three, four, five, six. Out of six of the photos that I'm looking at, one of them is definitely Lolly. The rest are not Lolly. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's my <laughs> professional hentai opinion. <laughs> Fedora. Okay. Like criticizing him for being a hypocrite, not for well that being sure, that because they all like that shit too. <laughs> yeah, no, all of them. Yeah. I mean, no, I guess not. No. Well, let me say this: there's got to be a big di Venn diagram of all different groups of people, criminals, um, Nazis. Libs, you know, and every other social group you can think of. And there's a big, fat, juicy circle in the middle that says hates pedophiles. So I'm sorry that all writers have also said this about him, but they were probably right. You know? No pedo. We all fucking like McDonald's, bro. OJ, OJ Simpson's eating at McDonald's doesn't I mean I'm going to skip getting some goddamn a quarter pounder with cheese. It's not happening. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do, man. I'm with you, bro. Whatever this was intended to be, there's one thing for sure, he continues. This was not the move. And it was an extremely bad faith misrepresentation of Osh. Another thing they say, bad faith. I don't think they know what that means. I don't either. I Ethan don't doesn't it. know what it means. So anyway, tipster, we tip the, Ethan, um... Ethan's so bad face, bro. <laughs> Cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. Where's the... Give me the, uh, horse thing. I have, um, this if you'd like. Tipster, bad tipster. <laughs> bad tipster. Do you hear that sound? Like... <laughs> so satisfying. <laughs> bad tipster. Get in line. Kind of do it closer to the mic. Like, don't hit the mic, but maybe a little closer. I can hit the mic, probably. <laughs> Is that good? You gotta hear in the you air. Gotta, you gotta, you gotta, gotta get, get the air. Just the air, not the actual... I should yeah. get my whips out. Yeah. Yeah. Should I get my whips out? <laughs> I have a crack whip. Bad, bad. So that's big tip. Who's now little tip? That really Ooh. fucking sucked. Dude. I know. What the fuck that's was he fun. thinking, that really man? Fucking, you that breaks my heart too. Like, oh. what are you doing again? He's dying on Wally Hill. That's yeah. the wrong hill you can't die on, brother. That's the wrong hill, brother. <laughs> can't love, fall in love with the sound bites. I mean, with the origins, you just gotta just enjoy the sound bites. Yeah. I am grateful though. We we yeah. we are about to enter a new phase, a new generation of tipster sound drops because mm. we've enjoyed the cheers, my dude. Love you, no homo. For close to a year or more, but at this point, we can say it's become passe. But now, thanks to him, we've breathed new life, like a phoenix, right, like a lolly-loving phoenix. Go ahead. Honestly, Cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. It is. A, it is a gift. So <laughs> I love it. I started responding to him in my I, stories. May I also add that when people bring up your old clips, you know, in an attempt to cancel you or whatever, you're not like you'll you'll address it and you also say like, yeah, that was wrong. I, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. I grew. I don't do that anymore. Like that's not what I'm seeing. Every time, it's another <laughs> effort to defend justify, explain, and double down. This man has had a billion opportunities to step back from this. And I'm telling you, the stuff I'm gonna show you today will leave no doubt. Big tip, continued. I was posting these just random comments. Like I opened my um, YouTube uh, studio app mm -hmm. and on the app homepage, it shows you recent comments. So these were, this was two of my most recent comments out of three. And I was like, what the fuck? The first one later, H3, it was a fun few years. Not like Ethan has a mountain of apologies for offensive statements. Not about fucking drawn CP, man. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's keep things in context here. But again, I, there's a difference. Okay. I'm not trying to justify, but this man said, nope, Ethan's come out against Lolly. I'm out. Tito. Everything has been great up until now. He's crossed the line. <laughs> uh, this is another one. I said, found the Lolly with a camera emoji. Uh, this one is the tops cut off. I have all these coming up later. But anyway, I'll read it later. But he says, do you think he's handling the pushback well? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought I would actually, I thought I was handling it really well. I was, you know what I mean? Yes, tipster. <laughs> Thank you. Are you armed? Are you ready to fight on Lolly Hill? Do you have your armor? Do you have your training? Are you in shape? Do you have your Hello Kitty uh, MP, M4 or whatever, AR-14? I don't know. Not that there's, there's anything wrong with that. Hello there's Kitty's a reason not, why my viewership dumb. is shit. It might, well, it may or may not be related. I said our clear. Wait, what does D Sam mean? What's C S A M? I really wish they would say C Sam. What's that? What does that mean? Does that mean like child something or C P? Like, what does that mean? C Sam. I don't know what that means. In response to this, I said our clear position is that they don't belong in the same category. I'm right and you are wrong. Good day, sir. 
At least I've seen what a vagina looks like. Fair. Listen, I, I've never been on this side of an argument where I'm so clearly right, and it's not even debatable. <laughs> like it's it's actually quite amazing to me to be in this position it's to weird. just come out here with no humility in a money suit and say I'm fucking right and you are wrong. wrong. Brought up. And any I mean, I'd rather live in a world where people are like very about protecting children than not protecting children. But obviously, I'm into the nuanced conversation as well. Um, tile sexual assault material. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, corn implies consent. That's interesting. Well, this is drawn, so I feel like there's no consent needed, right? That's the thing. Is like hentai or lolly. It's like there's no consent needed. It's drawn. It's not real people. Nobody's. You know what I mean? There's no direct harm to a, a child versus like CP involves a direct child being harmed. That's why I think you should call it lolly and not CP. Because if you call it CP, that insinuates a real child's being harmed and the creation of the CP. But like lolly isn't, there's no child involved in lolly. It's fake. And so I think that's why the distinction is so important because I could see that lolly is less harmful just by its nature, not involving a real child, right? Versus CP that's been recirculated is harmful because it like creates the demand versus which you would need new children for versus if you have lolly and the demand is more lolly, there's still no children being pushed in that demand, right? Further conversation about it only impugns you further. You are wrong. <laughs> so thank you. So that's a big tip out here. Uh, we still have the sound bite, though. Right. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. Oh, yeah. So this uh, this is what I put on my stories. He wrote this, which I already read, and I commented, cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. And of course, and I don't want to take credit. That was Cam's. Um, he wrote that in chat. And I thought it was great. <laughs> I'm, glad it, I'm glad it has a life beyond the chat now. So well done, Cam. And uh, I mean, wow. So cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo is a new one. Thank you, Tipster, for doing that. When I heard that, I was like, no way. He did. He just, no yeah. way. Yeah. Fucking yeah. clean, dude. Yeah, so clean. Dude, say what you will about Tip, but he is a broadcast expert he sounds so clean man. Yeah. i love it perfect Dog. beautiful voice what go ahead zach cheers my horse love ya no pedo <laughs> stunning gorgeous it is stunning <laughs> tipster continues we can all agree it was not a great analogy to use to make an argument against child slave labor even vosh now believes it was a bad analogy to use Okay. But it was just an analogy and not an actual argument in defense of this is an acronym I learned. Apparently, it's C oh, C they just brought it up. C Sam, it's like you know, CP content. It's an acronym for something. I don't know. It stands for child sexual assault material, uh, abuse material. Oh, okay. Abuse. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, that's an acronym that I've been uh, lucky not to know up until mm -hmm. this point in my life. Yeah, but again, my innocence is broken. Uh, it's one. He continues, it's one the far right has repeatedly used out of context to falsely accuse Vosh of being a P-word. And now H3's production is using the same rhetoric against him. I'm going to happily dab up with the Nazis on this in the meme <laughs> to say, this shit is gross. We're going to dab up, Dan. Um, again, they don't think it's gross. They just think he's a hypocrite. Mm. So we're not dabbing up. I wouldn't dab up any Nazis. Mm. I'd just in the Nazis all the no, time. Well, well the conclusion the is the same that he's wrong. So we, we could dab up, he's wrong. But then it's like, You're you think wrong. he's a hypocrite too? I'll be like, oh, no, 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 no. no. Undab, undab. undab. <laughs> Can I undab a dab? So, That's a philosophical mm -hmm. question for Vosh yeah. to tackle. Mm -hmm. He's a deep thinker. Yeah, my, my problem, um, if I may talk to a Big Tip for a second, go ahead. is that like the analogy was terrible and we were all talking about it. And okay, maybe Vosh also said that at some point, but there's just like an amounting... Endless, Hundreds, endless times that he talks about it. I was getting overwhelmed putting this episode and, together. I, I, there was so much. And then there's the to sort folder, oh, going the there. gorgeous folder, and so it's everything together is painting a really weird picture of a really weird guy. And, and that's, that's, why, we're yeah, that yeah, you, that's why we're talking about it. That is why we're talking about it. And also, yeah, I, some of the clips when he explains the context is also fucking weird. Right. It's like we watch those clips. Yeah. They don't. It doesn't help. But it has, the context does not help. So like, you guys think we like didn't understand? No, we understood clearly. And we have a problem with what we're seeing. Yes, I know it's hard to believe. I know that Nazis said this about him, and so that, that you know, we don't like Nazis. And I get it is from the left. We should be friends. No, I don't fucking care about any of that. I don't want leftists who are into cartoon CP. I want them to stay with the Nazis, where they belong. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want them. The left, we scoot you over. No pedo. No pedos, please. Um, very disappointing, Tip continues, considering how well he's done recently at making good faith arguments. I expected better from Ethan. Oh, I was doing so good. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> oh, he was doing. I wish I knew the internal workings of Vosh because I don't watch him enough. I can't stand him. But like, I don't know. I don't know if he's well intentioned. I don't know if it's a red flag. He could just have like really weird power dynamic fantasies. He could be. He could. There's so many reasons to consume Lolly. But I also do think it's a red flag. But I don't think you should be necessarily written off for your red flags because like maybe it's not. Maybe a red flag for you isn't a red flag for somebody else, or maybe it should be. Again, I'm looking for the nuance I was always, but I understand because like I like I said, I couldn't date somebody that was really into Lolly. I would feel really weird about that. But also, I don't know. 
because there's no I don't know like I'm open to the nuance of it but I also understand what it's like to be somebody who's like discounted for being a sex worker like oh huge red flag she's on OnlyFans it's like that sucks but also okay that's fair because like for some people that could be a red flag but it's does, like that's why I don't think red flags are universal so it's like okay but I do think like Ethan and Hila sometimes are so bad faith and do take people out of context that I'm concerned they're doing it again but oh but also Vosh also was accused by Cat Black, who I do like and respect a lot, for being, like, um, very cringe sexually. So I don't know, because I do trust Cat, even though, like, we don't always agree. We agree, like, most of the, most of the time I think Cat's observations are really good. So I kind of trust Cat in judging Vosh as being, like, a white savior who kind of maybe, quote, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what she said, but I think she said he might have even, like, white savior fetishized black girls maybe so I don't know I could be wrong I could be misremembering because that was so long ago but do you remember she like leaked the sexting stuff because her and Vosh had like a thing um and she was like cringed out by him but she you know Kat's talked about her thing with white guys so I get it um but like I don't know maybe there's something there I think Vosh is probably just really neurodivergent and cringe and probably on the more sexual deviant side and I think he probably is socially awkward and runs into a lot of like really dumb situations and I probably think less of him for it. But also I think less of most white men who are leftists because all of them are secretly just like coomers waiting to come. Yep, I think they're all just trying to get laid and they're all debate bros that are socially awkward and any other situation would be just like losers. But because they're in the debate sphere, people are like, I tip my fedora to you. You're so cool. And I want to get laid and I want to fuck you. So it's like, yeah, I get it. Like, okay. Because they're like the fuck boys of the scene. Hassan, Destiny, and Vosh, all the, the the three stooges, I love them all. But like they're only hot in the sphere. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Which I love. Like, I get it. Same. But like also, and don't I love me a gamer boy. So I'm not even discriminating. I'm just saying. So I think, I don't know, it just kind of makes sense. Like a very specific type of person would be in this space. You know what I mean? Um they dated. I don't think Kat and Vaj dated. I think they had like a thing for a minute, from my understanding. You know, a thing. So good until he said something I personally disagree with it. Hassan is hot, but Hassan also goes through fat boy stages, which you know isn't as like radically accepted. Uh, bu buckle up, Buttercup. Is that the thing? Bucko. Buckle up, Buttercup. Buckle up, Buttercup. Is that what they're saying? Did I get it right? I've never heard that. Give shit. And you just made it, made it up. What? I've heard that before. Giddy buckle up, Lollipop. <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs> Well, let's see. Maybe, you know, like maybe up, tipster, butter, shit. maybe tipster, you're wrong. Buckle up, I, buttercup, camera. Okay, I think Hassan is universally hot, but I'm realizing that it's not true because when I ask people, they don't think he's hot. I think he's hot, but I'm into Middle Eastern men. I'm Middle Eastern. I think Hassan is hot, but when I bring him up, a lot of people don't think he's hot. And I'm like, oh, weird. Okay, must be a me thing. Right up. That's it. Buckle up, buttercup, because I'm a yeehaw. I'm a real cowboy, boy. Hey, get in line. Get in line now. Woo. Come on. Let me see that big old cock. <laughs> There's a buckle up, buttercup TV. <laughs> Ethan, <laughs> let me see the big old cock. <laughs> Buckle up, buttercup. Dip shit. Yeah, tipster, maybe you can consider that. I've been doing so well recently, making good faith arguments. Perhaps that, um... Oh, Real Smith says, Hassan is especially hot to gay men. I mean, honestly, I could see it. He's very good looking. I'm very into Hassan's aesthetic. Don't get me wrong. He's very attractive. Maybe Has continued. There. Maybe it's continued. Mm -hmm. Maybe the pattern is unbroken. Dip. He responded to someone who said, you're actually beyond stupid. Why is CP bad? Because it harms all children. Why do we excuse? Uh, they go on, but mm -hmm. it's similar to what we've already said. Mm -hmm. Tips are now continues. He's mad. I gave the most lighthearted criticism, and his response was to insinuate his, to, his, to his audience that I'm a pedo. First of all, there was nothing lighthearted about fucking defending this insanity, okay? There's nothing lighthearted about saying I'm a lying and doing bad faith out of clip, mm -hmm. out of context character assassination. Right. So I don't know what, what world you're living in, but in my world, this is it. Man, I'd be singing, hoping, and seething in the shower, too, <laughs> if I couldn't find my tip either. Uh, I found my tip just fine when I was giving it to your fucking mom. Oh, dude, don't take it so don't get so defensive, bro. <laughs> dip shit. This is important that we stay open minded and just talk about this stuff. Literally suck a fucking dip. All right, chill, bro. <laughs> chill. Dip shit. All right, all right, all right. Uh, but anyway, I don't remember insinuating that he's a head. Well, okay, this I mean, is I something that maybe, comes up a lot, yeah. and I think it's worth discussing. If saying, I was like, why? Okay, if I go, dude, why are you defending right. animated CP? That's weird. Is that? It's not. It's lolly. It's very specific. It's very different than animated CP. That sounds like realism stuff, which is really weird. You know what I mean? Insinuating that he's a pedo. I think that's what they're talking about. Yeah, because you are saying like one, people are either defending Vosh because they've been buying this defense crap for so long. They're, they've been groomed to answer this, 
or number two is that they also enjoy this content. So if I'm insinuating anything, then I think it's probably both. I think a lot of the audience does enjoy Lolly, and I think they also feel like because if you don't understand the nuances of a certain bubble, it's always going to look bad to you. It literally is why conservatives won't understand sex work. Like, I'm not exaggerating to you. You remember when Hila was being told, like, she's too immodest by the conservatives? And Ethan's like, what the fuck? But, like, their line is different than someone else's line. So Lolly is, like, not only cultural. That's not a justification. A lot of cultures have really shitty cultures, okay? But it is specifically different. But I think there's something to be said about the conversation at hand. I'm just asking if everyone's line is different. You know, and I think that's the conversation. So again, I don't like Lolly. I get if you don't like Lolly, but I do think like that's why Vasha's community is confused because to them it's very different. It's like saying cartoons in America are the same as anime in Japan, even though anime means cartoons. It's not the same. When we say anime, we mean Japanese animated cartoons. When we say cartoons, we mean American animated cartoons. And I think not knowing the difference is like, not understanding the context. So like if you were <clears throat> like if anime means cartoons and in America, I just said, oh, I watch cartoons. They're going to think Dexter's Laboratory. They're not necessarily going to think anime, you know? So I think, again, it's like that. It's like those are two different things. So it's just like what image is coming into your head when you say the words and is it accurate to what's being talked about? That's the question. It's based on the evidence at hand and based on a good faith analysis of the facts as I see them. Am I insinuating that you're a pedo? I don't see myself as doing that directly. Am I saying it's odd that you would choose to stick your neck out on Lolly Hill for this shit? It is odd, yes. Very odd. Is it FBI raiding your house and checking your hard drive? Odd? That's up to them. <laughs> I'm not a part of the FBI. FBI open up! Does Dipster have a folder? I'm curious. Well, I don't know, but he, I mean, he seems pretty uh, sympathetic to the concept. Uh, Dipshit. A folder of he keeps going. Tips. Ethan Klein, everyone who disagrees with me is a pedophile. Everyone else, no. Okay, no, tipster. That's not what I said. Although maybe I did kind of say that in a sense. <laughs> no, I, I, I carved out more space. I said either you've been misled or you enjoy what he enjoys. And then, you, I mean, everyone else who falls into category two, they should be nervous. They should be nervous. Because we out here. And I got, I've sent AV to get bales of hay this morning. We will you think I'm fucking around. We we're not. Yeah, yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're taking this very serious. Yeah. yeah. I love me some horses, but I tell you what, man. Love me some big old fucking juicy horse cock slap it on the desk like. Sorry. I get into character sometimes. I just imagine what Vosh thinks on the farm. Um, I was started this was unrelated because I was talking on Friday about how I found hot Jesus pick. Oh. And so they were back on my feed because I was so frustrated I couldn't find it. So I started posting them. Do you guys what do you guys think about hot Jesus, by the way? He's like stunning, isn't yes. he? He's hot. gorgeous. He's yeah. like gorgeous. Glowing. His hair, everything, yeah. just yeah. stunning. Wait, what do the Jesus pictures have to do with what he's yeah, what is I, They're not related. They're not related. Oh, I don't know. just a treat. He he included it to say something or oh, i did okay there was one i included here that said like jesus when he sees that i'm not into cp or something oh. <laughs> when i'm not defending cp so he says okay we are bad, beyond bad faith at this point now he's just outright lying about Vosh's position okay man i don't know what to say nice yes! you know that one is just being funny it's kind of like is the argument <clears throat> and again we're adding the nuance to the conversation because like, obviously they're not going to do it is the fear we have is like when we say um all people who marry child brides are pdf files that's like not actually accurate right and so the dilemma we're having is that that nuance allows for actually protecting children in the long run by understanding why things happen in the first place. If parents are selling their daughters off to older men because they need money to feed their kids, like we need to have conversations about why that's even happening in the first place. And then why are these older men picking these brides? And is it because there's PDF files or for other, some other reason? And then how do we protect kids in the long run by dispelling the reasons for the symptoms? Because these are all symptoms, right? So why are we, why is the symptom happening? And is it like something we need to stop? Obviously we want to protect kids. So I think again, the nuance is really difficult because people aren't ready to have it. Because again, people aren't even willing to look at the studies. Like I said, People are doing studies around the world and lots of men are starting to admit that given the opportunity, they would be with younger people, which I hate to evoke his name. I hate to do this. But this was the argument that Mr. Girl was making that all of us thought he was crazy for. But I think, is he like, is he right that a lot of men are unwilling to say that they do find the average age of attraction like 12 and 14? Like, I think that was his age group. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I remember him saying that and being like, no, that's fucking gross. But given the studies that are coming out by government organizations, it's not 
it's one in 20 in Australia, but I mean, so it's not the majority, right? But it's like a lot. And so you're like, oh, oh, what's going on? Like, what's going on? And so a part of me wonders, are we ready to have that conversation? Because we, it's really difficult to like, look at all the men we know in our lives and go like, are you one of them, bro? And then if we don't create a space for them to talk to us, are they going to run down a, a path of like accidentally or not accidentally, I shouldn't say accidentally, that was a horrible word, but like run down a path of like mm, abusing a child because they weren't given the help they needed because society didn't give it to them. Like, I'm just trying to think like, what, what is, what, how do we actually protect kids if we're not willing to have the conversations? And I think that's what I'm worried about. But then again, you know, that's also partially why I'm not having a child because the world doesn't deserve my child. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. no ma'am no ma'am so again we need to like have a conversation how to protect children and that usually means we're gonna have to like have really hard conversations and Ethan though he wants to protect kids is also avoiding like a very hard conversation as well by just focusing focusing on Vosh and not being very particular but you know it is what it is you know what I mean mm. Here, oh, here's what I said. I found hot Jesus. God, he's stunning, isn't he? Oh my. This is your goon folder, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you, we are not the same. You jerk off the animated CP, I jerk off the hot Jesus. We are not the same. At least he's of age, you know? Oh, right. that man is well, well within age. That man's like in his 30s, I would say. Early 30s. Mm -hmm. Late then, 20s? Uh-oh. I say late 30s, but, good, but looks good for his age. Late 30s? Mm -hmm. Who's in his, he was 33 when he died. Oh, they know his age? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said, oh, so this must have been right. This must have been right there. That's what I'm saying. 33. This is the day before tragedy. God, he's hot. God, he's hot as shit, though. That's so sad. Oh, I'm so sad that Jesus had to die. Yeah. It's his choice. He didn't, he didn't have to. He chose to do that. He's God. What makes you powerful? Whatever. I don't even get on that. But here's my oh my gosh. Wait. Okay. Kaylin says more stuff about gross adults. I got a little weird attention from Marines when I was 12 to 13. I follow, I don't follow, but I, I'm on TikTok and there's this girl in the military who's always talking about like all, everyone is cheating. Everyone knows the cheating statistics of the military, but you guys keep getting married in the military. Why do you think humans do that? Why do you think that is? Because humans like to think they're the exception. Humans will do destructive behavior because they think they're the exception. Why do we think we can be the exception in these moments? Why is that? And I wonder this all the time. And I think there's something to that that is very interesting. You know what I mean? I think there's something to that that's very interesting. Why do we think there were the exceptions? So when you're consuming maybe lolly, maybe you think you're the exception because of some reason, but are you the exception or something actually like, do you maybe need to ask yourself? I, uh, Kyla, Erudite and I had this conversation about littles and I grew out of my little stage eventually after therapy, but like not everyone does. And she said, I think that's like a sign that being a little in BDSM, uh, could indicate like you wouldn't do it if you weren't traumatized. And I think that's Possibly very true since a lot of what we act out, including kinks, can come from trauma. But I think some kinks can also come from very positive places. And so we need to have conversations with ourselves like, hey, why am I into this? And is it okay to be out of it? Also, aesthetic is just really nice. And women, especially neurodivergent women and some boys, let's say women in this situation, we tend to like stuffies and like kids stuff and we stay very young and we like anime and I think there's something very young about these things if you watch anime you're kind of a kid I think if you consume like cartoons there's something very childlike about you in a good way like I don't think it's an insult but I think we need to have conversations about how many of us are actually ready to let go of childhood and how many of us never plan to and then how does that end up getting depicted in our life or how does that end up getting expressed in our life because maybe it's a red flag, or maybe it's not. And I think there's something about it. More hot Jesus. I just, I love it. And then I, I says, it. Jesus, when he finds out, I don't put cobalt in the same category as CP. <laughs> he, he's happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> How is that bad faith? I don't get it. Yeah, I think they're really right about that. Those two things are not, like, it, the same. It's actually kind of accurate. It's glowing. Yeah, it's just also funny. And just it's just funny. funny. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, is it perfectly accurate? I mean, no, but words aren't precise. I mean, what really is accurate at the end of the day? You have theories of math of, you know, converging lines that never touch. What is accurate? <laughs> okay. Is it funny and close enough? Yes. Yes, sir. I continue. I saw this meme and this was fucking phenomenal. <laughs> like I heard this conversation in my head. I've got enough to worry about with the feds up my ass. And now I got to hear from George that you got some fucking Japanese kitty port saved on your fucking computer. <laughs> Tone, it was just a drawing. Shut up. <laughs> Tone, she's actually 900 years old in the story. Discord says, I'm not sure if it's wrong to be attracted to 15 year olds, but 
what you do with your attraction is what matters. Okay, this is hard for me because a real kid in high school, like an actual real teenager, I do think it's like a severe red flag. Um, but I, I wonder if it's cultural. I wonder if that's learned. I wonder if that's true for your biological creatures evolved over time. Cause even the idea of protecting children is like evolved, like we've adapted to think this way. Right. So I do kind of wonder if that's true. I think it's a huge red flag. Like I could never be with somebody that found teenagers attractive. There's no fucking way. If I found out my spouse and in any capacity was willing to flirt with a high schooler, divorce. Like absolutely fucking not. Do I think they'd be a PDF file? No, that's not even like the, that's not even the right, no. But I do think like being attracted to kids that are so far, like I honestly, if I'm being real with you, I would see it as a red flag if my partner was attracted to an 18 year old. And we're in our 30s. So like, I, I don't know how you guys feel about that. But I think even if he was attracted, if I was attracted to like an 18 year old, I would be like red flag, even maybe a 19 year old, maybe even a 20 year old, if I'm being honest with you. And that's, that has nothing to do with being a PDF file, right? It has everything to do with being attracted to somebody who's so fucking dumb. Like, why are you attracted to somebody who's so fucking dumb? You know, and that's the red flag, but it's very normalized for people to date 20 year olds when they're 30. But why do you think I find it disgusting? Like, I'm disgusted. Like, I'm literally disgusted when somebody is like, and I don't mean attracted like, oh, they're attractive. I mean, willing to pursue. Willing to pursue. So I want to specify that, right? Like, why do you think that's so disgusting to somebody like me, but not to somebody else? And why? They're 20. Like, they're an adult. But like, I would be like, why are you attracted to a 20-year-old? What the fuck do they have in common with us? You know, like, what do they have in common with us? Isn't he 24? Who, Vosh? Vosh isn't 24. Vosh is old. Oh, who, Ethan? Ethan's 38. <clears throat> Discord says any age, to be honest, I wouldn't date somebody like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I wonder if the issue is like, not that you're attracted or maybe could find attractive, <clears throat> but maybe it's the idea of like, what you do. I don't know. I don't know. I still like, I don't understand like how you could be attracted to somebody so young and dumb. Like they're so dumb. I don't understand what you're doing. My partner is not 24 years old, bro. That's hella young. I have a, I like a five year rule. No, we're both in our thirties. No, like I could not date <laughs> 24. I love that. I don't, I don't think I could date anybody who's 24. I'm that's 10 years younger than me. I do not think I could date anybody who's 24. There's just no way. Like, uh, Vosh is 29? According to Google? No way. No, Vosh is, I think, either Steven's age. Who, 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 who? How old is Vosh? There's no way Vosh is only 29. I mean, he could be. Steven's 35. Hassan is 32 or 30. How old is Hassan? He's a little... According to Google, damn, 29. Born 1994? Oh, okay. Well, he's old. Then he's old enough, but he's, yeah, I think that's, mm, well, he's, okay. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Discord says, I think it's disordered when they are attracted to prepubescent and younger, but being attracted can be purely physical. Okay, I agree with that. I don't think it's necessarily necessarily wrong for people to find people attractive at like 18, 19, 20, 20, or even like, I don't know, finding a teenager attractive is hard for my brain, but oh, maybe, but it's like acting on it is what throws me off. You know what I mean? But okay, Vosh is, okay. Yeah, he's still in the same age group as like the, I'm surprised. I thought he was about my, uh, my age, but okay. Um, yeah, mm, I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> How good is that? That is good. That's good. That is good. Um, here comes this is when T uh, Keffels enters the uh, fray. She see she got the uh, smoke grenade on Lolly Hill and is answering the call. Oh no! But little does she know, it's a death trap. Lolly Hill is a death trap, my friends. There is no victory to be had, only death and defeat. You will not win on Lolly Hill. Kepfels, what did you have to say? It shouldn't be acceptable for people who are supposedly leftist or progressive to pedo jacket trans people. First of all, uh -oh. first of all, Whoa. I didn't say anything about trans people. And the fact that you even brought that up in this conversation is really fucked. Like, why? It's because trans people like a lot of the furry porn and a lot of the 
they are accused of being hentai lolly adjacent. There is a subcategory of trans people who are also furries who also like lolly. So there is a bubble like that. Why are you, I feel like she's running, using her trans identity to run defense for a very valid criticism. I didn't say- But I think that's also a red flag. A shit about trans people. And I would never, that, that's a position, that's a position that I loathe. How did trans people even get into the mix? From this. It was never, we never mentioned it. It's absolutely, it was it's, never discussed at all. You want to talk about bad faith arguments? I mean, give me a fucking, give me, you know what I mean? Give me a break. It shouldn't be acceptable for people who are, and what is this shit? Pedo jacketing. These people have the funniest, what? silliest, dumbest phrase. It shouldn't be accepted for people who are supposedly leftist or progressive to pedo jack trans people. We are already the target of, by the right, incredibly disappointing to see from people who should know better. What? What? Uh, this is for serious ass shit. Another word I've never heard of. Put on what, what's the jacket? Pedo jacket? Uh, we are already the target of that by the right. Incredibly disappointing to see from people who should know better. And again, it's this whole thing like, yo, we're leftists, so can you please not talk about my infatuation with uh, Cartoon yeah. TP? No. No, bitch. Jacket off. Lolly Hill. We got satellite imagery, man. I don't care. If you're left, right, center, goon, great. What is this argument? This is so weird. I'm so confused. Somebody like, priest says, V said Ethan was targeting the trans people in his audience, which was deaf disingenuous. Yeah, what is this take? Like, I'm so confused. Now I'm confused. What does this have to do with anything? What did I miss? Did I, like, look away for a second and get confused? Or, or I don't know, big tip. Who, who before this was a holy character. <laughs> he, he was truly, uh, what's big tip's background? Like, what's his group? You were naming all the groups. Like, you Big Tip that? is just kind of a, a force unto himself, isn't he? He's, mm -hmm. He was truly a saint, a patron saint of the podcast. <laughs> Yep. So again, <laughs> tips and I mean tipster reposted this and again, I mean dude, talk about bad faith. Give me a break. You want to really have this conversation? Moron. She continues, I'm disappointed in H3H Productions. You had me on your show and called me a hero for fighting against a far right stalker forum that made multiple people kill themselves. Now are you now you are using out of context clips sourced from the same website to attack people. Do better, Ethan. No. Um, I didn't call you a hero for defending Vosh. I said I thought what you did was heroic going up against Kiwi Farms. Does that preclude you, exclude you from criticism for the rest of my life? Of course not. Don't be dense moron <laughs> the only thing you're showing is what a fucking moron you are again these people are so the reason i don't like kefels is she feels like the kind of person that says like if you defend me i expect you to defend me forever and i'll defend anyone who's nice to me which is a very very normal thing in the debate space the normal thing in the debate space is if you're nice to me i'll be nice to you and i think that's that's why there's a lot of like disingenuous like friendships and yeah Obsessed with phrases like bad faith. These are bad faith arguments. They're not even logically consistent. It's just a fallacy to think that I owe you my lifelong allegiance because you called into the show once and I complimented you. Give me a fucking break, dummy. I feel like they haven't even watched because that's saying, the other thing. Saying Stupid. you are using out of context clips sourced from the same website to attack people. It's just they're on autopilot. It did not happen. They're in that the did not happen. It didn't happen. Again, I, I say I've said this so many times now, but we went through efforts to show the full context, which makes me think that her and Tips are both just doing the, they're on autopilot, which is sad and pathetic, especially because I've had such a good run of being good faith, Tip. Mm. Um, let's see, I responded to them. I said, who the fuck <sighs> are these people riding, pun intended, for pornographic drawings of a horse fucking a child? Am I losing my goddamn mind? And I just showed them, uh, you know, the tweets I already showed you guys. Uh, what? Bun says it was because Ethan implied Vosh's audience are PDF files, and Vosh is like kind of weird to say given how much of my audience is trans. That is so funny. Man, all these people need to get off the internet. That is so funny. Uh, tips to respond. He says, Yes, H3 Productions, you are losing your mind. You're being extremely bad faith. Can you stop saying that? Like, I you know. genuinely don't know what that means. I don't want to hear it anymore. Bad faith is when you present an argument that you yourself don't believe to be true. That's how I, that's how I, yeah. Yeah. um, I don't think that's always how bad faith is used. Engaging in, in, with bad intentions, with untruthful, okay, un, that unpure one, that intentions. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. And <sighs> I got to tell you, he says, now everyone everyone is calling you out for it. I don't know what forums you're on, buddy. Okay, wait. Bun says, I'm actually pretty sure Vosh was joking with that. I don't know why Kevils took it so seriously because she has autism, doesn't she? Wait, am I wrong? Doesn't Kevils have autism? I feel like everybody has autism in this space. That's why everyone takes everything so literally and gets offended about everything because we're like very literal people. And so we're like, what did you say? Like, no, you said this. And then it's like, that's why I give so much leeway for mistaken language because I know that I'm very literal and I try not to be, not that I have autism, but I try really hard not to like hold people to that. Like, because again, like we don't, humans don't speak like that. Humans make mistakes in the way they speak, right? You know what I mean? 
<laughs> but if you're in if you're in a community where everybody's calling me out, then I have to say I'm suspicious of you. I'm even more suspicious. Of you. you know what I mean? Because I don't I don't think that's what's happening, buddy. But I'll pick if you want to tell me the names of all the people, I'd be happy to pass them off to the FBI if I if they reach out. <laughs> Here's the name of all the people who have been calling me out. <laughs> you may want to investigate. He says we expected better from you. Well, you shouldn't. Well. That was your first mistake, first of all. Just stop. You know what I mean? I also think Ethan probably has autism because his brother has autism. And I refuse to believe Ethan doesn't have something other than everybody, everybody has. Because Ethan also does the same thing. I think we're all just taking each other very literally. And then we're like putting each other in boxes. And then we're like, this is what your internal dialogue is. And the problem is like we don't know each other's internal dialogue. We're just making guesses. And those guesses might be good. Sometimes people accurately guess about me. And I'm like, oh, good guess. That's true. You've observed accurately. And sometimes it's inaccurate. So I do think like that's probably what's happening too in this space in general, not just in this situation. That's a message to anybody, friend and foe alike. Don't expect better from me in any situation. Um, yada, yada, yada. Keffel says, I literally have Ethan's phone number. He gave it to me. I'll try to call him later. Do not fucking call me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember giving you my phone number. I don't remember talking. Honestly, Political Observer says, I wonder if Ab and Preach will get in the middle of this with a reaction video. I don't know if they want to touch this. CP is a very difficult subject to talk about online. I don't know if they'd want to get involved in this conversation. Just like they don't need to. They're a big channel. I'm surprised Ethan's willing to do it, except it's like, you know, he is willing. It's so controversial. I try to stay away from it. It's like, you know what I mean? It's just, it gets weird. I wonder if they will cover it though. Talking to you on the phone, but do not fucking call me, please. I will definitely, I'm not interested in talking on the phone or answer. Wait, I wish Vosh had been willing to talk to Ethan. I thought he was willing to talk to Ethan. I thought they were going to talk. Did he change his mind? <gasps> Did Vosh pussy out? I thought Vosh was going to talk to Ethan. Bring a call from an unknown number, frankly. You're like two steps away from getting me on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> two great barriers are between us. She says, I'll try giving him a call later to see if this can be sorted instead of becoming online blood sports. Well, listen, that's kind of my business. <laughs> we're, in a, we're in a bloody business. And y'all just defended animated CP, so let's giddy up. <laughs> hey, stop. Stop dialing. <laughs> Keffels, put the phone down. He declined. He, Ethan, declined. He backed out. He changed his mind. What a horse lover. What a horse lover Vosh is. Ah, uh, what? What a horse lover. No. I can't believe he backed out. What a pussy. These debate bros are such pussies. Wow, Destiny really is the only debate bro who's willing to go there, bro. Hassan pussies out of every debate. Vosh pussies out of debates. Is Destiny the only true debater? You can clip this and send it to him. Tell him I said he's the only true debater in this space. I can't believe Steven is truly the only debater in this space. He would never back out. There's no way he wouldn't fucking take this to the... There's no way Steven would decimate H3. And Vosh, Vosh and Hassan are such pussies. They always back out of everything, bro. Not that Hassan is a debater, to be fair. But Vosh obviously is, right? What? Man, Vosh just pulled a fucking Steven Crowder when Sam Cedar showed up, huh? That's so funny. I can't believe it, bro. Wow, Destiny's truly the only debater in this space, bro. Never mind, it's not the Three Stooges anymore. It's just the one queen herself. There's only one queen in this shop, and she's the only one who's really truly de ready to debate. And her name is Destiny. Holy fuck. Put the phone down. <clears throat> she literally has my phone number. Okay, I just, that Damn. doesn't mean I know you. <laughs> I don't know you. So does our whole audience. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. You think you're unique? <laughs> know you. I don't defend Vosh for clout. Or here, somebody said to her, Notice anyone defending Vosh has a financial or clout incentive to do so. Harming children isn't a deal breaker for these people because more subs, attention, ultimately money are more important to them. I don't know if that's true. I can definitely understand why they're saying that. Uh, Claire, uh, Keffel says, I don't defend Vosh for clout. I've lost both financial and networking opportunities for being his friend. I defend him because he's a good person who more often than not is unfairly maligned by people who should know better. So... So this happens so, to him a lot? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. Mm. A lot. Kind of interesting. Well, why are you defending him then? Because he's a good person who is more often than not right. So you're saying there's a chance he's wrong. More often. That just means 51%. You know? Just, it's, this is Lolly Hill. You really, you've got to think twice before stepping into the battlefield. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, Keppel says, very cool. Now he's putting me on blast saying that I want to debate the ethics of child pornography. This is toxic, bad, fake, drama, mongering, trash. For the record, she's talking about Hassan. I didn't see his clip. I didn't oh. say that. I didn't say that. Although, I don't think that what he said is like extremely far oh. off. You know? I don't think it's that far off. You got to just t be, come, you got to come to peace with what you're doing. I don't know what doing. Hassan said, bro. I don't know, man. Be at peace. 
It, fight. It, <laughs> that was very good, Zach. That was very good. Love that. Um, I, I would say that Vosh very much does want to debate the ethics of child pornography. A lot of his fans would disagree and say, mm -hmm. oh, it's out of context and stuff. But I have a hard time. I think the destiny of uh, destiny. Oh, my God. I Sorry, I read the word destiny in my chat. The debate sphere is very open to debating anything because again <clears throat> when you're debating you're not debating your own morals you're usually debating the idea that's why the debate space is also very hard because debaters don't also always have their own values sometimes they just have their the side they want to debate because they like to debate ideas so that's the only dilemma i'm seeing is like a debate group when you have debate club you don't debate your values you debate the prompt so I do think there's something about the challenge of it that's like very, very difficult. Um, but I think like Vosh dying on this hill is a mistake. I'm believing that um, in the full context of all the conversations he had. That that's I wonder if he feels like he backs down and apologizes. It would look weird and it would feel dishonest to him. Because if he is like autistic or neurodivergent, it may be his like sense of justice is for like the particulars of his language. I mean, Vosh does use particular language. So maybe it's a combination of things where he feels like he can't re like resend what he said because it will not feel right. You know what I'm saying? That's not part of what he's trying to do. So, sorry. This is all stuff uh, that's happening on because of stuff that you've said and done. With all due respect, I never asked to debate Ethan or anyone on this topic. I never asked to debate you either. I don't even know you. I think it's pretty out of pocket for Ethan to say, who are these people writing for child pornography? I said, okay, hold on. Hold on. I said, who the fuck are these people writing for pornographic drawings of a horse fucking a child? I was extremely specific for, for the purpose of being... Um, Accurate. Yeah. And not doing things in bad faith. So I don't know what the fuck you want. I mean, again, you guys are really wearing that word out. It's time to retire that shit. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's where so you can yeah. retire better. <laughs> uh, when I'm not defending CP, Ethan knows who I am and called me a hero on a show. Girl, me calling you a hero for something you did years ago doesn't mean I know you. What are you talking about? You see, that's the only problem in this space as well. People think they know you more than they do. They think you're friends because you were nice to each other once. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know you at all. What are you saying? I called you on a hero on my show years ago. Therefore, he can never he could never criticize me ever without being a hypocrite. Shut that's up. Not, I'm not sure what. Well, now she feels attacked because I was like, why are people doing this? And now she, so she's like, yo, you're attacking trans people. Sorry. Where did that come from? Mudahar has entered the ring. Mm. He says, seeing some of these links and the footage attached to them, even with context, is an extremely bad look. He continues, it's cut. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, shit. He says, I don't think H3 Productions is saying anything out of pocket. Some debate shouldn't be had, and some of the photos stored in that folder is downright vile. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we're saying. I mean, listen. So you guys are definitely need to look in the mirror. And I, and it's going to be like one of those, uh, what was that show where he where he sh he teleports into other people's skin? This is a joke not even worth pursuing, but I'm in too deep now. I know quantum exactly. Where, I know exactly. They're gonna quantum. They're gonna look in the mirror and be. A, <laughs> I'm not talking about the meme. I'm not talking about. Okay, hold on. Back looking at it, no. The other one um, is like a threesome with two chicks and a guy. And in retrospect, looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lolicon, yeah, I can see it. When I looked at it, I think the vibe that I got was like short stack thick kind of thing you know what i mean uh like the way uh like goblins get drawn in porn you'll you'll have to entertain me for a moment on this presumed shared knowledge of how goblins get drawn and wow thanks flash like the part where he said this is a pedophile community um yeah did 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 he uh did he say that with regards to there being a lot of transgenders here is that what he meant hmm curious um yeah, it's not great. What? Oh, fuck, did he really? Yeah, he did. Or at least it was gestured at, I think. But, uh, yeah. That, like the part where he's... Okay, yeah, they're just trying to, like... Oh, does... Does H3H3, H3, are they racist? Because they don't have any black people that work for them. I made that joke. I stand by that joke. It's pretty funny. What the meme? Okay. I just say they're, they're going to quantum leap into another body and look in the mirror and they're a horse. <laughs> Nice. And okay. Vosh is okay. nice. behind Nicely them. Done. Yeah, it wasn't that funny, but I wasn't going to go there. There's a famous meme from that show with the R word, the mm. regarded. Mm. And it is, frankly, um, for it's it's a time, it was, you know, back then. But wow, that's an okay. amazing right. clip. I mean, it really is tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. It, it's just truly a tremendous uh, clip. Uh, uh, Keflo says, who knew people would be so outraged about taxes? I guess she's trying to be funny. Uh, tipster continues, you defended him against Hassan's community. I defended him. And so did Vosh. Is he talking to Keffels? We were willing to see the nuance of his argument and defend him because it was the right thing to do. The least he can. Just a reminder. I'm so sorry. In case anyone forgot, wasn't Keffels? And it was. I'm being sarcastic. 
Didn't she literally go after Destiny and say the worst things about Steven and then take it all back because it was a misunderstanding? It was like all of a sudden she was nice to Steven because they had one conversation after she literally tried to like, didn't they have like a Sioux battle and it was like a whole thing and a manifesto was written and now they're friends all of a sudden because they had like a misunderstanding. And I'm like, I love clearing up misunderstandings. But at the same time, like, Kevils was like, oh, I thought, I think she said, like, I feel like she, I don't trust her. It was the same. I put my head in. I try, I saw the nuance and I didn't fucking agree with it, man. I don't know how hard it is for you to see that. I gave him, I gave him a shot, you know, and I have a standing invite as we're live here. Tipsters, Kefil, or Vosh, you are welcome to call in anytime you want during the show. I invited oh. Vosh. He rejected. He I, offered I can't believe Vosh rejected. I can't believe he rejected. I can't believe it. To well, come on, here. I said yes. He rejected. Then he says, "You can come on my show," which presumably because he wanted. Wouldn't they just multi-stream? What? Why wouldn't Vosh just multi-stream on his show and be on? Why would they go on each other's shows? Make the money from it and get the, the clout from it. I said, "What's the difference?" And immediately accepted. Immediately accepted his mm -hmm. invitation, yeah. and then he uh, rescinded his offer. I can't believe that. I can't believe Vosh pussied out twice. I'm offended, bro. I'm not even a debate, bro, and I'm offended. This is what I'm saying. I, what? What? This is why Steven gets the interviews with Jordan Peterson and Ben Shapiro and Vosh and Hassan do not. So clearly this is not a conversation the great debate lord is interested in having. And this guy, he could talk his way out of a... Out of defending well, JP? Frankly, yeah. he talked his way out of it for a long time. Mm -hmm. That is impressive, frankly. Mm -hmm. yep. It's impressive. To do what he's done and people defend you. I mean, that's, yeah. that's real shit. What? So, um... You know, this guy's the master debater. People, you've heard this uh, term, debate pedophile. This gives new meaning to that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I've learned so many new terms. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to call in, just just uh, DM the podcast account. Yeah, no, DM no. me or the podcast account on okay, Instagram. I guess follow them. Are our DMs open? Follow them with a Twitter account okay. so that they can DM us if they want. Wait, Manta says Vosh hasn't been a debate bro for a long time, I feel. Is that true? I don't watch Vosh like that. But I thought they were like, I mean, I know Hassan... Isn't that in, it depends. Hassan is always willing to debate if it looks good, right? He went on Piers Morgan and everything. So is that true? Does Vosh not debate anymore? I just saw him on Kyla like a year or two ago. He was still debating then, wasn't he? I, by the way, couldn't even finish that conversation. Kyla did so good, but I can't even finish it because Vosh is so grating. But did anybody, this is my issues. I just can't handle how he talks. But is that true? Does, does Vosh not debate anymore? With the Twitter? You got the Twitter. And, and Instagram. They should be able to DM us on Instagram. Yeah, 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 give it DM us on Instagram either way. Cool. Instagram they can DM us on Feel free to call Feel free to call in. But Vosh is a smart guy. He knows that this is not a conversation that he wants to have. The reason for that, yeah. he's reacted to my debates before. To my one with Pearl, to my one with Ollie, mm. to my one with XQC. And he has been very... Uh, <gasps> Button says Vosh had a fortress arc where he decided not to interact with people outside of his bubble. So says he just doesn't talk to people outside of his community. <gasps> Vosh is in debate, Ingrid says. What? Oh, okay. Okay, I was wrong. I thought he was a debate lord still. Well, Ethan should go after Destiny because at least we know Destiny will debate him since Hassan and Vosh won't. <laughs> uh, uh, complimentary. Mm. He knows that we do research and prep. Mm -hmm. That's my number one guiding principle when entering these conversations. It's preparation. It's research. And you go in there basically anticipating everything they're going to say. Mm -hmm. And he knows <laughs> that, that he's he's got nothing to say. He has nothing to say. Some of these girls Damn. look pretty young. Okay. Yeah. We'll get into that. <laughs> he has nowhere to hide. If he, if, and again, it's like, you're a great debater. If that's what you're so good at, come talk to me, talk to my audience, and um, explain to me what I'm missing. I mean, that should, if I'm lying, if I'm being bad faith, that should be very easy for you to do. Right. I gotta explain that shit. But he has to like tie himself into like a logical pretzel to explain why <laughs> advocating for child adult sexual relationships, saying that it's good for the kids is uh, out of context. Call in, dude. Please. I'm begging you. Okay. You're the debate master, right? Come debate me. Tacoma wept. Tacoma's weeping because you're a coward, bro. Chad said, why don't you both go on Phidias' show? Neutral. But oh, I do it. I agree. <laughs> Phidias can moderate this. That's it. He goes, I play the clip of him being like, I believe the children and adults can have a uh, healthy sexual relationship. That's interesting. That was nasty. I apologize. <laughs> you know what, though? We've been talking recently. We got to get Phidias to call back in. We oh, love yeah. Phidias, man. Oh, yeah. He said he's down literally whenever. He's the best. He's the I best. I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> All right. Maybe he's not the best moderator. <laughs> That's wild, bro. What a wild line, yeah. Political Observer says, bro, I can imagine Stephen playing devil's advocate just to debate Ethan on CP just for the sake of debating. Oh, that's that's the debate. That's the debate lord way. 
Honestly, I'd watch it. I'd watch the fuck out of that. If that happens, we're streaming it. If that happened, I would stream it. Because that, that would be fun. Marco Robbie. <laughs> Again, this, this, this continued insistent that because they apparently defended me against, I don't even know what, that I owe them. Uh, uh, shut the fuck up, dude. You're like a child. Well, is that really what you guys um, want around you, though? Like... That's like such a weird way to look at life and just your morals in general. Well, listen, if you're friends with someone in real life and you have history and you have rapport and if something comes up, it's really, uh, you know, concerning, you would talk to your friend. Mm -hmm. Right. But these are not my friends. Mm -hmm. These are people online that I know. Right. And even saying I know them is kind of stretching it. It's like, you know, it's not uh, this is not this is not what you think it is. Um, Ethan, uh, uh, Catholic continues. Yes, I've seen the Tacoma wept. Clips from Vosh, great, hilarious, wonderful. Ethan, I know you are going to see this even if you won't respond. I defended you while you were having a meltdown over the stuff with Hassan. First of all, a meltdown, and fuck you, by the way. And also, fuck you. Leave Ethan alone. He can figure out his own relationship with Hassan. I really feel like people milked that so hard. They made so many assumptions about Ethan during that time, which I thought was bullshit. Ethan and Hassan had a different kind of ending to their podcast but everyone in this space is so fucking debate brained that they kept thinking it was like a bird bridge burning it's not a bridge burning like defend like ethan didn't want your defense because you're not even defending him in a way that is like real to him you know what i'm saying you're not like ethan was really going through it but people use it as an opportunity to shit on hassan that's really shitty defend using ethan as an opportunity to shit on Def hassan has nothing to do with ethan so saying like I defended Ethan against Hassan's community, no, you didn't. You just wanted it as an like you just used the opportunity to shit on Hassan and his community, bro. For saying it's a, you know what I mean. And also, I didn't ask you to defend me. Stop saying that. I don't care. You're a child. You are a infantile brained moron. If you think that that matters to me at all, you Jesus Christ. You think that I'm that shallow? That I'm that yeah, pathetic? Yeah, and Ethan and Hassan are like still friends. So everybody fucking chill. That I'm gonna cover for animated CP because you said something nice for, about me. Shut up, dude. Dude, even if my own sibling were to, like, do something horrendous, I'd call the cops and still visit them in prison. But, like, you know, this idea, like, I would die for my best friend. I'd bury a body for my best friend. I would hide your crimes. Nah, I ain't that kind of friend. I ain't going to prison for you. Fuck you, dumb bitch. Bad faith. Jesus Christ. She's the queen of bad faith. She is the queen of bad faith, even though Ethan probably has no idea why. <laughs> um... She says, I defended you when you were having a meltdown. People gave me shit for it. Ooh, you stuck She it. literally came for Tom so hard against the things he was saying the other day, completely taking him out of context and misunderstanding him, which is like fine. It's the internet, but like also don't do that. But also I get it. And then like she literally doesn't understand why Ethan is having a hard time around this. Bitch. Your neck up for me. Thanks. All I'm asking is for you to show some charitability to those who showed it to you. I'm not your enemy. Don't show me charitability. I don't give a fuck. I don't need your charitability. I don't ask anyone for any charitability. If something comes up, I speak for myself. And if other people agree with me, that's great. They, you know, I, I welcome people that agree with me, that want to express that and show support. But I do not need you to do that for me. And I do not ask Let's for you to do that even. to me. And it shouldn't come with a price. Yeah, a price that I never even asked. Yeah, exactly. But again, these people are framing it like they put their neck out for me. You said it because you agreed. Okay, mm -hmm. let's be real. You're not a saint. Okay, stop. Can I, can I hit that boba? To be clear, Ethan and Hassan didn't part ways as friends. They parted ways as podcast collaborators, but not as friends over the Israel-Palestine stuff, which was, to be fair, very difficult for both of them to, that's too, that's, that's a very difficult thing to get over. I don't care. You don't care if I'm sick? She said, I don't, I need, I need I, to I have that. a runny nose. Same girl. Oh, we got it from the boys or something. I um, Allergies. I said no to the boba order mm -hmm. because I'm on that skinny game. Oh yeah, Mantis says the debate space is unfortunately very disingenuous. Oh, it's some of the most toxic interactions I've ever seen in my life. In all my years of YouTube, of all of my collaborations with YouTubers, everyone has drama. That's for sure. But the debate space is some of the like most bad faith characters I've ever seen in my life, and so much fucking ego. Which is why, again, I try really hard not to be a part of the debate space, but I do love to watch it. Because it can be fun. So it's hard. And I also know a lot of really good people in this space. Like, I think there are lots of good people in this space, you know? Yes. And I don't like boba, but it is very refreshing. Right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, Shit. I can't do boba, the texture. Shit. It's good. It's I'm talking okay. a lot. Isn't it good? I just, again, I don't think it's worth that calories. Okay. This is like 400 calories. You know, Whoa. I want to eat food because I'm hungry. Good job. Thank you. Mm. Shit. Being, being skinny ain't easy, but it's necessary. Ethan's doing it, though. Making decisions. Choices. Choices. Want to be fat? Nope. Nope. Want to be skinny? Yup. Yep. Want to eat boba? Nope. Nope. Yep. Want to eat dinner? Yup. Yep. Are you a winner? Nope. <laughs> Loser? <laughs> we, we've lost it. Yeah. Loser? <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> Sorry, you <Euphody. laughs> I responded to Keffel's... Oh, she goes, um... 
a new tweet. She says, hey, you didn't address anything I said. I'm not pro lollycon. And if what I thought, and if I thought Bosch was, I wouldn't defend him. Can you please have a discussion about this instead of putting me on blast to your 2 million Instagram followers and pedo jacketing me? You, <laughs> you morons. <laughs> you, start, about you started talking about me <laughs> publicly. Oh and like, my God. by the way, if I want to put you on blast, an Instagram story is really not. I'm confused. <laughs> What I would consider blast. This is more like putting you on blast. Yeah, but this, you're this, tweeting yeah. about it. Yeah. So he's replying. Yeah, I don't understand. What are you doing? You're a public figure calling out another public figure. You go, no, no, no. Wait, shut up. And, and also pussies, bro. So, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> you go ahead. I was gonna say and also as she keeps mentioning she's been on the show So people are gonna bring it up obviously so you have to acknowledge it. Mm. You don't have right. to but it's good that you did yeah. I was gonna say that There's like I I'm uh, what was it? Can you, you didn't address anything I said. What have you said? You're just saying that Ethan has been doing stuff in bad faith. Well, here, that's all you have said. That's it. And I take things out of context. I'm like, this but is so you, Do we not think that Bosch is pro lolly? Isn't he? <clears throat> wouldn't you say he is? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Or maybe it's not pro lolly, but he's okay with lolly images. Is that fair? Is that what? Is that better? Because I can understand not being pro lolly, but also being okay with lolly images. Is that what Vosh is saying? Don't. Watch the segment? I don't think so. I mean, here's what I responded to her. I said, you said I took clips out of context. The entire conversation revolved around showing the full context, everything. So the people couldn't say I took things out of context. Yeah. And you still said it. So like, what, am, what are we talking about exactly? I said, remember that you chose to die on Lolly Hill. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. But Indeed. Let's do a seance for our fallen comrades. <laughs> The Communist Party lost some good ones. I don't know. I don't think Tuffle is a commie. Vosh is for sure. But, but, but. Tipster? I don't know his political. I don't think he's a commie. Can I hit that again? You can keep it. Okay. Oh, I believe in having a good time. Half, I'm good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Dipshit. As good as I imagine. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it clean today. <clears throat> yeah, so there was so much. I said I also offered Vosh to come on the show and explain to me and my audience how what I said was out of context. He declined. Also, Crazy. what the fuck is pedo jacketing? <laughs> Why do you guys have such weird ass expressions for everything? And how often are you being accused of being a pedo that you need a nickname for it? If the jacket fits, you must not acquit. <laughs> no! Oh my uh, god. And then here, this is, again, not a real photograph. Cam said this. And this is not real. He is not actually wearing this. But is this a pedo jacket? I don't know. Because oh I, I mean, this... Right. Yeah. I mean, legitimate question. question. Mm -hmm. Is there actually, like, some legitimate meaning to pedo jacketing? It sounds so fucking dumb. I, I looked a little bit earlier. I didn't see anything. I mean, I'll look further into it, but I'm not saying anything. <laughs> So I don't get it at all. I don't know if I'm missing something. You're putting the pet. I don't actually know that term either in the debate sphere, but I've heard it before, but I don't know what it is. What does it mean? Does it mean like uh, pretending you are one, but you aren't? Like, what is it? What did guys give us? Give us a definition, somebody. No jacket on them, which is really an analogy <clears throat> I've never heard. Don't put that jacket on me. You guys have made that up. <laughs> don't put that jacket on me. <clears throat> jacket off. <laughs> Somebody on the subreddit said, I'm telling, <laughs> telling Ethan right now with all the peace and love, do not debate Vosh. Trust me, there's nothing to be gained. These accusations have been around forever, and this man is not a serious person. Debating him will only give him credibility, even if it's just a small amount. By all means, mock him all you want, but I can promise you this. If you platform this man, he will not come to say, talk to you in good faith, and he and his fans will not go away quietly. Please, Ethan, do yourself a favor and cut him off. Well, I appreciate your concern, but I was emphatically... Uh, em uh... Pedo jacketing. That's what the word is. By the context, seems to be branding someone as a pedo. Yeah, is that the... Is that what it is? Okay, Mantis says it means putting a jacket on someone, a label that doesn't necessarily fit. Oh, <clears throat> oh, that makes sense in context. That, okay, that's that's what I thought. Okay, something like that. Okay, yeah. So putting, so they're they're basically making that assumption. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's disingenuous branding. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay. Open to having him on. Mm -hmm. It's only fair, I thought. You know, it, it, the man should be able to come speak <laughs> for himself, speak to my audience, speak right. to me, and defend himself. Mm -hmm. I can't believe Vosh proceed out. I'm never gonna. I'm never not gonna be shocked by that. That is so shocking to me. What? One, what an opportunity to build your platform bigger. But two, what a what an opportunity to like prove yourself, right? Like, what an opportunity to like prove yourself. I wonder why. He pussied out. I can't believe it. Is he that afraid of Ethan? I mean, I love Ethan. Oh my God. I would be, so, I wish I was, oh, I wish Ethan and I could fight so we could have fun. I also think it'd be so much fun. I said, you don't have to worry because I already invited him on and he said, no, he doesn't trust me to be good faith and not lie about him. This is stuff he told me in DMs. Isn't that the whole point of debate to directly post my position? He responded by inviting me to call into his show, which I immediately accepted and he changed his mind on that too. Wait, so Ethan accepted being on Vosh's show and then Vosh said, actually, no, I rescind my original invitation. One, I offered him to be on our show. He said no because you will lie about me. Two, he then said, you can come on my show if you want to talk about it. He claims I'm only doing this for views and that our live from Friday had huge numbers. In actuality, we had a very typical amount of views. Sorry. Today, it's good. Today, I would say it's above average. 55,000. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a horse cock size of a viewership, dude. Boy, I'll tell you. That's true, man. The, the stay will be full today, boys. <laughs> Woo. It's the hay. We should keep it. The hay really brings the room together. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad it was worth the, the hassle. It was so heavy. Me, Dan, and Zach had to bring it up. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> It was only, what was it, 20 bucks or a ba really? bale of hay? Yeah. Wow. I was quite, how much, ba how much hay does like a horse eat in a day or a cow? You know? 
Like, what's the but? What does it cost to feed a, a farm animal? Mm. A lot. And how is it they all eat hay? Right. Like they all were like, let's just fuck with hay forever. Well, it's grass. 50, 15 <laughs> to twenty pounds of hay per day. The average thousand pound horse. And how much is that? How much you this way? You think? Uh, I don't know. What do you say, guys? Hey. Maybe just yeah. a few days of food. It sound a bit. It's a good deal. Hey know. fellas. These bulbs are chewy. Hey, fellas. Uh, Wait, is that real hay behind them? Are they literally serious? Is this real? This isn't a, is just the stable, the green screen? That's pretty good. That's a good set. I immediately accepted, asked him what's the difference. A question he did not answer. He said, you won't ever believe that I'm not knowingly lying on purpose, he says. He says, mm. and so, you know, I have the DMs. They're here in the doc if anyone wants to see them. <clears throat> and the reason I say that is because he started responding to me, calling me a snake and a liar and shit. I said, more than happy to share DMs if he's okay. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> After all the good mm -hmm. takes, you had to do this. Condemn lollyporn. We must draw the line somewhere. Okay, so now here's Vosh in his Discord responding. He says, there will be no debate. All of this has been discussed before at length. I talked to Ethan and DMs and he came across insanely snakish. <laughs> like a cartoon. Liter I'm sorry, what? I don't know. What are you talking Snake about? like a cartoon? Yeah. Is that a Jew joke? See, that? No, I'm just kidding. But that's, a, that's, <laughs> what he did. that's what he did to me. <laughs> Although I do have a bonus section. There is no debate. On Vosh anti-Semitism. I do. Oh, <laughs> damn. I talked to Ethan in DMs and he came across insanely snakish. Oh my God, Vosh, chill. I'm kidding. I don't think he's doing a Jew thing. Uh, literally any direct engagement with him or anyone else right now will be interpreted disingenuous. Like I'm digging myself in deeper no matter what I say. The streams will continue. The politics will continue. And like every other wave of disingenuous drama, the truth will be apparent to people who chill out for a second and consume literally any of my content. You know, and I understand what you're doing. You're talking to your audience who you don't want to look into this very, very deeply and just continue to take. No, Ethan's wrong on this. I do think like. The, okay, if you're going to debate Ethan, you have to have fun with it. I feel like I would have so much fun with it because it's not like Ethan's going to deep dive. Ethan doesn't deep dive. It takes too much. It's too many hours. Guys, I love you all so much. It, ta it would take so many hours to deep dive into Vosh's stuff to really understand the nuance, which is why I'm not coming down very hard on Vosh because I haven't done the research because it would just take like so much time. But if I was Vosh, I feel like how could you not use this as an opportunity to talk to Ethan and have so much fun? Like, am I the only optimist that I'm like, this would be so much fun just because I love Ethan probably. I probably would be like, oh my God, hi. And then we would talk, but I also wouldn't, because Ethan calling me something would just be like kind of cute because Ethan doesn't research anything. So like, I wouldn't even be offended. I think if Ethan tried to paint me a certain way, I would just have so much fun with it. Why do you think Vosh isn't going to have fun with it? Maybe because he doesn't like Ethan. There's no way Ethan is snakish. Ethan's just Ethan. Your word for it, that... It's all taken out of context, and it's bad faith, and it's snaky. Um, Insanely snakish. This was if Vosh's subreddit was having a good one. They said Vosh should legitimately sue Ethan for slander. <laughs> Someone says, as nice as that would be, I doubt there's enough case uh, to have a case. No, there is. <laughs> the amount of slander and false accusations are more than enough for a solid lawsuit. Oh I said, I'm, I'm begging you, please. I'll Ethan would love it. Ethan loves suing people or getting sued. He loves getting sued. Even crowdfund for you to sue me. <laughs> Let's do it. And I'm being dead serious. I would be fucking over the moon if you sued me. Please, bro. Yeah. Oh my God, Ethan. Let's do discovery on that hard drive, exactly. fella. <laughs> exactly. Let's see what's below the top of that there. Oh Let's see God. taxes 2014. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what I said here. This was another meme. You on know, a great point. Mantis says, honestly, I think Vosh has been out of the game for too long. And this is a heavy topic. And he's probably scared. Yeah, I could see that. If you came in very seriously about it, yes. Which is why I probably wouldn't as much. Or I would just ask questions. Just ask Ethan enough questions to get him to understand that he hasn't even deeply thought about this either. You know what I mean? Watch yeah. the subreddit. These people are not funny. <laughs> this is the moronic. Look at I this. I have to say, the whole thing is really lacking humor. Between him and the reaction of his community, everything started because there was something really funny happened. The horse stuff. Yeah. yeah. The horse stuff is funny. His reaction was funny. Go! Oh! <laughs> and, and it was new. It was new. So there's a conspiracy theory that Dan is somehow the mastermind behind this whole thing. So, and we'll get to that. But here's the um, the meme. meme. Vosh is a brand now. What's the brand? What's the brand? My Little Pony. My Little Pony. My Little Pony. Well, H3 Studios. Dan is Worm Tongue. And I'm like the king of Rohan or whatever. Yodin, yes. I'm not. I am not Worm Tongue in this situation. I'm not even. I'm not even in Rohan. Here's I'm you talk. Tom fucking Bombadil, dude. Leave me out of this. Wow. They disagree, bro. <laughs> Um, very wise, my liege. And while you're at it, call that one a pedo too, and that one, and that one. <laughs> I thought this was so funny because it makes it's it so crazy. funny because it's not it's ironic. Funny. Like, this is what's happening. Also, yeah. I'll say this: I love that they put it like an X over the horse. Like that's why we're, we just hate horses. Well, I'll tell you one thing: I definitely don't love horses as much as you do. That's for sure. I don't, I don't know if that makes me a horse hater. <laughs> this man is an anti-horse site. Horses need love too, buddy. Cheers, my horse. 
<laughs> so, <You know. laughs> here's Tipster. He actually filmed a video, um, and he's very mad. I don't know. He's very mad. Go ahead, Tip. Yeah, I don't yeah, believe that that's what he meant. Even yeah. the argument is just like so flimsy because he then has to say that not the act of making the child porn is immoral, but like you have to at a certain point say that simply child porn, if there isn't a victim, is moral. Like, that's, no, you don't have to say that because that's <laughs> not what he's saying at all. The, the, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but I don't know if you've thought this through enough. Well, he's playing Donkey Kong. How can you think when you're playing Donkey Kong? Yeah. That's a challenging game. People yeah, are fucking guy. brain dead. Like, I listen to this and I, ju I just hate people. I, I hate people like this. Wow. I fucking hate. First of all, I want to play the original Donkey Kong. What the fuck? On the, 60 on the Super Nintendo? I don't play that. I love that fucking game. Uh, second of all, um, I, if they're talking about real child corn, then... That obviously involves a victim, whether it's old and been recycled. But if they're talking about lolly, that involves no children, obviously. Everyone. I, I legitimately I hate Olivia, all these. By the way, you are right. Thank you. You're absolutely right. Thank you. And Tip, how dare you? Literally. Check yourself, buddy. I got to say, I was watching some of this. He is really fucking good at Donkey Kong Country. Like, he was, <laughs> this is a hard-ass level. He just oh, wasn't no problem. that hard. He's a, this, this is a hard level game. <laughs> no, it ain't. This level is hard. No way. I, okay. would I crush this, dude. Crush it. I'm with you, Avi. You would know. I know my dog. Huh? He's a gamer, though. You could tell by looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he just uh, lose? He had a frog. He just lost what? the frog. <laughs> His background. That's a gamer background. Wait, what's the frog thing? Back, back up the video. Oh. You roll the tape. <laughs> you can get <laughs> little uh, friends to help you. Little animals. Saying at all. He's riding. This is when they talked about Vosh's take on CP. Well, obviously, like CP is always unethical, and the redistribution of old CP is unethical, right? These people are fucking brain dead. Like, like, oh, you're gonna call us brain dead, and you're gonna I, I fucking sit there and lose I your frog? Idiot. <laughs> Watch this shit. I, 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 Dude, idiot. Moron. He's, he's distracted. You're just telling me he's good at this? <laughs> what are you talking first about? First of all, he finishes this level without dying. One. Wow. And also, he lost the wait, is it possible he did that on purpose? It is. Because it was faster? I no. was thinking that for a second, but I think he was just annoyed at the clip. Why did you laugh when I said he looks like a gamer, love? Yeah, I don't know. I assume you were. He looked like he'd be really good at Donkey Kong. I assume you were talking about his background, of course. Like he has the video game stuff. Farm brother and I played a competition with this Donkey Kong. And whoever beat it first won. Oh, he barely won. I was on his tail the whole time. But I can't. The fucking mining levels with the the cart through the the lights go on and off. Oh, that's so hard for me. Of course. <laughs> I wonder if he's ever had a gamer moment. Sometimes I wonder if the people who do this kind of videos are really playing the game or are they just using footage. A lot of people don't. Right. That's actually been controversy what? I've seen where they'll steal other people's gameplay and mm -hmm. put it in mm -hmm. and it becomes like a whole thing. What? Oh, I thought he was above that. I knew it. What the frick? There's on the internet that literally just make these stupid fucking arguments like Look, for internet the pass. That's literally what this is. They're Nobody take, will ever like, explain why it's wrong. They'll never get into the actual you meat and so potato stupid, of the you argument. You just don't get it. This is just bad faith. Okay. But I'm not going to explain it. Nobody in this whole thing, Keffels, Tipster, or Vosh, has ever told me where what I lied about and what I'm wrong about. Other than just to speak kind of like abstractly about it being bad faith. You're too dumb to understand. Dipshit. I just don't understand how, like, how would Keppels or Tipster defend the clip where he's saying that in not this society, but in another, a sexual relationship between a child and adult could be beneficial to the child. Like, I want to... Well, he's talking... She, he's, he, he's probably talking about my family lineage. He is probably having that conversation. Like, literally. He's probably talking about that. You know what I mean? I how they think that's that's I, defendable. I, that's what I'd like to ask them, too, if they would call in. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still waiting. I checked. There, there's nothing in the inbox yet. Mm. I, yeah, that's the only situation I can understand because that's a really hard discussion to have with my family members, like I said earlier. And it's, I again, I try not to bring it up. It triggers the fuck out of everybody because all the couples, even though the girls were all minors and the men were older, all the couples ended up being with each other until they died. They all raised kids that love them. Their kids really love them. So they really admire them. We have a really good, like, relationship with those couples. So in that situation, and again, I want to break generational curses and not do it again, but all of those people allegedly were all very happy with how things turned out and all their kids and their grandkids. Like, I love my grandparents. They have very complicated relationships. I love my aunties and uncles. It's very complicated. So I can see that that is, like, the example but I don't, I don't know because again, we're talking about marriages. We're talking about I don't know if Vosh is meaning that. Is, is that what Vosh means? I'm trying to be good faith here. Discourse says I think Vosh said it in a more in a sense of statistically, it'd be odd if there's no times where they wouldn't be harmed. But he did say, given how vast majority of the time it's harmful, he's against it as a rule. Okay. Kay says, are you being super generous or did Vosh allude it to being along those lines? I don't know now. Now I'm confused. I think he autistically meant like in a, a, bi in a, a billion people, there's probably one situation where it works out. 
I think that's what he was saying, right? Which I guess like is statistically true, but it still is not good, right? I think in being totally good faith, I think that's what he meant, which again, very autistic, but like, okay. So I think that's what he meant is he's thinking about the one person in 8 billion people this could work to. So it says, are we talking about what Vasha's argument is? I think his arguments was, quote, it would it would reduce harm to use the stuff that's already out there. No, 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 that's something different. We're talking about, no, we're not talking about the creation of the core and we're talking about relationships. Okay, let's see. Uh, hypocritical says he only meant that he doesn't believe it's inherently impossible. I meant hypothetically. Okay, yeah, I don't think it's inherently impossible in every situation, but I think generally we should not want children and adults to ever cohabitate. But also we decide what a child is based off an arbitrary line of 18. And I think that's within reason. We want that for, we want to protect kids. We want to do whatever it takes to protect children and young adults. I would say even people under the age of 30, 25 to like younger, I think we should make a concerted effort to protect them as well. So maybe something like that. You know what I mean? I have a feeling they won't be reaching out. I have that feeling as well. However, um, something that unfortunately you'll probably never get to experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. These stupid fucking out of context clips and make the obvious response to what these clips suggest just so they can get internet ass pats and Twitter likes and fucking views on YouTube and shit like Dude, that. Dude, bro, you listen to him say that sexual relationship with a child could be beneficial to the child and you took the obvious reaction. What, what's, <laughs> the, what's an internet ass pat? <laughs> like, good job, buddy. Like, on the field. But, but why, uh, yeah, why, they, why not a pat on the back? Yeah, like, why, they took well, on the Because to them, it's a sport. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, tips, they're slapping me on the ass. <laughs> Is that virtual uh, essay? He might, yeah. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Uh, hypercritical says, and Vash agreed in that same discussion that we still shouldn't allow it. He was making a rule utilitarian argument. Yeah, I think he just like the debate space. And again, I don't watch Vosh, so I don't know. But the debate space is open and does have very interesting conversations. And even I, like in my black and white thinking and my very like neurodivergent thinking, sometimes do come across as like very like. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And so it's very confusing. And that's why I say like without the context, it's going to be even worse. Like literally so many people took me out of context and said like Brittany wants to genocide disabled people because I said like ones are useless. And I'm like, what does disability have to do with ones? And that's because everyone in their head, when I said useless people in society, attributed that to what they hear is useless people. But I never think of disabled people as useless people. <laughs> the fact that you do, though, I says, think says something, something about you. When I literally say ones are useless, I'm never thinking disabled people or homeless people. So I kind of understand like being taken out of context because people like you, like they end up like projecting whatever they think that word means onto the groups of people they think it it, it applies to. So like obviously I don't think that, but that, but then I can understand why they would take me out of context because their bubble probably told them disabled homeless people are useless. When I'm like, I don't believe that. I don't believe that, but like, okay. But if you believe that, like, okay, I don't believe that. <laughs> this motherfucker That's literally what this you. is. Let me take a jab at someone that I dislike on the internet. Hold on. What's this? Discord sent it to me. That's the difference between act and rule utilitarianism. An act utilitarian would say, oh, this is an instance where it was good for the adult and the minor to have sex. That would make it a good action. But the rule utilitarian... How do you measure which is that, bro? How, who's setting up to measure that? Yeah, I'm really curious. You know, dude. You've And it's not just once. You've done this several times like a point he keeps coming back to. I am, would say, even though that individual look how, look outcome was good, the act was still bad because in general, in a broader application for adults and children to have sex with one another leads he, to- He's like if Plato met Jimmy Savelle. <laughs> well, or just Plato met Plato. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, true. What if you yeah. also when we say child, we're all imagining something different. Is he talking about a 15 year old, a 17 year old, a 12 year old, a 13 year old, a 12 year old, a two year old? So obviously, is Vash imagining when he says child and adult, is he imagining a 17 year old or is he imagining a 16 year old? And we, I don't know why we're pretending like around the world and up until recently, love marriages are a very new thing. 
that generally speaking, in a lot of societies, you were married off as young people. You were absolutely like, it's not good or bad. I'm just saying, well, it's bad, but like, it's bad only because like, that's my values. And I agreed with that. So is Vaj, like, I don't know. I feel like this is like pretty normal debate bro stuff, but also like, that's why the conversation is so difficult because like, who are you imagining? What's the type of person you're imagining? What are you thinking about when you say that? So you know what I mean? I don't think like much. That's what you guys are wrong. <laughs> I said during the video that none of you guys clearly watch. I like Bosch. I think he's funny. I think he's a good speaker. Funny? Actually, no, not mm-hmm. funny, but not funny. I think he's smart and a good speaker. Oh, jeez. And some of his videos are, <laughs> I've enjoyed watching. That being said, so no, I don't have a vendetta against him, and I liked him before all this shit started to uh, transpire. It's about them. I mean, finally saying one mean thing about Bosch before this. Give me a break. You guys are just doing the, you're on autopilot. It's so embarrassing. Fucking true. Just so I can yet. make a quick buck on the internet. Mm-hmm. As somebody who is friends with an artist a who draws buck. goblin porn, the funny thing is I knew exactly what Bosch was talking about because oh. his descriptor for goblin porn <laughs> That's is exactly a... what the way he did. That is so funny. Hipster knows about the goblin porn. Okay. We haven't watched, we haven't watched it yet, but when, when I was hearing it, I was like, what is goblin porn? <laughs> you never. I've seen a lot of troll and I think goblin porn. I don't know if they were goblins, but they're definitely trolls. I've seen a lot of that monster cock stuff. Everyone in the same reaction. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Actually, can you look up what is a goblin and goblin porn look like? Because I'm curious. There, I mean, he described it. I never spoilers, dude. He describes it in great detail. I'm, I'm I don't want to spoil anything about that clip. That's the new greatest, yeah. greatest clip ever. Bosch doing PR. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's guys. There's so much. This is. I'm telling you. This is insane. We gotta. She draws her art. Shout out to Rump and Dog. Fucking simp. I don't know if you realize how optically bad what you just said looks. This looks. Dude, you are literally defending animated CP at this moment. And telling, talking to me about optics. Holy shit. It's fucking terrible. Fair. Wow. Well, listen, if, if, if criticizing CP is, makes me look terrible, then I'll be Darth Vader. I don't fucking, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'll take that. I'll take that tough route. You're gonna have a hard time uphill with that argument, buddy. It is true. Like, they're definitely, like, the optics looks bad for the Avash in his side right now. Keto. Um, so, again, they... I found this clip with like all the con. Oh shit, it doesn't work. And to be fair, I would trust Ethan and Nilo with my kids much more than I would trust Vosh or anyone on that debate, anyone in the debate sphere. I would absolutely want Ethan and Nila to watch my kids over anyone in the debate sphere, to be fair, because they're all degenerates. So. This one here, I think it's because it's, it's a Twitter thing, maybe. I think it's because it's like marked as mature. Does it open for you guys? You see it in the, doc- the clip. Go look for the clip. Um, I see where you're at. Yeah, I can skip it though. It's not. It's not really material. Um, here's all everything he said about me on Discord and Twitter over on Friday and beyond. Yo, actually wants to talk. That's totally cool. But you'll have to wait because I'm getting a haircut. What happened? So that was he, as we were finishing the show. Yeah, he knew what I was saying. Hey, yep. The haircut is done, but I'm still not going on. He said, "This is what I get for being into." What is Midna? I didn't know what that meant. What? Midna? You're talking about uh, Zelda Midna? Oh, okay, I don't know. It's definitely some weird fetish thing, I think, the way he's talking about it. This is what I get for being into Midna growing up. My mind was more charitable to the chubby short stack archetype. Oh, it is. I think it is talking about Midna then. Because Midna's short. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what is it talking about? Can you spoil a picture of Midna? For yeah, me? sure. Uh, this ain't helping your this ain't helping Let me your see this. here, brother. Let me see. There she is. Princess no Midna. way. You guys are not <laughs> fantasizing over her. That's a child. <laughs> is that a child? I think she's just a little person. I don't know if that's a child. She kind of got a grown face. This looked like more like a little person. Are little people not allowed to get laid? She's, I, I, this is Lolly, because she's probably meant to be super old, but look, that's like a baby. So she, uh, yeah, she's older. She's like, is that a baby? Am I weird? It looks like a little elf. It looks like a, it looks like a woman. Like she's got boobs and, an, and a, a tubby belly and like that's all woman stuff. I would know. I have a tubby belly. But like, I don't know. That looks like a little person. Like a, she's like a queen, but then she's turned to this creature. Oh, you think God. this is hot? Okay. Say no more. Right then. Again, listen, you could you could right think then. that Midna's hot. That's what, that's what he gets for it. But again, in the context of everything, we do not like this infatuation with Midna. It's all compounding. Yes, mm-hmm. compounding interest. Yeah. But one thing I do get, one thing I do get really bothered by is the persistent implication that all of these maliciously cut clips are deep secrets. They're unearthed or not, like discussed to the death of my channel. I made videos addressing them multiple times. It comes up in debate. Again, this is one of their go-to defenses. It's totally untrue. I never insinuated that. And even if it was true, it doesn't change anything, man. We didn't we didn't know about it. Mm-hmm. It's because you've talked about it. it. doesn't mean that everybody watches your channel. I mean, give me a break. Mm-hmm. You know what's interesting? Midna is really interesting. I'm sorry, before we move on, because that kind of gives him an out being that Midna is actually older, but she's this creature for 99% of the game. You only see her real form at the end. So it is interesting that he's- That's really interesting. Like, yeah. I, I wish somebody had mentioned that. That'd be really uh, insightful. 
No, I know we talked about her actually being older. I'm just saying oh. that, that as a psychological standpoint, like looking at Midna, that's a good character to use as an excuse to publicly be like, oh, she's hot because she's actually older. <laughs> but that's that's what the lollycon loophole is. Right. They yeah. all use that. Mm -hmm. And it that's... says she's speculated to be over 18. Very convenient. <laughs> oh. Very convenient. Oh. Speculated no to be over 18. That. That, 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 that's <laughs> no way. It says on this comic book resources. Oh, However, it's speculated that. I also think there's something about, um, and again, like nymph, like nymph and fairy-like characters and they're kind of childish but devilish that is sort of the innocence can be like alluring and i think people that are really fucked up and really 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 gross i think they confuse actual innocent children as being these nymphs and these like fairies and these seductresses because they're fucking perverts and they're gross and they're sick in the head. And I think there is a separation of this lore that like happens in fantasy bubbles. So like in one bubble, and I'm not talking about sexual fantasy. I mean like fantasy, like like fiction. So in one form of a uh, bubble, there is like, again, the nymph that looks innocent, but it's actually going to like rip your throat out like a mermaid, like a traditional mermaid. But then I think the perverts, think it's like children and that's why they blame children <clears throat> like i was watching this like court case on tiktok and this guy like blamed a grandpa blamed his six-year-old granddaughter because she was dressing provocatively and i'm like what's happening and i think these like people that are really sick in the head like really sick in the head like super super sick they literally can't tell the difference between an innocent child and like their responsibility to that child or even a young person, like a young adult, like some adults do this with like 20 year olds or 21 year olds or 22 year olds. We're like, I'm looking at this. Like, I know it's an adult. I know 22 is an adult, but still sometimes 22 year olds are, they need to be protected. Like you, you shouldn't be like with the 22 year old, but also I'm not saying you're a pedophile for being with the 22 year old. I'm saying you're possibly ignoring the red flags of them being too quote inexperienced to be dating somebody your age and so I think there's like a whole lot of like overlap between different kinds of conundrums so you know what I'm saying there's oh, there's a lot here yeah there's like a lot there's a lot of and that's why it's so difficult because again I don't know. I don't I think society is going to have to contend with the fact that so many men might actually end up coming out to say they enjoy younger looking people. And look, it's very complicated. You know, I'm so against age gap relationships where the younger person is over 10 years of an age gap and they're under the age of 30. You know that because I am concerned about people not being considerate of that young person's age. And if they're like, if they're going to grow out of the relationship as they age, you, sh you, you can't, you shouldn't be engaging with them unless it's temporary. And it's just like for a moment, but that's the dilemma. So again, I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to be like nuanced here and everything. I know I have my own biases against age gap relationships when the younger person is, you know, under 30, but I also know like you're 22, you're an adult, you can make your own decisions. You're 18, you're an adult, you can make your own decisions. But I, I wish we had better mentors, mentors that didn't fuck their mentees, that could genuinely guide people. I'm really lucky that all of the people that ever played a mentor role in my life were never inappropriate with me, were always just mentors. I think so many people get in mentor-mentee relationships and fuck their mentees, which adds a whole new layer of like confusion to the relationship, right? But I also know it's considered hot in certain bubbles to have like the mentee relationship with people. But I also think there's something toxic to that because, again, you're, like, not invested in the best interest of the person you're mentoring if you're fucking them. Now you're interested in your sexual, like, activity, and I think that blinds you. I just, you know what I mean? Uh, she's over 18 and likely in her mid-20s. Okay. Oh, she's not ancient. So hold on. There, there, this seems to be official. I guess she yeah. does have an adult version. So 
perhaps. So which one is so he? Well, one hold on. No, he's like short, short stack. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. The that's miniature with Link in the whole game is the first one we looked at. Yeah, at the very end, you, you reveal her true form. Also, much like there's a fantasy of being over, like having a very big woman take advantage of you, like a very tall giant woman, there's a fantasy of having like a very small woman taking advantage of you in fantasy lore. So I think there's something to that as well. Or not like fantasy, like now I'm not talking about the genre. I'm talking about sexual fantasy. <laughs> but so in that, there's that as well. So I would say that that could be an overlap as well, where you think it's about being a kid, but it's actually just being like uh, unsuspecting. Uh... Maddox says, again, it has a lot to do with size difference kink. Mm? Is this what I, are you saying what I'm saying? Wait, wait. You said now fairies and imps sometimes tend to be more childlike, but that's like a halfling, goblin, and a dwarven species with heavy short stacks tend uh, trope and tend not to be childlike. Nymphs in mythology also tended to be womanly, youthful, but sexually enticing. Okay, noted. Four, which is this? And she turns. He's like, go back. Oh, okay. Go back to the child one. Oh, uh... You were way hotter before. <laughs> I really... R. Kelly, please. I cannot believe. Um, yeah, that's that's one of the tropes that they say all the time. That's how they get a loophole. They go, oh yeah, no, she's a 9,000-year-old demigod that looks like she's eight. Also, in her final form, she is so hot, it's like crazy. He wants nothing to do with that. I know, that's I really like insane to me. He wants that. Yeah, he wants a little. Which way, Western man? Right. There actually huh. seems to be more. When she's in her tiny figure, she's younger. According oh, to this, sure. her thing. eyes have more sparkles. They're much bigger. Yeah, yeah. This she has is, a child. It says Midnight Pierce as an imp-like creature, but her actual form is humanoid. In her second age form, Midnight's ten years old and wears a black robe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the lore. I don't know how this that looks like. In. It looks like a child version of her. Yeah, that's and that's the one for the record. Flash wants to fuck. <sighs> right. I don't think it's a child version of her. I don't know. I'm still not. Um, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how accurate that is. Well, well, this Wizard is no. Manager. Hold on. Hold on. He says this is what I get for being into Minna growing up. My mind was more charitable to the chubby short stack archetype. Oh, he's totally talking about the. Kid. Yeah, he's talking about oh, the lolly picture. Right. No, he's, he's, he's dude. Wild. Yeah, he wanted to fuck well, Minna. Doesn't that fall under? It's the lolly, and the, is it some form of bestiality too? <laughs> what? Because of the horse, like it's not human. Like I feel like it's more animal. -like. Well, it's a humanoid. Humanoid. Yeah, it's a humanoid. Yeah, I wouldn't put the bestiality on him. If he can speak, if you can talk to it, then I think you're good. Okay. Yeah. Also, interesting, I just remembered Link is a wolf in that game. That's the one where he's a wolf the whole time. And, oh, and Short Midna writes him. No. Short Midna writes him in that game. Disgusting. <laughs> Stallion <laughs> energy. By the way, one thing you'll notice while looking through all this, his Discord. Sorry, I just put three bubbles in my mouth. <laughs> Get on your breath. I feel like a horse chewing up carrot. <laughs> Take it away from me. I have a question, Don't. actually, while you're chewing. Is anybody hungry? I'm fucking starving. Yeah, they're reaching at this point, which I think is like, what H3 does, which is why they're not real debaters. That's why you should debate them, because they're not real debaters. They're not actually looking for the nuanced truth, right? That's why it's fun to debate Ethan, because it's not real. But, like, people take Ethan so seriously, which is why Ethan takes things so seriously. But, like, stop taking Ethan seriously, guys. Dude. Okay. What would what would be, like, the appropriate meal for this, though? Mm. Hey. Happy meals. Hey? We have hey. Get out of here, baby. That's fucked, baby. I'll take And one. also, like, normies be normies be normies. You know, even though Ethan and Ela are kind of not normal, Compared to actual normies, they're more normal than the debate sphere, right? I kind of would. <laughs> a happy meal? It's not it. You want McDonald's? I don't want to do that costume. to you. Yeah, don't. They're so good. Yeah, don't do that to you. Don't want let's, eat, let's eat healthy. Oh, right, I mean, we don't have to eat healthy, but McDonald's is... In Discord, and I'll okay. keep going. Okay. <laughs> the one thing, because I'll eat anything, I don't care. The one thing I noticed going through all this receipts and stuff, his Discord is the people on there are like all degenerates. And they have these kinds of conversations <laughs> all the time. That's why I make you guys pay for my Discord. It takes down the degeneracy. I'm I'm dead serious. Please sign up for the Discord. It's a great space and it's helped support the content. We have multiple events coming up, including a professionally paid yoga session. We do it monthly. She's amazing. She's very aware of chronic health because I have fibromyalgia. And so she makes it very accessible to all people. You don't have to be perfect at it. But this is why I make people pay for my Discord. It's degenerate when it's free. I went on to Tom Fullery's Discord. They are degenerate. They're so cruel and haters join just to bully him. I hate it there. I hate it there. Free discords are the worst discords. I'm sorry. I said it. I don't like the people on free discords. And how do you mitigate haters? Like, no, my discord's great. And because it's through Patreon, if a hater comes on, you don't get a refund, bitch. Yep, Patreon lets me decide who gets a, a refund because you are con you can't just like support the content, get access to it, and then bail. Like you can't come in and like bully people. Like no. So if you join my Discord as a troll, I'm keeping your money and I'm blocking you. Um, and it's 18 plus. My Discord is also 18 plus. Okay, you have to be 18 to join my Patreon. You have to be 18 to join my Discord. And if you're found out, I keep your money and you get kicked out. You know, I don't give your money back. You can't give me money and then try to. Mm -mm. 
no ma'am so again um i feel like people in my space are very open-minded but they paying really does filter out you know Brittany, yours is the only paid discord i've ever heard of thank you so much it is the majority of how i make my money actually out of all my streams of income, my Discord is how I make most of my money. So it's a good community. Lots of people are there and lots of people are doing good. You know, like they're really, they're really thoughtful people. Not even everyone shows up. So many people just lurk, but it's a really, it's great. It's a great source of income. Everyone wins. It's 10 bucks a month and I'm there. So like, if you guys want to talk to me, I'm available. So you know what I mean? And there's so much conversation spearheaded by Vosh <sighs> about sex, sexuality, and all this kind of kink stuff. Sure. He's, he's 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 interacting with his audience for sexual gratification. It seems like. I mean, that's a, that's an assumption. Although he has done that before with this girl Lolly, which I'll get into. Wait, no, no. not Lolly. Uh, Poppy. Oh, yeah, I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Jeez. Whoops. Her name is Poppy. Um, so that's already alarming by itself. There's so many different facets of this that are just screen giant red flags, man. Uh, he continues after saying he wanted to fuck Mint Baby Migna. <laughs> Uh, one thing I do Don't really get bothered baby, by is bro. that... See how you gamers in the chat right now are like, um, she's literally an adult, no matter the size, bro. But like, he's he's gonna... You know what I mean? Ethan, they can't handle it. They don't... I don't know. They probably just don't have access to this kind of bubble. So it's like very strange for them, you know? Oh, I already read that one. Yeah. People did horse emojis on this, by the way. That's 13 weird. horse emojis on this comment. I don't know if that's significant. What? Like, imagine if I did a two-hour stream where me and a group of people all mockingly reacted to clips and images of Ethan that make him look terrible and are probably cut together by people who fucking hate him. Do it. I mean, people would probably say, why are you doing this? But do it. And then I'll respond by saying, you know what? All that stuff that they showed was really fucked up. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I, have nothing, I have nothing to say in my defense other than that I'm, I'm constantly uh, maturing and growing and trying to do better, you know? So, like, it's, it's not the same. He says, then I and everyone pretend we've done some deep dive and unveiled secrets he wants to keep hidden from the world. Bro, that part is so stupid. Who gives a fuck if it's a secret or not? People haven't seen it. People That's a good point. Discord says, wait, do they think unironically that Tinkerbell is a child just because she's small? You guys know, like, Tinkerbell, I don't know how old she is, but I assume she's of age. She drawn like she's of age. And if she's not of age, I aged her up. She's 34 now. I just decided, you know Tinkerbell's 34? Facts. But yeah, I think we all had a thing for Tinkerbell growing up to some extent, right? People haven't seen it. People do that to me on a weekly basis. I really don't give a fuck. I mean, it's embarrassing. I don't like talking about it because it's embarrassing. It makes me feel bad, but like I'm always that's my I wonder if Ethan would have an issue with a little person being with somebody else. Cause like sometimes they do get mistaken for children, which is like, you know, that sucks. I've done that. I've mistaken adult little people for children, my bad. And it does suck, but like obviously they have the right to express themselves and to have a relationship and to like have a you know what I mean? My policy on this stuff is that I'm always going to confront this stuff head on when and talk about it as many times as people want to hear me talk about it because hmm. I was wrong. Hmm. You know what I mean? There's no hiding from that. But he wants to talk about chubby short stacks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I don't know what the fuck he's on about. Go do a two-hour live stream of mocking all the dumb things I'm saying. I really don't care. You know what I mean? <laughs> also, like, you're saying that kids and adults can have sex and it be meaningful for the kids. Like, Dude, stop it. We're not saying the same things. So Ooh. embarrassing. <laughs> I doubt I'll... He says, I doubt I'll ever understand why Ethan turn coded like this. Bitch, I don't know you. What are all these coats and jackets? <laughs> Bitch, <Yeah>. I don't <laughs> know Seriously, you. what is this? Men's warehouse? Wait, what is that now? A turn coat means that you switch sides. Traitor. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm calling you a traitor. I got no coat. I don't own coats. I don't own jackets. I don't own coats. <laughs> I'm a t-shirt guy. You're going to like the way your horse looks. I guarantee, guarantee it. <laughs> Saddle up. Men's warehouse. Ethan reaching out. Asking to have me on. The vibes are insanely bad. Extremely obvious this is just content to him. Incredibly snakish. I'm going to see if I can get him on to talk on my stream. Flash is without him being scene. live. So he's not able to just make a second round of content of, of me lying. Bro, are you dumb? That's the same shit. What does it matter? I'll call him to your show. You know what I mean? Like, what does it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to talk to you on your show. We'll have the same conversation. It's a live show. What, do you, what, do you, what is this logic? <laughs> Very clear. Good faith was never a consideration. So it wouldn't be if I came on either. Is every conversation that Vosh has had, like, I need you to enter this conversation in good faith or I'm leaving. I'm pretty sure that, like, entering a conversation with the expectation that you're going to have conflict with the person or that they're somehow out to get you is commonplace in Vosh's world of debate. The fact that he's, right he's trying to make it seem like this is an outlier in the world of debate is a total mm -hmm. fucking fraud. You know what I mean? Dude, the, the issue is simple. Oh, my God. Okay, I got to pee so bad, but I don't want to pause it because we're falling behind. I'm going to keep it playing. Just, like, tell me in chat what they said. I'll be back. Oh, two minutes. I pee very fast. I'll be back in two minutes. If I'm lying. You, as a master debater, ultimate philosophical, philosophical intellect, should be child's play 
And I don't mean that, and I no pun is intended <laughs> on that. I should never bring that up in this context of this, but it should be Midna's play, let's say that, <laughs> to, to, to disarm me. Especially if he thinks that we just got it wrong. Yeah. You know. He says, this is the issue, there's no winning if it's just half a dozen people jeering at you and calling you a pedo. You can't debate your way out of a well poisoned by two hours of character assassination. Okay. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. I do think it would be a disaster if you called in. I do. But like, <laughs> you're the debate guy. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm just some dumb idiot. Okay. So like, yeah. And he's doing this, uh, I didn't think it was bad faith. I'm just curious to have you on to know why routine. Okay, well, you act like I can manipulate you into coming and talking on my show. You're the debate guy. That's your whole thing. So many people warned me he was a snake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Who told you that? <laughs> was it Keffels and Tipster? Because, because I thought they were disappointed <laughs> in me that I was such a great guy. Other than that, I don't know a single person that knows the two of us and that's being generous that those two know me. Um, so many people warned me he was a snake. Bro, so many people warned me you're a pedo. <laughs> I'd rather be a snake than a pedo. Mm -hmm. right, and, I, and I mean that he consumes cartoon <laughs> TP. Not that he is a pedo, although that would insinuate. Yeah. Because a pedo is someone who's attracted to kids, right? Not right. It doesn't mean that they've undertaken the act of, of harming a child. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Are we getting Taco Bell? Yes. Yeah. Watch continues. When I pointed out the fact that if he was interested in my opinion <clears throat> or context on any of these accusations, he probably would have reached out to me before doing a surprise two-hour hit piece. He said that us having had a no. conversation before doesn't mean you're owed that. Um... What? Bro, what? What? A surprise hit piece? Bosh I mean, is, is it a surprise crazy, you had this mask, this silly, outrageous horse porn leak that everybody was talking about? Vosh is crazy. Right. It, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't come out of nowhere. It came out of your fucking to be sorted fo folder, bucko. What? Oh, that uh, he kept calling the topic heated. I don't know. He's such a moron. As though it was a mutual beef and not entirely one sided, completely unprompted smear attempt. This is only content to him. I'm not so enthusiastic as to freely allow people to profit from lying about and degrading me. Okay, that's news to me. Have you considered that he genuinely thinks you are a nonce? And that's why he, he engaged in it? Like, nonce is idiot, right? No, it's another pedo. Oh, it is? Yeah. Another that's word? what the English call it? Yeah. Oh. Like, nonce? I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, there's a guy who went up to James Charles and, and said right. it. Yeah. And I don't think James knew what it meant. He took a picture oh, with him. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so this person actually asked a good question. Have you ever considered that he genuinely thinks you're a nonce? And that's why he's engaging like that. He says, no, I don't think he believes any of this at all. What? Bro, we saw this dude little... literally. He literally walked up to me and said, "Hey, I want to tell you something." And uncuck your ears, listen up, and focus on every word I'm saying with intention. Children and adults can have sex, and it be a positive experience for the kids. That I've been looking for more context on that one because they say everything's out of context. We mm -hmm. haven't really been able to find more context on that one, right? No. Yeah. I mean, I thought I showed the context pretty good. Sort of, like maybe not. Like I mean, he, if you're just making an argument, oh, that's the problem with debate spaces. Is if you're, because that's the problem with having these conversations. Like when we talk about like what is moral or ethical, remember it's all made up. Like I don't know if people know this. Like it is all made up. Everything you're mad about is made up. It's not real. It's like, oh, it's real, but it's like a perception. So this idea that like the world hasn't run on child marriages because everyone thought it was okay to some extent, even though it's not okay, like that was a perception. The idea that we're mad about it now is a perception, but the perception is what? About, well, harm reduction to some extent, but also about your goal. And so he, when you're making an argument about like what is ethical for society, you're making an argument about what is good for society. And then the society dictates what is the goal of the good. And so I'm not saying it's okay. I'm saying like, I, th I think it's like, I don't know. I feel like you're not, I understand what they're saying. Obviously, Ethan and Ela are trying to protect kids and we're here for that. You know, Hannah, great example, says I'm too normie. Uh, I'm too normie bubble to care about some of the nuances on this topic, I think. I think that's fair. And I think that's probably more than reasonable. We obviously want to protect kids more than not. I think the dilemma is that we're not going to protect kids in the long run if we don't actually understand why people choose them. And I think that's a lot harder to admit out loud than we're willing to have a conversation about right now. And I think it's going to be a huge mistake, but I don't care because humans always make these mistakes. Humans care about children, but mostly they care about not feeling icky about their own opinions. I don't think people are really willing to care for children enough to go to the extent of like protecting them against all their biases. So example, conservatives feel about like trans kids the way Ethan feels about Vosh looking at Lolly. And there's something about that we need to talk about, right? Because obviously people literally think like trans people target children and that if you make your child trans, quote, if you make them, quote, trans, then you are like basically a PDF file, right? Because it's about grooming, which is about sexual like gratification in the end. So again, when we're having nuanced conversations, it's always about protecting kids, but everyone has a different method of doing it. And so I'm saying until we're re ready to admit out loud that we're not actually interested in protecting kids as much as we're interested in feeling good about our opinions about protecting kids. 
I don't know that we're actually pro protecting children. Like my parents said that to me growing up my whole life. Don't you want to protect kids? Then they shouldn't be gay. Don't you want to protect kids? Then they can't have gay teachers. Well, my gosh, you don't want to protect kids, Brittany. And it's like, well, that sucks. That's a sucky narrative. I internalized so much growing up that gay people were predators towards children. That like I had borderline personality disorder because I was going to abandon myself, you know. So again, like when we're having conversations about like protecting children, we need to ask ourselves like which kids. Because I was a child when I was being berated with anti-gay propaganda from the goodness of people's hearts. Like the road to hell is paved in good intentions. So I want to protect ch children. I'm just not sure we're all talking about protecting children as much as we're protecting our feelings around protecting children. If you, there's more context, it somehow changes that. Unless it's like, and that's what my friend said to me before I never talked to him again. Yeah. Punch him in the fucking face. You know, and I'm not defending Vosh, by the way, because I don't watch Vosh and I think I can't stand him. I'm just saying, and I'm more on Eli and Ethan's side. I would trust, trust them with my children way more than I would trust Vosh with my children, obviously. I would definitely not trust Vosh with my kids. But Ethan and Eli, I know, would protect children more than anything. Um, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm explaining why it's important to have the nuanced takes because we want to protect kids but it's very difficult to do this because like there's so much more that goes into it, right? Oh, well, then I'd like to see it. We were checking before the clip, so maybe you're right. Maybe after he says that, because I didn't go that far after I went more before. <laughs> then I buried him and hid the grave. And then I said, psych? <laughs> on opposite day. All right. True. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. We have a new clip of Vosh. Discord says, Vosh is very hypocritical though, given this clip. Oh, no doubt. Bothers uh, me as people who pretend there's no relation. Is that Mr. Girl? Ugh. Relationship whatsoever between like, drawn lolly shit and actual attraction to children oh oh this is where he gets up and leaves the discussion with mr girl isn't it because of course there's a relationship between those things ridiculous to pretend otherwise so they need to be aware uh, of that if anything are you wait oh uh are you saying that someone send this to ethan that based on common sense or is there any evidence of that i think it's categorical I think that the fetishization of youth to the extent that you're fetishizing the bodies or mentalities of underage people is categorically harmful. Uh, because even if, even if somehow, and I don't know if there's any research indicating this, even if somehow you could find that there is zero correlation between any criminal behavior there at all, and, uh, you know, the, the widespread consumption of hentai, lolicon, whatever, you know, I, um, I still think that uh, it, it, it normalizes quite negative things. The thing that bothers yeah. me is... I mean, I guess that kind of coincides with his ultimate argument, but does make... Okay, so I think that coincides with his original argument, but also contradicts the fact that it's in his folder. So then the question is, does he have Lolly in his folder? And some Vosh people would say he doesn't, but I looked at the folder from what I saw from the six photos. The last photo was definitely Lolly. So... <laughs> Maybe this is just a different perspective, but if I was in his shoes... Uh, and generally thought I was trying to get a pedo onto my stream to tear into him. I wouldn't act like he did at all. All soft and cooing and non-accusatory. Oh it's just God. content. Like, it's just Keemstar. I gotta show the DMs now. The way he's... That wasn't, that was, um, Mr. Girl talked to Vosh, what guys, a couple years ago now? I don't even know how long it's been. Maybe a year? Um, like one year, two years ago? I don't even remember. Because like Vosh leaves that discussion because Mr. Girl gets fed up. Oh no, no, Vosh gets fed up with Mr. Girl talking about underage people, right? Character, I think it's fucking weird. The most frustrating part of this discourse is that I was literally probably just thinking, oh, wow, big, meaty dick, big, hefty, short stack getting fucking big dick. You're an adult, bro. It's time to fucking, like, not... You, you, Why are you talking to your fans about this, too? Like, dude, this is mild. He yeah. talks with his fans and Discord about sex so much. It is so fucked up. I mean, you're yeah, trying we... to be, like, a political streamer. Why are you talking he's, about Yeah, he's trying there? to be a... Uh, who's that, that uh, Democrat guy who got disgraced? Hmm? Anthony Weiner. He's trying to be Anthony Weiner. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Anthony Weiner was... Weiner time. Oh, my God, what a moment. Holy... He actually got... He was sending Weiner pics. <sighs> right, I remember. That's all I know about him. Kind of interesting. Dude, that, that dude had it all. I forget who his wife was, but she was like a fame, like a beautiful, famous, successful woman. Uh, was, she was Hillary Clinton, uh, Clinton's um, best friend and campaign manager. Yeah, manager? and then he sent dick pics to like a minor, right? Maybe not campaign manager, but like her her right hand woman. I don't remember, but at, at any rate, he's, like he's lost everything. <laughs> like feet photos it's incredible, and an affair. And... and I remember right before it happened, people were really feeling him like, this guy could be president. And all this. I remember. I mean, I, yep, I was very involved in politics then. But, shit. but anyway, I digress. And Anthony Weiner seems so tame now with everything coming out around everyone else. You're like, oh, never mind. Gavin Newsom in the next few years. Gavi baby's my boy. He's going all the way. He's my liberal savior. That's what I'm saying. You think he's going to get exposed or he's going to be prez? One or the other. 
Okay. Ethan is a prude. Ethan and Ela are both prudes for sure. Not as prudish as conservatives, but they're definitely more prudish. For sex positive people, they're pretty prudish. Yeah. The two paths. <laughs> Which I think is great. I love how compatible they are in their prudishness. <laughs> I agree though. Uh <gasps> Sov says true. It came full circle. Doesn't Mr. Girl call his audience horses too? Wait, that's so true. Wow, Vash and Mr. Girl should have gotten married, bro. Gabby baby's on his way. Depends if he's Dan's next target or not. That's Ooh. right. That's right. Let's see what's in the folder, <laughs> Gavin. That's right. So he says, uh, and now I have to endure a million scholars in my community arguing the philosophy philosophy of Lolicon. Hey, bro, it's time to start taking uh, responsibility. How old is this guy? Like, we can't just be like, oh, I just thought it was fat, meaty dick. And say, no, bro, it's time to just leave that shit in the past and start owning your actions. He's Where 29. are you? Exactly. He's 29. You're almost, you're almost 30, man. It's time to grow up, dude. 29. But I, even like the way that he's engaging his audience on Discord in the sexual manner, this is something well established in the past few years that creators should not be doing this because it's inherently imbalanced. And it's yeah. just. I don't know if that's true. I think it's true. Like, I wouldn't want to marry a fan fan. I think that's true. But I do think in this space, like, you. You don't. I think that's true. I think you don't want to marry a fan, right? Um, Because that's weird. Like, I couldn't. I'm glad. Yeah, I don't. You don't want to marry a fan. But not everybody in your community is a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes people, I have people in my Discord that don't even watch my content. I have people who pay for my for my Discord just to meet the community. They don't give a fuck about me. Oh, and most of my callers don't even watch my content. Half of them are like, what have you been doing on YouTube lately? And I was like, wow, you don't even watch my content anymore. So like some people, like they don't engage with the content creator in the same way. But then they're obviously like fans. Like I've definitely met people that I'm like, okay, this is like, I have to have boundaries with this person because, like, I'm a content creator. And then there are other people that, like, you know, you know. But at the same time, I don't think it's wrong for people to, like, have sex with people in their communities. I think the question is, like, what role do they play in the community, right? So inappropriate. Yeah. And so this is happening in plain sight. And apparently because everyone knows he's a pervert, nobody should get to criticize him for it. Anyway, he says. But to be fair, Cat Black did have not great things to say about Vosh. So maybe he's a little sex pest. I don't know. Stay focused on my channel, stay grounded and lean. To pretend they've done some digging and unearthed some huge dirt on me when it's like the first shit you see Googling my name and it's been addressed and debunked a billion times. Yeah, I mean, I guess it needs to be, be deep. I needs to be addressed a billion and one times because I still have questions. Pretending it's big, some big secret I've been hiding from everyone is a rhetorical tactic to convince their audience that I have no defense or context to provide and I've been relying on secrecy. Bro, mm. you are like delusional. I don't even know what to say. Anyway, said I'm not talking to Ethan. Only after making a- Vosh is weird though, but Vosh, Hassan, and Steven all have like problems with their egos for sure. But at least Steven wouldn't pussy out of a debate. Damn, right? But they all have ego issues, obviously. They have a really hard time admitting they're wrong. I don't know why we're all surprised about this. Claire wasn't going to talk to his disingenuous ass. His final DM to me was the standard, oh, bro, get help, you're sick. Proving it again that his ewu, what do you mean I was bad faith, please come on for content act, was completely transparent. What I... And he's oh not God. getting his content, he returned, he said, uh, and as soon as he knows he's not getting his content, he returns to the standard, regarded, low IQ, bad faith smear shit. This guy's apparently smart, that. right? Yeah. He led by saying, if this guy actually thought I was a pedo, he'd be talking to me in way stronger terms, and he wouldn't be speaking nice to me. And then, at the end of the conversation, when I started speaking to him in a more uh, stern tone, he goes- It's not about thinking you're a pedo, Vosh. It's about wondering if you're a pedo. You do not want to be seen as one. So did he want Ethan to jump to that conclusion and accuse him, or does he want Ethan to kind of toe the line? Which is better or worse? At least Ethan's giving Vosh a chance to clear his name in some aspect. I mean, Vosh has not done himself a service. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why, like, Vosh does not want Ethan to come down hard and say he's a pedo. That's not what he wants. He does want Ethan to go soft on it. So he has a chance to retort, right? Am I crazy? Goes, oh, I now that proves you're disingenuous. Mm -hmm. You, you, you have, t you're in a pretzel, dude. A pretzel of horsehair, man. And horsehair is expensive. You know, that's True. a premium product. But also, like, if you're trying to discuss coming on the show, there's a difference between just being polite, polite and civil. Of course. Then, like, what, I don't know what did he expect for you to just be like shouting at him from the beginning of the conversation. What I said to him, I said, what do you expect? That's not, I don't, you know what I mean? It's not how I talk to anybody. Uh, I mean, I kind of. A uh, vile snake, he calls me. <laughs> uh, und un undisputable anti Semitism. Not even debatable. <laughs> <laughs> no, the number 19? Mm. The 1900s, the century the Holocaust happened in? You got I got questions, buddy. Mm. Uh, Vash says, is he actually having a mental breakdown or does he normally do this? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, both. Um, both. Well. Sounds like this has always been Ethan saying he cracked gold with Steven Crowder, but man, well, okay, getting a little credit there. Huh. And some dubs in the chat. Mm -hmm. Frustrating, but it is cool being the only sane and normal person, I guess. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. That He's is so bold. delusional. But D, please. He Real. should <laughs> talk to a therapist. Yeah. He hasn't. He's like, well, that's off. Kind of what I said. I like, bro, get, uh, get. I mean, my advice with him was this admit that you've done something wrong, 
and that you can go talk to a therapist about it and try to like actually address it. And then mm -hmm. I think there's people that will forgive him and continue to watch him if he, but I mean, clearly there's a lot of people that actually like him the way he is, right. which is what's blowing my fucking yeah, tits how off. how many subscribers does Vosh have? <laughs> Vosh has All right, this is all size. just whatever. He, can, he continues to fucking cry. If people want to hate you, they will. It's like just, this is so much like victim. Oh, Vosh has a much smaller channel than I thought he had. He is 466,140. Not that it matters much, but like, okay, I thought he had a much bigger channel in my head. I don't know why. Live Vosh reaction, post H3 podcast after party, 100,040. He made, he has good views, 200,000 views, 150,000 views. 900. He's got good views. Okay. So Vosh has like a consistent community. Oh, 45,000 views, 53,000 views. That's still pretty good. Yeah, he's like a good mid-sized channel. Okay, 80,000, 160,000, 100,000, 200,000. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Yeah, he's Culture. just Culture. Yeah. I thought the DMC became, he came across insanely snakish. Hmm. So, oh my God, there's so much of it. Okay. <laughs> I rescinded my invitation for Ethan to talk on my stream because after doing a completely unprompted vile dishonor. What do you guys think? Ethan has, how much does Ethan have? Almost 3 million subscribers. Do you think it'd be bad for Vosh to come on? Because I still feel like it would be better for Vosh to come on than not come on. His character assassination for two hours. He was playing dumb and DM saying he was surprised. <sighs> uh, I thought he acted in bad faith and wanted me uh, on his stream to provide my opinion. If you cared about my opinion, when you reach out before? Dude, you don't apply this logic to any debate you've ever had in your life. And then I checked his Insta story, and while he was doing this innocent routine in DMs, he was calling everyone defending me a pedo. I mean, yeah, i was been doing that for like two days straight. If you didn't see it, that's not my fault. What? Um, okay, I don't want to read anymore. This is boring. Yeah. Yeah. So should I read the DMs? Does anyone care? Well, we all Maybe care. you just... I mean, let's move on. Why don't you just, yeah, you just show them so people who are interested could read it, but we don't have to like read through. The it's whole not a lot. You know I, feel, what I, mean? I feel like I can already we, understand how the conversation we went. We do need just to be conscious of time. Social Blade says he lost 5,000 subscribers. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it's probably best to lose subscribers and then to gain new ones, right? Yeah, I don't think we need to show it. And there's so much still. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's basically, let's see. I just think it's funny how he characterizes some things in this, but okay, whatever. Let's move on. We, we have too much to cover. So now that I've covered all that background. Oh my God. Let us, as he says, poison the well with fresh, natural, beautiful, purified spring water. <laughs> Truth, by the way. So now I'm going to paint a picture in totality. Why do we say he is uh, uh, trying to excuse pedophilia? The people are demanding the DMs. I mean, I don't, again, I don't mind showing it. I just don't want it to be boring. I don't know. I mean, that's why I was saying to show um, people could pause and read it. You just show it. You don't have to like go through it all. I, I don't think it's going to be that interesting. I just think his, the way he characterizes stuff is really fucking dumb. Also, he said, by the way, one of the DMs, I, Ethan can share the DMs if he wants. So he gave me permission. Nice. He what did. I kiss? Let's just fucking shoot him up. So as you can see on Instagram, I'll try to blast you. Bailey says, Brit, I want you on H3, but I also don't because you're the only thing I gatekeep. Stop right now. I would love to, but also, you know, but is it morally wrong for me to gatekeep you? I mean, you know. I would love to, but I also love H3 and H3, so I probably wouldn't be as, like, argumentative. I'd probably have, like, too much fun with it. I just think, like, they're all well-intentioned people, but I think everyone is. I actually am really upset with Vosh for pussying out of this debate because I think it was, like, an, an opportunity Ethan gave him. Plus, Ethan, like, loves to spar. Man, I wish I could fight with Ethan. Oh. We could have fought over Abra and Breach. That would have been fun, but nobody... Are you guys posting my videos in their, in their Reddit? That's the question. Are you guys a good cult and posting my videos in their Reddit so they could see me. They, you should send them the video where Abba sends me the deleted video. You should send them that one. The biggest miscommunication in YouTube history. You should send them that video on their Reddit. I could talk, I could debate Ethan about that and be like, look, I know you guys all mean well. Get along. This is our first DM combo. Very first. Would you like to call in on Monday? I know the podcast guys have DM'd you, but I thought I'd message you directly. They sent me the DMs. Wow. Uh, I understand where you're coming from. It's pretty heated, although I genuinely don't know what or how my comments were bad faith. I'm being totally honest. I don't understand. And nobody will tell me what was bad faith about it. I just keep saying that. I personally be interested in that combo and do promise to keep a good faith and to give you space to talk. I mean, that seems perfectly genuine, right? Not, am I doing you, you, cute, fucking... <laughs> being straightforward. That's or... it. Uh, he, that's he says nice. heated implies mutual aggression. Okay, so no, that's, that's not what I meant, bro. It, He's autistic. I'm telling you right now, this is autism. They're both autistic. But like, what? Ethan was so nice. And then he started with heated implies a mutual aggression. It's just a character assassination. What? That's Forward. it. Uh, he, These right? autists. Not, am I doing you? I understand where you're coming from. It's pretty heated, although I genuinely don't know what or how my comments were bad faith. I personally be interested in, in that convo and do promise to keep it good faith. Ethan is being so nice. Ethan is being so nice. You cute fucking <laughs> being straight. What? That's or it. 
Uh, he, he says heated implies Bosch me. just replies with such a fucking it would be from your end of things as if someone like Keemstar constructed a massive clip show out of my out of every bad thing you've ever done. Vosh does have autism, I think. you. Got, yeah, Discord said Vosh is unironically diagnosed autistic. Bro, it's so clear. That's not autism. That's saving face. I I can't believe he got mad. You got it. You got to go in with joy and happiness with Ethan. You just got to be optimistic. I can't believe he fucked up this bad. Mutual aggression. Okay. What so, that's not what I meant. Idiot. Bro. <laughs> He's like, such a debate, bro. Yeah. Uh -huh. exactly. I cannot stop exactly. debating. I want to debate. It. That's, a, that's not the right word, brother. It's like, come on. He says it's just a character assassination. It would be from your end of things as uh, if someone like Keemstar construct, constructed a massive clip show out of every bad thing you had ever done, real or imagined, pulled exclusively from the people who you hate, the whole time pretending he'd unearthed this massive closeted packed f full of skeletons when really most of what he's waffling about is either imagined or longer dressed. You want it to be settled, well, but you know it's not settled. Your task in this is to convince what? everybody that it is settled, that it is all bad faith. And so far, you've done a pretty good job of convincing people in your audience and people who are fans of yours of that. But I'm here to tell you, you can stop the bullshit because it is not fucking settled by any means. To say it's imagined or long address are two very different things. So one, the imagined. Is he saying some of the stuff didn't happen? Yes. Because it's things he's saying with his own right. mouth. There's no like imagined. He, he's saying anything about it. He's putting, he's doing a spaghetti cannon, but the, his fans somehow are buying it. Also, yeah. it has way more weight to it, what he's said in the past, now that he showed his fucking mm. drawn child porn on no, his podcast. That's what everyone we, is missing. Exactly. Yeah, like, we, we, saw the lolly, we saw the lolly, bro. We saw the lolly. We saw the lolly. That's why we started talking about you it. and your lollipops can take a fucking hike. The lollipop guild. So frustrating, dude. <laughs> it's not just regurgitating guild. old drama. It's like new content. We saw it's you. Really you know can I give an analogy? Oh, yeah. There's a there's this hot shot detective. Uh, He's put away hundreds of cases. He's the best detective of all uh, in LAPD history. It turns out uh, in one of the cases they discover he tampered with evidence. Then all of a sudden those old cases that were uh, slammed dunks where he put so people away. Funny. And all of a sudden they don't look quite the same. You have to relook at it. Yeah, that's yeah. what's happening, Bosch. Right. We're relooking at it and we don't like what we see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank you. I said I have no reason to assassinate your character again again I, He never told me why why would I why would I do that? You call my audience pedophiles you call me you call people defending me pedophiles It's ridiculous per ham content no drama. Ooh, CJ says honestly and maybe Vash's best interest to stop discussing it You think so CJ? I mean, maybe maybe I'm um, yeah, maybe it is God, I can't believe how he went so angry and Ethan, look, you call my audience pedophiles and you call people defending me pedophiles. It's ridiculous pure ham content mill drama alert stop oh. I can't. I can't. This is ugh, the world deserves itself, bro. A slot. This part pissed me off because I was like, bro, don't act above any of that shit. You routinely do the same thing. You cannot high road me on this shit. Yeah. Like you are a shit stir. You talk shit. You say horrible things about people. Now all of a sudden you're gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna debate you because because uh, you know I'm above all this. <gasps> no, you're not. You're fucking not. Mm -hmm. By the way, based. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what they say, right? <laughs> Um, apparently, oh, it's cut off. Apparently, though, I don't see this myself. You condescended me for thinking we were on good terms. Again, he didn't watch it. He makes that very clear. I did not watch any of it, mm -hmm. which ma it makes me wonder, curious, how can he be so sure everything's in bad faith? But Ethan and Vosh never watch anyone's clips in full. They only think they do, but they don't understand. This takes a lot of time. For example, his characterization of this is completely inaccurate. He says, you condescended to me for thinking we were on good terms. You can't blame me for that misconception. All of our previous interactions were pretty positive. I didn't condescend him. In the video, he goes, Oh yeah, Ethan reacted like this. Like I would ever be friends with that pedo. It's absolutely not. And anyway, mm -hmm. um, I said I was surprised that you thought that we were friends. He said we're friends. I mean, that's all. So we spoke briefly twice in DM, as far as I can recall. Maybe I'm misremembering. Again, I'm trying to be charitable, but I'm pretty. But that's all we talked. Look, I don't blame anyone for being suspicious of me. There are a lot of people out there who hate me, and I also have a tendency to put my foot in my mouth. Uh, I definitely don't. He put another things. I'm not gonna go there. I definitely don't make things easy for people who want to defend me. I didn't condescend you. I just expressed surprise at the sentiment. I said you're a smart guy, talented speaker, funny, and I'm a fan of your content. I said that several times. Did I say that several times? Yes. Thank you. He says, but right now, as poison dwells and bad face smears go, your show is actually oh, mm. what? The well is poisoned. You didn't watch it. You didn't watch it. What? You didn't watch it. You got to go to that well, and you'll find it is pure. Fied, gorgeous Martin approved yeah, spring I would say water. Martin would definitely drink them as well. <laughs> it's got it's got the uh, the minerals per. I'm so glad he read these DMs. These are too good. I can't believe Ethan almost didn't read these DMs, bro. This DM, literally, I can't believe Vosh is. I mean, his ego is so big. I can't believe Vosh is this much. This is why I knew I didn't like him. See, I knew I didn't like him. What a pussy, bro. I can't believe it. Why is Vosh, Hassan, and Destiny associated with each other? Like, look, there's some people Destiny wouldn't face. There's definitely some people he refuses to engage with.
definitely. But there's no way he'd back down from an H3. There's no way he'd back down from this. It like would literally expose him to so many more people he could poach for his audience as well. Is Vash afraid of Ethan? What? Well, it's got all oh, kinds what, of good what's the, what's the, parts oh. for... They're not even yeah. the same category. What? He says, uh, it's an effort at character assassination that any weirdo Nazi or Keemstar type has been in the past. Again, another typical execution of this excuse that like, oh, well, Nazis and Keemstar said it, so clearly anyone else who shares this opinion is a Nazi or Keemstar. We are so far from good faith to expect that... Thank you, Keem. Do it differently when I go on would be ridiculous. I literally have no clue how you can call it bad faith. That's why I think there's a conflict to be had. I'm being totally honest here. I, I You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We tried to look at the full cons of everything and give thoughtful responses. I don't... Uh, Oh yeah, I don't dwell in the same internet space as you, so perhaps I'm oh. missing or misunderstanding something. Ethan, if you were a fan of my content or whatever, don't you think the appropriate time to get my perspective on this would have been sometime before you, the surprise to our mega... No! Guys, you are content creators. You are content. We are content. I understand. You try your best to reach out. You try... Sometimes you say shit, okay? But no, you're content. Why would Ethan reach out to Vosh before making a reply. The best way to get a YouTuber's attention, which worked, is to make content about them, see if they like it, then they can reach out, or see if they are mad at you, and then they reach out. But if you just DM somebody, you're less likely to get a reaction out of them because they don't know who you are, they don't know the context of what you say. But if you make content about people, they're much more likely to watch you and then consider reaching out. So like, Ethan reached out to you, you have an opportunity here, but why would why would is why do people in some spaces on the internet think they're like not content? Like I think that's what's confusing me about like the internet. And like Ethan says, like you guys aren't friends. You're both content creators. Like it doesn't matter if you're a fan of somebody. I'm a fan of Leaf Be Lean Beef Patty or like other people. You think I'm gonna reach out to Lean Beef and she's just gonna hit me up? I'm you know what I mean? Like people don't people don't know us. Like, even if it was reverse, Ethan is the bigger channel reaching out to Vosh. Like you know, why would Ethan check in with Vosh? It makes no sense to check in with him. It's probably in the next one. Yeah, here. Mega segment where you react to everything people who hate me have ever compiled to try to smear me. Don't you think your order of events is a off? There's new info, though. No. But also, it's not <laughs> Actually, like great point. Jordan says Ethan is just in it for the meme. Exactly. Ethan is just in it for the meme. So treat it like that. But Vosh is taking it so seriously. Keffles. Everybody is taking Ethan so seriously. I think Ab and Preach are the best people at handling Ethan, which is like, man, get out of here. Like, they're very like... Shut up, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think Abba and Preach are the only ones who truly know how to handle Ethan. Um, They, you know, they're just like, bro, shut up, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're just, it's like, you know, even when they, like, they, but Vosh and um, Keffels and stuff, they just like, ugh. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh my God, relax, bro. No, it's not yeah. like you're close friends and you're going to be like, hey, what's going on? And also, we didn't just show no. the compilation that was going around on Twitter. We found the actual links to the original streams and shared those. That's what really, fu when yeah. I saw that, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. This Everyone is... here spent a lot of time hunting down every single clip, original, like VODs. I'm like, what? We didn't I... just, so frustrating. And before the show, I'm like, am I? It's true, but still, I, I do stand on my point that in the debate space, like, the context could be months long. Like, I hate to say it. I know it's a different ecosystem. It's very hard to understand that. But context in a debate space could literally there have been debates I've been watching that have lasted for like years, like drama that is like years long. And like so much has happened between those years. So if you just think like, oh, what happened? What's going on? Like you're never going to understand like the real context and you still won't even understand it because you don't know what's happening behind closed doors. Am I fucking missing something? Because this is just making it worse. I even when Ethan is serious, he's unserious. So true. Literally, a Hannah, exactly. <laughs> I guess, Dan, if you could check the most recent ones I found, because I'm like, am I, am I just stupid? Like, this seems worse. And it's, yeah. it's all so bad. He continues, and you've attacked my community and other streamers. Oh, oh gasp. <laughs> you've attacked my community. Now all of a sudden, streamers? Bob, You're Bob coming for streamers? <laughs> exactly. He's this principled gentleman. Mm -hmm. Nobody attacks my community and then <laughs> asks to debate me. Lollipops. Nobody calls us a lollipop. Now come, children. Gather around me. Stroking as hard and fast as we can. I'm only sensing a desire for more content in an environment which has been constructed to deny me the ability to be taken seriously. I mean, okay. Not sure how me saying I've enjoyed some of your videos suggests I owe you anything like that. <coughs> even your he goes, even your language here is dishonest. It's not a matter of owing me anything. If you cared about my opinion on any of this, you would have sought it before doing a big surprise no. character assassination. That's just not how I would characterize it. This is that at gaslighting, all. bro. This is like gaslighting. I feel like I'm being gaslit by a YouTuber I'm not even involved in. He's gaslighting Ethan. If you really cared about my opinion, you would have reached out to me before you, like, reacted to my content on stream. Um, no. Bitch. Bitch. Like, doesn't, like, doesn't this literally feel like, I feel like I'm getting gaslit, bro. 
Like, that's not, are you driving, you're making me feel crazy, bro. Like, I report, you react, I react, you react, I react. That's how this relationship goes. Don't switch up the relationship now. I understand where you're coming from personally. I think it would be a good combo because I promise you, I don't understand what was bad faith about my criticism, but I'm absolutely open to hearing you out. Do I think he's going to convince me? No, but I'll hear him mm -hmm. because I've heard, I've already heard everything he has to say. Obviously, the stuff we talked about is pretty heavy. I think you should have an opportunity to respond to our audience and give additional context, but it's up to you. Obviously, I understand either way. You didn't care about my opinion then, nor do you now, but your numbers were good during the segment. No, again. Oh my God. He's like a boyfriend who got caught cheating, bro. He's literally like a boyfriend who got caught cheating. I swear to God. What is this? No. Canceled. Canceled meme. Canceled. What? Whoa. Bro, he... Vosh, the ego on Vosh is disgusting. Oh my God, it's vile. What? They were average. Uh, they were average. <laughs> That's so annoying. We'd get way more views if we like juiced some kind of a like Taylor Swift thing, mm. like the Super Bowl today. I mean, come on, dude. Evo. Yeah, dude, I'm dying to know what's going on. We with put off B Evo. <laughs> oh, hey, H says, I remember reading the cannibal porn you wrote when I was 16. Yeah, I did write that. Actually, it's gone. I don't have it anymore. So if anyone has a copy of it, send it to me. But like, yeah. That was a great story, bro. It's kind of cringe, but like also I did write that story. I wrote a story about a cannibal. But it was kind of like, it wasn't a porn for the record, by the way. It was a short story that had sex in it. Everybody relax. It wasn't even a porn. It was a short story. It wasn't even meant to be erotica. I just like sex in my fiction. Like every New York Times bestselling girl does, okay? Oh my God, I didn't want to say it, Jordan, but I'm going to say it because you said it. I've dated this brand of narcissist, bro. I'm just saying, like, Vosh got an ego on him, right? You know? Third girlfriend in the week, man. We have so many Bevo updates. Like, I can't wait to tell yeah. you guys. Vosh, <laughs> you are a fool for thinking otherwise. Yeah. And to be honest, I couldn't even post any clips on TikTok because any, like, stuff with P word or whatever. Uh, right. I, was, I didn't post a singular clip from that episode because it, I can't. Like, so he actually owes us money. Yeah, it's counterintuitive to say something like that. We've That's true, actually. I've been trying to, like, I should be watching more, like, famous people stuff so I can, like, build my audience. Because just talking about the people in the sphere, like, you don't get very far. You know what I mean? I less on average views on all platforms. Okay. Okay. <gasps> okay. Hello. Hello, Joe. Welcome to memberships. Thank you so much for being here. It's big for us. Oh, are we getting lots of um, uh, subs and stuff for my money suit? <laughs> I uh, uh, have you guys liked the stream yet? Because I'm definitely demonetized. Can you please like the stream? It really fucking helps. I know it doesn't seem like it helps, but it absolutely helps. Thank you so much. Yeah, we got quite a bit. Let's go, guys. Fund my money suit to come stunt on these haters. <laughs> I'm going to fill my money suit with $100 bills. And let we get uh, Francesco Diavela? Money. That's like your name, right? Money. I also I put out a new video on my off today, just in case anyone's interested. We don't no have money. No money. money. No money. No money. Uh, somebody named Deb Jeski donated fifty bucks and said, "I'm a lawyer. Fun fact: possession of Lollicon is illegal in the U.S. per federal law." Oh, okay. happy to write up a legal explainer. <laughs> what? Wait, really? Whoa. Wait, what? Shout out to Cam from Salem, Massachusetts. Shout Hold out to Salem. I just, I just spotted a lot. You know, honestly, I'm okay with that. Can I be real with you? Okay, I think this is where the stance is. I'm pretty, I'm pretty radically pro-freedom. But if we had to make a law in the books that says, like, no lollycon is sold in the United States, I would be okay with that. One, I don't watch lollycon. And two, I do kind of feel like it's probably more fucked up than anything else but what does it mean to be illegal does that mean like if it's on your computer i'm very confused at what that means and what is lolly con see that's the problem was lolly i don't know if everyone knows what lolly is and that's what i wonder about but yeah i don't think i'd be too opposed to that but it'd be uh mm, it'd be difficult because lots of like adults do like again there's like a lot of trauma recovery that works through lolly mm, i wonder how that would work generally speaking i think i might be okay with that but i wonder what the blowback would be Hmm. Pop. Mm. In our in our midst. McCoy gave twenty bucks. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll put that to the money suit. Hi, then please consider going over the latest video providing context, even if off stream. Aim with the super chat says, like the fucking stream and the world will or the world will never find peace. True. Absolutely true. I love and watch both of you, but I am in pain that there's a lack of necessary context. <laughs> Addressing the allegations. I've seen that video, man. Have you? I'm Get gonna fuck out. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna pull up all that shit. It's all coming. I'm telling I wasn't kidding when I said I have so much to talk about. I mean it's the same. I actually have shit. To but McCoy, um 
I don't have to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Listen, I don't hate you, but I do wonder how the fuck it's possible that you're still defending him. But okay, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. I said, with all due respect, we spoke briefly and Twitter DM twice. That is not what I would consider camaraderie. I talk about a lot mm. of things and people. I've rubbed shoulders with a lot of people online. Mm. There are some people I would approach privately to discuss something like this. Uh, but just being honest, our relationship is nowhere close to that. I'm not being dishonest. You're not even acting like you believe the things you yep. said. Yep. If you actually cared about the gravity of your accusations against me, you wouldn't be pussy pussy footing around with this language. You'd be condemning me. Remember he said that. I don't understand. Remember he said that. He you're not even acting like you believe the things you said. If you actually cared about the gravity of the accusations against me, you wouldn't be pussy footing. What a horrible argument. How was this one of the debate lords? Why is he, why is Vosh doing this? He's basically begging Ethan to call him a PDF file, which could get his YouTube channel taken down. Why is Vosh so stupid? I'm so confused. If Ethan is a huge content creator and he has over a million subs, which means he has a contact at YouTube, right? If Ethan, like not to pull strings, but if Ethan made this accusation and it stuck, it actually worked. And then Vosh had to then explain to YouTube why he showed that on screen. I mean, it could get his channel terminated. Why would he take that risk? Why wouldn't he just engage, clear his name publicly and hope it goes away? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like these text messages are literally like begging Ethan to make a definitive statement about Vosh being a PDF file. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What? He wants to come have a conversation and you're showing him that this could be a polite civil conversation. What does he want? So to prove that I genuinely believe what I'm saying, I need to be uh, condemning him. I, I was just I was just speechless. I just said what? What? Your tone doesn't match the claim. I don't know whether or not you believe you lied, but unfortunately, it seems I've always had a bad read on your thoughts and feelings. Nothing new is under the sun. Well, the horse stuff and the lolly is. This has all been discussed oh. on my channel openly. I welcome scrutiny, and I'm already hurt by these lies. I won't let you benefit from dishonesty twice. If you'd like to come on and talk about it, you may do so on my stream. I don't expect you to accept. I was like, I accept. <laughs> I don't expect you to accept, and that's totally okay. I'm not entitled to your time or good faith. I accept. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> all right. Well, hold on. Oh, I just saw your, hold on. I just saw your, uh, stories. Sorry. And now I realize you're actually a meanie. So I resent, dork. What? <laughs> I said, what's the difference between your and my stream? I'll call into your stream if you want to host it. I really don't know what you expect. I need to be shouting at you and calling you a pedo in a private DM where we're trying to build a bridge for me to believe what I'm saying. I included build a bridge for you guys. Just as a little, <laughs> just as a little <laughs> mod. If it, if it came up. I'm trying to keep my mind open and be receptive to you. Why would I be screaming and belligerent? You said you didn't watch the episode. I'd like to know how you can say it's bad. Jordan shared a thing that said the Protect Act passed 2003 after the Supreme Court case that held that completely virtual child porn was protected free speech under the First Amendment as long as it does, is not obscene. Interesting. What is Vosh doing here? I'm so confused. Vosh is trying to bait Ethan. Why? Why is he trying to bait Ethan? It sounds like that, right? Well, while well, trying to appear, appear fair. Why is he trying? Why would he take the risk? Bad faith without watching it. And then he goes. Jesus Christ, dude. I just <laughs> yeah, checked your right. stories. <laughs> yeah, right. Is he talking about Jesus? Because he did post Jesus. <laughs> True. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I just saw him. He's super hot. You're trying to balance this. You, do I say that right? You will? Yeah. Is that, is that, what is, that, is, that, is, that? Is it look like something or is it a sound? Oh. No, it's a face. I it's think it's a face. Yeah, it's a face. What? I thought it's it was a sound. Uh, eye, and eye and your nose being like kind of shriveled like this cute, whatever. Uh, yeah. Huh? Right? Okay. Am I crazy? No, that's what I thought I it was still. But it's, it's I would transcendent. Just thought it was the, ooh, like just doing like a little noise like that. No, it's a cute emoji. It's both. Wow. The bubble is. Does not my work make so much clarity? Like, it does not bring so much. What a bubble. What a bubble. Don't you just love it, bro? We're all so unaware of each other. We're so unaware of each other. And then we like we we have these like beautiful generalizations of humans and their experience and what's normal. Like, you don't even know what's normal, dude. Normal is just whatever is common in your bubble. What's expected behavior? It's kind of expected to know the difference between lolly and like CP. It's kind of like known to know what like. The little fake, like, it's just so, don't you just fucking love it, bro? It's it's terrible. Terrible. I think the sound came after here. Okay. The sound came after. Okay. This is a good episode. I can tell because Dan's eating chips. Oh. <laughs> bro, I go. want some of those chips, bro. Salt and vinegars. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. This is me. Did, is this, did you? Did I... <gasps> Hannah says, I didn't know who Vosh was before the stream, and I don't think I'll keep up with him much after this. Don't. He's not worth it. Vosh isn't worth it. Strike this I see. tone to, in your guys' opinion. <clears throat> not at all. <clears throat> <laughs> but okay, so he goes, you're trying to balance this you, I didn't know it was bad faith, compile a giant clip show attacking and call you and you're, come on my show and let me, tell me why. Well, act, dude, don't do the child talk. It's not, a, it's not, now is not the time or place for that. You know what I mean? While actively continuing that jeering, disingenuous shit posting on your story, which by the way, I've been doing for like 48 hours straight. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. I assumed that he had seen everything there. 
Oh, and he may well have. I'm so curious about your perspective, which is why I only ask for it after the character assassination. You're not owed the chance to offer explanations or context oh. before the assassination. Good lord. No, I think not. You're free to say I pussied out or whatever. You definitely pussied out. I mean, that's just that's definitely. just a fact. Definitely. Yeah, that's that's just you definitely know what I mean? no context. But for what it's worth, I don't think I'll ever believe you didn't believe you were lying this entire time. It's, it's very formal the way he's writing. Mm -hmm. Ethan isn't lying. This is Ethan's impression because his bubble isn't like he doesn't even know what Lolly is. Like he doesn't know how to. D d he doesn't even know that. Like, I mean, not that he doesn't know what it is. I know he knows what it is, but he doesn't. He can't, he doesn't even do the, oh, oh, like, he doesn't even, he has to, like, Google what that was. Like, they have to, you're talking, you're using phrases and things. You're, like, I'm gonna, oh, bro. Bro, he literally is, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're, they're not even, they're talking, like, with different languages, almost. Yeah. On that pussy jacket. No, debate, no comma, period. Ethan <laughs> has had to Google, like, 20 of the words that Vosh has used. Yeah. <laughs> If anyone wants context, these lies have been challenged and pulled apart a billion times on my channel. Just as disingenuous attacks against you have been on yours. Right. Okay. Sure. We're the same. Me and you, buddy. Dude, you, you've said fucked up things. Why do you care that I have lolly <laughs> CP drawing? <laughs> yeah. Bro, what are we talking about? So at this point, he says, if you believe what you said, yeah. you would be condemning me. And now, at this point, I can tell the conversation's done. And I'm annoyed because he keeps mm -hmm. calling me a fucking liar and I'm in bad faith. And he's not explaining. So he's being, yeah. a, little, he's being a little bitch. <laughs> and so I said... Sorry that you think I'm lying, but I saw the shit in that folder. It's vile. It's absolutely lolly. That girl looks 13 and sucking off a horse. You need help, man. What? You keep trying to defend the shit. I don't think the girl, well, one of the girls looks 13, but the other one looked younger. Don't people consider lolly CP? Um, kind of. Depends on the bubble. It really depends on the bubble. So, it's not like, Lolly is very specific. It's not like when I think of CP, I think of kids, like real kids. I think of people. I don't think of anime. I don't think of like an art drawing of a realistic, like, you know what I mean? Um, and Lolly also doesn't involve like children. You know what I mean? It involves art, like a pencil. So CP is like children. I think of children. You know what I mean? Like a victim, like a victim was a victim. Nobody's a victim in Lolly. It's just, you have the depictions, does that indicate something about you, right? So it's sussy, but it's not CP. Shit you said, and cry that it's out of context, but it's not. And there's piles and piles more of it that further reinforces everything. Seek help, bro, please. It's generally not normal to be looking at that shit, specifically the super young girl stuff. Point to me one lie I told- No, no, no. See, Rock Rock says, I don't know if it's my autism, but H3 would generally be among the some of the last places I would go to genuinely clear my name. No, no, you don't go to Ethan to clear your name. You go to Ethan- to ask a bunch of interesting questions to see Ethan show how little he knows about the subject, which means the miscommunication comes from that little understanding, right? So it's like that thing. Like if I went on Ethan, I was like, why do you think I said that? He'd be like, because you said this. So I'm like, why do you think I, like the question would be like, what do you think that word means? The problem is I don't know if Vosh is nervous because he just got caught. Are we watching one of the biggest debate bros actually get caught doing the thing that Ethan is kind of subconsciously saying he's doing? And that's why Ethan, or that's why Vosh is doubling down. Like, that's what I'm saying. Okay, Meta, is Vosh actually about to, like, become, is he about to be outed? Is that what we're watching? Is that why he's doubling down so hard? Or is he actually being a debate bro? Like, I'm, I'm actually concerned now that Vosh, you know what I'm saying? Like, is that what's happening right now? Because if that's what's happening right now, then Ethan just blew the lid off one of the most, like, the debate sphere is going to remember this forever. Right? But if Vosh doesn't think it's true, why wouldn't he use this as an opportunity to get bigger? Like, why is he freaking out? You know? And a part of me is like, oh, wait, now you're acting suspicious. Because at first, your community was just defending you, but now, now I don't know what's going on. Do you know what I mean? He's acting guilty. Why are you acting guilty? Why wouldn't you just come to Ethan and be like, okay, so I want to introduce you into this like world of Lolly and then discuss it. But unless he's actually being like, is Ethan literally about to discuss, which Ethan, by the way, might not even have any clue that's what's happening. Ethan seems like he's happy to rescind this whole thing and say like he never said it. But now, now I'm wondering if we're about to watch, are we live watching? Because this is live. Are we watching Ethan about to blow the lid off? One of the biggest debate bros ever? Because that would be quite an interesting scandal in our little bubble.
told you haven't and then he stopped responding to me oh, okay. but what's interesting is in response to this he goes oh yeah well then he he actually started being a dick and uh doing this bullshit it's like that's what i can't I, he wants it both ways yeah. i need to be a dick and condemn him or dick too. i need to be right. uh, polite and right. uh, receptive it's like right. shut the fuck which is up why it also sounded like he was a narcissist which is why it also sound like he was gaslighting us because that's what predators do not that i'm calling him that somehow this was so snaky cartoonish like but also this. But but also. Th imagine a snaky version of this, if you could. <laughs> this is me during this combo. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I, I carried myself. I think you were fine. professional. Yeah. You were polite. Yeah. You were not harsh <clears throat> when you could have been. And frankly, the last message was like, okay, well, I have an opportunity to just tell this guy what I think, and yeah. uh, I'll do that. You know. And but we did. And you know, like usually Olivia or someone will will invite people on the socials. Mm -hmm. But I thought to myself, I'm gonna reach out to him and talk to him directly right. and see if Great we can. Deal. You know. But that's not what happened. Yeah. Mm. So now that we've gotten all that shit, we got our UUs out of the way. Um, now let's look at his. Um, okay, I put together what I consider to be the iron claw. This is, you cannot escape oh, no. this body of evidence that I'm about to provide. There's a few clips from yesterday, our Friday show, which I'm going to include. It's just one minute so that we have it all together. After I show this refresher, I've got tons of clips that I'm going to show you that I have not seen and that we did not. Wait, Discord says, I mean, we already knew he was already sus. Because Destiny exposed that before, but also still worked with him later on. People just can't hold up their own moral uh, standards, it seems. Hopefully this time the internet listens. Well, to be fair, I don't think any of these people have morals. Cancel Ethan for not knowing how to say ooh. Ooh, ooh. I don't even know how to say it correctly, okay? Um, interesting. So there is more. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. I wonder, though, if people know behind the scenes something about Vosh that we don't know. Maybe they do know that about him. I mean, we know a lot of things about people behind the scenes, but nothing like this. I mean, nothing like this. You know what I mean? I, I know people are just hoes behind closed doors, but I didn't know people be doing this. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, talk about mm -hmm. on Friday's episode. And I personally don't believe any reasonable person can walk away from this drawing any other conclusion that this guy has an, an, an un, a, a not innocent curiosity and interest in child Oh shit. P word. Child P word. Drawn or otherwise. Oh, Let God. me know because I got a fucking files on top of files <laughs> to swing back at. Uh oh. So that's a huge statement. So let's just watch. Let's just watch and listen. So here is a brief um, retelling from yesterday. It's just one minute long. There's some great ones in here, so I didn't want to go without them. Roll it. This is from the YouTube Police Department. I think that, that uh, we showed this yesterday, but one more time. Consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes, 100%. Listen very carefully to the exact language that I use. I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. The argument that I was making, and I've made this argument a bunch of times. And I you know, it's funny. In this video, he shows the context. The guy shows the context that he keeps saying they didn't show. He goes, I was just saying that uh, cobalt farming is fucked up too. Whoa, CJ says Bosch has previously argued for reducing the age of consent. And that CP should not be illegal. What? I bet he has regretted those statements. Whoa. Was that like a debate bro thing? Or was that like a for real, for real? Also, um, what do you mean a compelling argument for like having CP? Yeah, I think there's a, an easy way to make a compelling moral argument for that. Why does, I'm confused. Seems weird, but maybe, okay. April says, Brittany, your hair is so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you this poorly made argument a bunch of times here why is the possession of child pornography immoral people are inconsistent in that's not what you said bitch you said why it's not immoral and now you're saying why it's immoral you change your story motherfucker mm -hmm. their moral outrage at commodities which hurt people when they're produced so people will laugh off cocoa butter or chocolate or um, you know or, or cobalt or other you know products that we tend to get through a really really unethical system but then they're really really quick to denounce child porn. now you'll never yeah, I, we've talked about this in great detail yesterday. It, yeah. it's just so dumb like, very quick th this man denounce? thinks he's a, like this incredible debater I guess I'm um, what I gotta products that we tend to get through a really really unethical system but then they're really really quick to denounce child now you yeah it's because okay again getting punched in the nose is better than getting graped and if you think otherwise that's your opinion but child corn is worse than slavery to make batteries like because again one has violence one has violence and sexual violence so one has less harm. The one that is less harm is less bad, but they're both bad. Obviously, the world is built off slaves. We know this. The whole world. We're horrible. Humans are horrible little animals. Okay? But sexual violence has two issues. He said immoral. Yes, well, the problem is, like, morals are uh, personal and ethics aren't. So, like, ethics are for the society. So, like, is he arguing, like, personal morals? 
or societal ethics. Confused. You'll never. Yeah, uh, we've talked about this in great detail yesterday. It it's just so dumb. Like, th th this man thinks he's a, like this incredible debater. I guess if you're trying to defend CP, I guess that's probably as good of a defense as you can mount. It's not an easy position to take. But clearly, the, produ the production of uh, commodities like cobalt and cocoa butter can exist without the exploitation of children yeah. or people. It can be made humanely. It can be. And well, it, it can be. And then if it is, that's why all these celebrities are trying to work with like humanely sourced like coffee beans. He said it. He said tends to be. There's no humane right. CP, although he, right. he suggests there is. Yeah, <laughs> see, where would the humane CP come from? Like, CP not being lolly. Lolly is drawn, I don't give a fuck. I'm talking about CP, which means a child had to be there. So where, how, how is that, like, victimless? And even if, like, what? There's another problem. Sure does. Never be able to find a clip of me saying that I think it's good to have child porn. Should consuming child porn be legal? Yes, 100%. Please, uh, please, right now. Should consuming child porn be legal yes <sighs> should consuming it be legal what 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 now uncuck your dumb shit libcuck fucking SJW brains and recognize this empirically correct fact that I am about to spit it is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes. Now, Bosh, child as well. Now, Bosh, I've been looking for the um, context of that one. If you if somebody has it, please send it. Because I really, again, I don't know where, yeah. where that could possibly go. Uh, other than being like, psych. <laughs> so there we go. We're caught up on yesterday. Now, buckle up. I think his humane quote view is when CP already exists. Yeah, but it's not good. Studies have shown the recycle, like the recycling of old CP is still as harmful for children. So absolutely not, right? So even if it's old CP, I don't think it's ethical to consume or circulate that CP. Even if no new CP is made, you cannot recycle old CP. You are watching the violation of a child. You are watching the violation of a child. A real child. No! A real child. You are watching a real child. No. Canceled. <laughs> no. Even if it's recycled, even if it doesn't involve a new child, you are still consuming it. You are watching it. You freaks. Like, no. You can't ethically. I know everything is made up and our ethics are made up, but like, no. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna no, no, absolutely not, absolutely not, you freaks. You guys ready? Here, I'm just gonna give you the strongest one-two punch combo I've ever done on anybody on the internet. Here's clip one. Right now, we've all jerked at the lolly at some point or another. We've all well, you don't have a penis. We have all that's. <laughs> We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site and we've been fucking st <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can and then after we nut we go back look over our history chat and we go like oh jeez oh boy some of these girls looked pretty young okay i don't give a fuck all right that um no we haven't mm -mm. why is this man so shocked that you are speaking about him i don't know <laughs> that's, what I, that's what i don't get i feel like i'm being gaslit yeah. by one. i think there is like a some ugh, ugh, okay i think there is some like post nut clarity thing that you get and you're like okay that was weird like i guess for sure like i think like again um when you're going for like certain types of like ways people speak or certain kind of porn dynamics like you know stepsister stepbrother bullshit and stuff like that you don't really want it to be with your real siblings or step siblings but maybe the porn adds a dynamic to it that's like interesting and you're like oh my god that's so weird but like obviously like people are into what they're into but I, I don't, I don't know. Okay. You know how people tell on themselves? Like I was listening to like rap songs and like you listen to lyrics and you're like, whoa, like there's like grape rap songs, like for real, for real. And you're just like in the music and you're thinking it sounds so good. And then you like listen to the words and you're like, and then you find out years later, like these people were doing this for real, for real. And you're like, oh, my God, people really tell on themselves and we just don't listen because we don't want to admit that people we like are doing fucked up shit. 
And that's why I say like values over loyalty. Cause I love you. I love my inner circle. I love the people in my life, but values over loyalty. Okay. I, you know, values over loyalty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I'm not sorry. Like I can't like I values over loyalty. Okay. That's just it, girl. So again, I think people expect loyalty because the world has been loyal to very shitty people and we will do it for business, for other things. You know what I mean? Um, interesting. Bunch of pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> You're being gaslit one million thousand percent. Like, dude, what the fuck? These are the boldest statements I've ever heard and I can't believe right. it. I can't believe his audience didn't push back more. They agree, though. That's A lot of them so agree. Crazy. It's, it's It's disturbing. It's yeah, I'm, I'm happy we're talking about. It. Look, I don't mind the themes. I've I don't watch porn anymore, really. Like I haven't. I just use my imagination, or like I'm obviously like making love to my husband. So like I'm not really like, you know. But you know, when I do, I do like consensual non-consent. I do like kind of power struggles. I do like hair pulling. I do like watch a lot of hentai. I don't care how like the high school depictions or the college because I just age them up in my head anyway. But I do not do lolly. Like if they're really young looking, I get grossed out. So like, but if it's just like a generic anime person, I, you know, it's even better if I don't see their faces. Can I be real with you? I like my porn dirty. Focus on the genitals. I don't even need to see your faces. That's how I love my porn. I don't even like to see the whole body. I don't even need to hear voices. Just give me the genitals. That's all I need to see. Like I'm a very like animal, you know, but I stopped watching it for a long time ago. Uh, just cause like it didn't feel good anymore, I guess. I don't know. Now that I'm against it. I love, I love, I love corn. I love OnlyFans. I love all these things. Um, I'm a sex worker. Like, I love this shit. Like, masturbate. Have fun. But I do think you need to have a healthy relationship with these things and remember to have a healthy relationship with these things. Remake, you know, consume consensual art as much as possible. Like, if you subscribe to, like, my OnlyFans, know that I'm happy to be there. But I stopped watching, like, porn production porns because I was worried that people didn't really want to be there anymore. After all the stories kept coming out about these women and men not even wanting to be there, I was like, I can't. So I try to, like, support individual content creators that seem really happy to make their content. But even then, like I said, I'm probably just supporting you to support your your work. I'm, I'm, I haven't masturbated to something visual in a very long time. Um, that wasn't hentai. And even then, it's been even longer. You know, I just... I'm okay with you watching themed things that are stuff you would never want to happen in real life. Okay. We've all, I've all, I've watched werewolf porn. Okay. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to say that I really don't want that to happen in real life. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. About it. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> Cause I mean, hell, what the hell is this shit? You know, these people are just living out in the open in the daylight. Mm -hmm. They're just out there being, being, the, being there fucked up. No, not on my watch. No more day or, more daylight. Yeah. That was the analogy from the beginning. We're in more like, light. Yeah. He makes the active choice to defend CP or to defend the philosophy of CP. So you 1 million percent have the ability to speak on it on your platform. No, okay. but that's not what he was doing. Right. He was saying cobalt's bad. Right, cobalt, cobalt. <laughs> we, we were trying cobalt to make a bad. bigger point. making an economic argument. Capitalism. Yes. Yes. Capitalism's bad. Oh, capitalism's yes. bad. Right, right, yes. right. I take it all back. <laughs> um, go on. Uh, so, I mean, this clip is pretty stunning. Can we not? We go back look over our history chat? We, we have not. Oh, that's a you experience, brother. Oh, boy. Some of these girls look pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, all right? <laughs> okay, so that's Vosh, and now that's the one punch. Yeah. Okay, now here's the two punch. What do you guys make of this? So he says, I've jerked off to Lolly, basically, and I've gone back and seen, like, wow, those girls look young. Now, let's listen to this one, and tell me how much room for doubt is left. Go ahead. Uh-oh. It's the Mr. Girl clip. It's the Mr. Girl clip. Uh-oh. Unmute. Unmute. This is the one we just watched, wasn't it? Your cuck lib ears. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Next question. Simulated uh, child porn lolly lolly stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty sussy. Good. That? I think I'm that if you have an that. interest in that sort of stuff, you should definitely be checking yourself as to why. You know, like uh, the the oh. thing that really bothers me about this shit, apart from the fact that anytime you want to look at like hentai on a hentai site, you have to like negate the tag lolly and thus 50% of the site's content. The thing that bothers sure. me is people who pretend there's no relationship whatsoever between like drawn lolly shit and actual attraction to children. Of course there's a relationship between those things. Cool. Ridiculous to pretend otherwise. Okay. Take it from me. Okay. okay. That's the end. Okay. Well. That's it. That's it. I mean, he basically, he's right. That's Therefore, right. <laughs> he just did like a um, transitive property. Therefore, I want to fuck kids. Like it's pretty, it's like a clean Damn. equation. Yep. He says, I watch lolly. And people who watch Lolly want to fuck kids. The thing that bothers yeah, me is people time. who pretend there's right no back. relationship whatsoever between like drawn Lolly shit and actual attraction to children. There's, of course there's a relationship between those things. It's ridiculous Obviously. to pretend otherwise. So they need to be aware uh, of that, if anything. Are you, uh, are you saying that based mm. on... Yeah. yeah, he's actually debating, I, I think, this guy's actually a, a, a confessed, self-proclaimed pedophile. So he's thought, I want to engage 
and a debate and great faith and good fun with this man. But Ethan, no. He's gone right. too far. <laughs> right. Very the whole thing is just total bullshit. There's mm-hmm. no fucking high road. You debate people you disagree with ev- all the time. Well, evidently he doesn't disagree with this oh guy. Oh my god. Mm. <clears throat> True. Not much of a debate, I guess. So, the um, that's collide. the one too. But now, there's more. L- l- listen to this take and tell me what you think. What age android girl do you oh, think- I- I'm sorry, if I maligned the last guy, I think I was misspeaking. Uh-oh. I think it was this guy. Oh, but I don't know. Hey, do you have details? That is the same guy. They, 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 this is the same guy. Oh no, Mr. Girl showing up on Ace to Guys, doesn't this? I feel like, oh my god, the bubbles are colliding. The bubbles are colliding. Ethan? Not at his desk, okay. What? Or is he? I'm, I'm not sure. What? You, you, you just accused a person of being a pedo when they weren't. He might have been. I, it was one <laughs> he might have been. Oops. No, he might have been. It was one of these guys. You just aren't sure which one. Somebody they're the po- same guy. They're the, both Mr. Girl, but he doesn't know that it's the same guy. He can't tell Jews apart. He's Jewish. Get it? That's a joke. That's a joke. I mean, but I don't know. I I'm making look- that clear. I'm making that clear. Oh, okay. I thought they looked like the same person. I didn't even know. If, if it's the same person, then I'm in. I'm good. I thought it was, but yeah, let me find out. But I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not talking about this guy. If it's not him, he has done it. To, uh, listen, we love him. I don't know anything about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just. Let's fact check that. And while I'm loving him. <laughs> The average American man would be most attracted to which hypothetical strip club would be the most crowded if it all opened tomorrow? I think it would be somewhere. Do you know from- hey, wait, wait. Hold on. This guy, it is. Because I'm 100 percent right, and <laughs> well, he proves it in this clip. Okay. Let's we'll just keep watching. So the question is, let me start it over. I don't want you guys to miss a second of it. Oh okay. my God. Age Android girl. Okay, good. Do okay, you good. think? I'm good. I'm good. The average American man would be most attracted to which hypothetical strip club would be the most crowded if it all opened tomorrow? <laughs> I think it would be well, somewhere from 14. This no, I think it'd be somewhere from 14 to 17. I don't Which think we've, we've changed This it. motherfucker okay. wants to fuck 14-year-olds. I honestly think we should just kill all the men. Men do protect men. Like I said, go home and ask your bros how young they would do it. Go ahead. Ask them if you're so brave. Okay. That is a child. It's 14. Well, he would say he's saying that most Americans would. He's projecting it onto right. society. There's no way that's true. He's obviously representing his own, yes. his own, um, it's telling desires. There's no fucking way the majority of men walking around wanting Wait until they find out about Australia. See, 14 year old strip. That's disgusting, bro. Even as a 14 year old, you could ask me what my ideal girl is, and I would think an older woman. Like, right. So <laughs> right. Did, right. That's right. That's a very good point. It's crazy. To... What do we do about older men? I can't say. imagine somebody saying 14. 14 or 17. That's disgusting. He only said 17. Well, 17 is bad too, but mm-hmm. he's like, listen, when, by the time you're mid 20s, you're, you're damaged goods. So gross. But okay, so here's the next guy's response. It's a big, it's a big difference. I have no idea, and I couldn't even begin to think by which categories I would separate them. Do you have a number? I think it's, I think it's 15. So his friend here says, I'll be more specific. It's 15. So <laughs> higher than Bosch. <both. laughs> well, higher and well, lower. It's like a mean. Right? But but if he says that I want, he's saying I want to fuck 15 year olds, kind of. That's, I mean. I'm good, right? With what I said. I'm saying the dude introduced himself in a debate by saying his YouTube was banned for CP and he wanted to disc- discuss it. Yeah, baby. And I was talking to him for 90 minutes. See, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you guys got shit on me. What? But Bosch is like, let's get on with the guy who got banned for promoting CP. That'll be a great conversation. Oh, but fuck, Ethan, he was mean to my... King Kong, he was mean King to my community. <laughs> right, buddy. That's why you don't want to do it. So he says the uh, average American man wants to fuck 14 to 17 year olds. And then he also says, an interesting oh, take. Oh, boy. Another one that I just my, don't know where the fuck. Well. Yeah, Dan says he's left this quartering, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> it's so funny. At least their voices. They play the oh boy that you keep playing. Oh uh, boy. Doesn't quarter yeah. have one that's like exactly the same thing? He's, I think he said okay. <laughs> right, <it's>, okay. <laughs> Here's another one. Are you okay? There are. We have okay. a lot. Um, <laughs> okay, right? play them both. Okay. That's quartering. Okay. And then the other one? Oh boy. Yo, I'm so hungry, and they're making that look so good, bro. Whoa! I'm telling you! Oh, it's like the same, the same dude! I both shit. are quartering, honestly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Holy shit. No, that's the tonal difference. He, he quarterings up and then Vosh is down. Okay. Maybe we could do it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they can harmonize. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. That's amazing. All right, go ahead, Vosh. You know it's gonna be spicy, but he he's hesitating. You see this? He's like, Ooh. Like, think about the whole red pill manosphere that's like. Oh, like as close to 18 as possible. No women over 22. You know what I mean? Like all of that is like, I think adjacent to being interested in kids for like really gross reasons. Um, But then again, like, okay, that's why I say 
look, I have a very complicated family background, but that's why I always appreciated my parents saying things like date people very close to you, date people within five years of your age, like date people who grow up with you, who know you, who know your hobbies, who know, and not that I'm saying that you have to do this. I'm just saying like, I appreciated that my parents, um, they're like six months apart, literally. Um, and they're now in their mid sixties and they're just like date somebody who like has things in common with you, you know, to mitigate harm. And I know, again, we're talking about young people, assuming you get married young, you know, if you're in your forties, like you can date a seven year old and give a fuck. Okay. If you're 30, you can date older. I don't give a fuck. But when you're younger, you know, like, again, I'm not more, I am moralizing it through my own values, but I'm, I'm just trying to say you do you, but it's nice. It's kind of nice that this idea of like, you know, five years, depending, you know, five, you know, I get it. But it, it's like kind of sussy when I watch these guys on TikTok be like, oh yeah, I'm 36. I did an 18 year old. And I'm like, why? Why? You know, like I would almost understand it if it was just sex. If it was just sex, I'd be like, okay, I don't care. But the fact that it's like, I want to like have a life with them. I'm like, why? What do you have in common with an 18 year old? Because sex is having something in common with them. And even then that's Greta girls. Like, I don't know. They're so young. You know, I just, I don't know. Should I say it? Well you, okay? There are, we have a lot. Um, how, do I, how do I put this? Does anyone else get the feeling that like men, at least in the West, are kind of like taught to be kind of a little pedophile a little bit with how? Excuse me. I've never thought that, but no, I don't think so. I think in the West, they're generally the opposite. I think it's known in Japanese culture. I mean, there were Republican like candidates who recently were found out that the problem is, is like, look, I don't want to like not talk about history and how it is pretty common. It was pretty common for a long time for love marriages not to be the focus. But now that we have love marriage options, it's interesting. So again, I don't, I don't think, it, I think it's kind of disingenuous to act like Americans in recent history were not dating huge age gaps or marrying off their children when it still is legal to marry off your children. Now the age of consent in a lot of places is 16. The age of consent in Europe, a lot of the time is 15 or 14. So I, I think we're, I think we still need to have conversations about that. And in like every community is going to have a different idea of what the expectation of sex is. But look, my whole life, my parents were called prudes because they didn't want us to have sex in high school. Okay. Like we were considered prudes as a family because we weren't allowed to date in high school, even though we all secretly dated to some extent. And I think that's something that's interesting where my parents wanted to protect us from predators, but people thought we were all prudes because they thought it would be cute if people dated, but they were trying to avoid teenage pregnancy, but also like potentiality for predators. Right. And so there's something about that. Like, I do think it's weird when freshmen and seniors date because like they just left middle school and you're going to college. But also I can understand why it might work. But also I assume you're going to break up after you leave for college because it makes no sense for somebody in college to be dating somebody who's a sophomore in high school. Like, what are you what are you doing? But at the same time, there are so many cultures in which this age gap is not the biggest deal. But then but again, my brain is like, well, just wait until they're a little older. But then people don't want to do that. And so there's like so many things that to be true, this is very layered. How old would you let your kids date? Who are they allowed to date? What age group are they allowed to date? And if it's just temporary, why are they dating at all? Like if it's just temporary, like why are we dating at all? Right? And then there's always, there's so many things that go into this conversation. That it's very more pedoey. But Western culture, is there some? I've never got that impression. Me neither. I mean, if you, can you provide an example, Dan? Well, the thing that's got me, I mean, we do have like an entire generation of people that were raised on the Disney Channel that was being run by this pedophile guy and all True. these young girls have been sexualized and they all abuse drugs and <laughs> turn out with all kinds of problems and everything. I think that there is uh, at least, it, but that's the reason I wasn't like speaking up is because like Western civilization is like, that's such a stupid fucking term. First of all, it's like, what, what does that really encompass? Are we talking about, I, I guess I'm just thinking more like American culture. Sure. There is like some weird shit there. Mm -hmm. But like you said, I mean, uh, all of the lolly stuff in Japan is uh, quite a bit more overt than anything we get in mainstream American culture. Well, I mean, you look at England, you look at the proliferation of like Jimmy Savelle, although I guess <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see. Well, let's see. He'll explain. And Much not to mention the kids need to be protected. And for most of human history, they absolutely haven't been. And that's just the truth. The entire country of France. Mm. Mm. All pedos. <laughs> Sometime a baguette is not a baguette. Don't ruin was, the for us. Wasn't the movie Cuties mm, out of France? That gets so French? Oh, people saying Nickelodeon. Right, Dan Schneider was Nickelodeon. But all the Disney Channel kids, uh, it's just, I don't no, know. They all turned out fine. They yeah. all turned out great. Good. But what's that? I don't, I don't think they're baiting adults to want to fuck the I, I think that's just more creepy. Um, he's saying it's taught in society. Uh, yeah, he's saying it's taught. I missed that day of school.
Right. <laughs> yeah, taut specifically? Yeah. No, but I, I wouldn't take it so far. Like some people feel like if you shave down there, you're like secretly a, a pedo. I don't believe that shit. I just fucking hair itches, bitch, and I don't want it down there. But like, I think some people might desire a hairless woman because of their own like perversion. But I don't think it's wrong to not like hair. You know what I'm saying? So I think there's like that conversation about okay, what? Because there is definitely a PDF file energy to a lot of the media we consume, to a lot of the porn we consume. But to be fair, there's all, you know, okay, here's my ultimate theory. Human beings are so traumatized from being these little creatures evolved over time that a lot of our media is a reflection of us as a whole and we are attracted to trauma. Fifty Shades of Grey sold out so quickly because women don't know how to ask for passionate sex without it being given to them through like an abuse story. Um, like men don't feel like they're being seen or like even heard in terms of like sexual desires and they're afraid and they feel ashamed for wanting to do interesting and unique things. We see, so then they like reach out to like robots and AI and maybe they don't have relationships or maybe there's like so many things that move into all of these things. But I think ultimately like all of it is like very traumatic, which then begs the question, are the religious conservatives correct that when you like are a healthier person, you don't want porn and sex and stuff. Maybe. I don't think so though. I think you can be healthy and want to engage in porn or watch porn. But I think in order to have a healthy relationship with porn, you have to like go through a lot of hurdles of self-discovery. So I do think like we want um, toxicity and trauma because we don't know any better. But I'm telling you, you can know better so you can want something different. But I understand that not everybody's also on that journey. So I feel like there's something to this where like we're so traumatized that we don't even know we can have another option. It's again, I will always remember the conversation of like, are you afraid you'll be bored in your marriage because it's a healthy relationship? The world is in so much pain. And I, and I think we should remember that, right? like fetishizes young girls and stuff. I mean, I think you'd be lying if you said that. I mean, there's American some. doesn't do that. But I don't, okay, I don't know. I'm not here to, to defend Western civilization. I just don't <laughs> think that that's like a a prominent mm. feature of our culture. All I know is when I first got a phone, I looked up J-Lo sexy. Damn, <laughs> yeah. boy. I wasn't looking what up girls boy? my age. No, I, 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 like I think it is though. If you look at uh, Seinfeld or you look at um, any of the movie stars who have dated minors or even like, and look, I'm willing to, I'm willing to say there's adolescence, there's trauma. There's a reason these men never grow up. So they date younger women. I'm willing to say they're all immature and fucking stupid, but we do praise them. We do lift them up. We do shoot the tabloids. We do ignore the age differences. We sexualize kids in Hollywood movies all the time. And everyone goes, Oh, it's just the art. Is it? Or are we all just the worst people on the planet? Like, what are we doing? Why are these kids in these films? Why are we letting them act? And honestly, we're letting them act because I do think there's like a perversion to society. Oh my God, I sound like a religious person. I hate everybody. I literally sound like my mother. But like, my mom was right. I fucking hate this. My mom was right. She would cut all Hollywood and she's like, Betsy, there's bad things happening in Hollywood. I'm like, no, they want to be there. And years later, we're hearing all of these childhood actresses were traumatized. All of these people have fucking problems, men and women. And parents are still willing to put their kids in movies and in Hollywood. Like he's just he's that's not what he's saying though. That maybe not, maybe not. He's it's just trying like to he, justify he, himself he, he, for not being a fucking weirdo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, Western like, civilization is like not a concrete thing. It's not my fault. What are we really? It's not my fault. I like this shit. Yeah, he's just mm -hmm. like, oh, I was just society's fault. When growing up, it's not my fault, dude. Come on. It's not your fault. I mean, it might not be. Maybe he was abused. I don't know. It's not your fault. We don't choose. Like, and by the way, the churches are not free of sin. Obviously, they're some of the worst people when it comes to child predators. I don't think anyone will. It's crazy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Play the. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Play the air. Oh boy. Play the fog. Oh boy. Sounds like the fog. Oh. I'm confused. I'm confused about um. Like, what is it? No, it's empty. No, no, it's empty. I'm confused about. Like, what motivates pedophiles? Do they just find kids attractive? Or is it like the power and control and dominance and like the destruction of innocence? I think it's more that. That's what I think too. That's, I so think. you can't. So that, that makes more sense to me. Because there's kind of there. I mean, I really don't know disgusting. enough about it, the, like the psychology of it all. But I feel like it could be both. 
actively searching for. Yeah, because, on, I, I don't know. I, I don't know on the situation, but I think it could be both. Well, my question is, a lot of people go, "Listen, you can't control who you're attracted to, right? But just don't act on it." He said mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. However, yeah. get therapy. If it if what turns you on is literally the exploitation of them and not what they look like, mm -hmm. then it is your fault, and it is inherently immoral. Mm -hmm. There's like really no, there's really nowhere to go with that. Yeah. There's, Hmm. Not like, man, I was born this way. I'm attracted to kids, but I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna act like. I don't know if that's a real thing. If only Vosh called in, I'm sure he'd provide a well articulated. <laughs> he's, he's probably thought a lot about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I've always, a good point, Cam. I've sort of wondered. This may be a sect of it, but like the whole misogynist mentality, like the fresh and fits of like they want this unreal girl that has to be so pure. Like I feel like that train of thought gets so insane sometimes that maybe they lead to children. Like honestly, like what, 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 what like it's not realistic what they're talking about, and they just end up hating women. So. I don't know. I yeah. feel like that they might do. be two different types of pedos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It might be like They're definitely different categories, but I do think that fresh and fit in them definitely like promote towing the line in terms of age. There's this, there's this model. alpha guy that I'm going to not name, but because I don't know. If, but he, he always brags about having sex with 18 year olds and he had mm -hmm. sex with this 18 year old that just turned 18, which is fucking mm -hmm. insane. Um, Who is know. it? A red pill guy? I can type in a chat, but you know, I don't want to. Different models. If of it's only like 100% accurate. Whatever, don't give him a shout out. He yeah. 1000. Go ahead, Bosh. Shizing young girls. Does anyone else kind of get that feeling a little bit, just a smidge, possibly? Not like every guy's a pedophile, and I don't believe that, but like the way we hyper fetishize youth for girls is like really weird. We. Do we do that? Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't feel that way in the yeah. way, not like he's describing. Who's we? Not it. I do think this is, see, this is why I say Ethan's not a progressive, because progressives have been talking about this for a really long time. It's absolutely in media, it's absolutely everywhere, it's absolutely on billboards, it's absolutely in fashion magazines. I'm not even trying to be like, Contrary, I have. It's absolutely on TikTok. No idea what he's talking about. Um, it's like really infantilization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not talking like a kink thing or anything. Like if you're doing some weird diaper play, have fun. Okay. No, what I what I mean is like in every aspect of our depiction of sexual relations between men and women, um, we almost always uh, uh, uh associate youth with desirability when it comes to women, but not just I youth. Like, yeah, you hold on, he's saying two different things. Yeah. He's saying, oh yeah, men want younger women instead of older women. Versus, do you think everyone's taught to be a pedophile? Right. We're talking about adults when you say that. When you say young Ethan's too dumb for this conversation, but it is true. This is such a where's the feminist? We need a feminist who knows what they're talking about in this conversation. Younger is better. We're not talking about eight year olds in that conversation. We What's never have argument? been. As far as I was aware, we weren't. Like if you're talking earlier about than like forty. The beauty standards that are expected of women. That's another conversation. But that's not pedophilia. That, right, it's not. So I don't, could talk like, about like, I don't feel like that's what he's talking about. But. You could talk about like unfair beauty standards yeah. or expectations. It feels yeah. like he's trying to build a bridge between these two mm -hmm. islands of thought. Right. And um, that is where he loses us. Yeah. And I think he does. Because they don't know. Where is the, where's an educated feminist to come in and tell them about the history of, what is it called, guys? There's a word for it. Pedo baiting? Pedo. It's definitely, there's a word doesn't realize that. Absolutely. And, and it's his per continued persistence mm -hmm. on these topics. Mm -hmm. You know, because people before, I'd say like people like 20 to 40 are all like in a pretty conventionally attractive range. Sometimes beyond that, depending on, you know, a, a variety of things. Um, but like the girls are never like 35 or 40. They're always and what? 18. And what? And what? Yeah, and what? They're always 18. You're, you're just saying that because you're 40? I'm 26. But then why did he say, <laughs> again, he's, he's not making any sense because he goes, does anyone feel like we're all pedophiles? No. Well, don't you feel like they're trying to make us want to fuck 18 year olds? Right. Oh, yeah. we move the goalposts. Why are fucking 18-year-olds not a pedophile? Wow. Isn't that, that's what I'm saying. Look at these bubbles. So we've obviously been having these discussions in feminist circles and queer circles and um, black feminist circles because that's definitely a lot of um, black feminist activists have talked about how black children get aged up but also aged down. And there's something to that that I think is interesting. Um, and then we've talked about it in just like regular old like movie movie contexts even anime context i'm kind of surprised like none of them have heard about this doozy says olivia doesn't doesn't comment on these but she was the feminist during the abba drama bro like obviously not the right kind of feminist that's what i mean there's so many different schools who i um i'm trying to think of like who would be a good feminist to come on and explain this to them but this is a this is absolutely like a heavily researched thing in a lot of communities especially minority communities um thanks jay for being here i can't handle this conversation anymore i get it it's been a long one it's been a long one but yeah i i think there is something to this that i think is interesting no not pedo jacketing what's it called when you like pet when you i think it's called pedo baiting isn't it when you depict women and girls consistently in movies as if it's just a story about a teenager girl but it's obviously so pedos can go watch it what is that called like tiktoks i swear to god guys i swear to god 
I have seen TikToks that feel, it feels like it was made to be consumed by a disgusting person. Like they'll be look innocent. Like I'm just doing my child's hair. But when you're watching it, I'm like, why do I get the weirdest vibes from this video? And then I'll go to the comments and the comments are like, hey, this video is really weird. Take it off the internet. People are going to definitely download this video. I know it seems innocent, but it's not. Like, I'm telling you, there is absolutely that. It's really gross. And I'm like, okay, I can feel it. I can feel it. Like, this isn't just an innocent video of like a mom watching like their kid. It is like purposely orchestrated. And I'm like, oh, what is going on? Like, it feels very bad. Like, every part of me is like, no, I don't like this. You know, I don't like it. Oh, they need Judith Butler on the podcast. Oh, my God. That would be insane. They would do such a good job, though, I think. And they're very um, accredited and, like, educated. So I think maybe that would work. Um, Yeah. Shadow Beast says the fact that the most fashion models start at the age of 14 and have highly sexualized photo shoots. Bro, don't get me started, bro. Yeah, I don't like that shit on the internet, though, guys. Like, I don't fucking like that video. Like, those videos feel very sussy baka, bro. Well, buddy. Nice drive. Yeah, see? Even the breastfeeding videos. Like, okay, natural breastfeeding. I'm all about it. Like, feminists do it. But there are some breastfeeding videos where I'm like, why are you posing for the camera? Like, why are you winking at the camera? Why are you licking your lips? And I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? This isn't, like, wholesome homeschool mom, like, just, like, breastfeeding her kid. This is, like... You know what I mean? It's a vibe and it signals to the audience like. And that's why I'm like, mm -mm, that's what they're talking about. Like, I do think the world is maybe Ethan and Neela are so prudish and so innocent that they're not even in those circles. Did I tell you guys my brother, my farm brother? He was like, Brittany, Brittany. I was like, what? He's like, do you know there's a thing called the dark web? I was like, yes. And he goes, no, no, no. Do you know there's like CP on it and like horrible things happen there? And I was like, yes. And he was like dude the world is sick bro i was like this guy has four kids makes over six figures and owns a home and is basically debt free this guy has functioned his whole life basically he's what 30 31 no just discovered the dark web like a year ago maybe it's like that where i'm like huh like maybe maybe ethan and ela are just so innocent and that's so nice to be so far away from it that they're like what what do you mean we live in like a what? Huh? What? You know what I mean? Moving on. <laughs> Here is uh, him on his Discord. <clears throat> that I was telling you is just a hornet's net of disgusting freak shit. Um, <clears throat> he oh, said in his Discord. People were saying, what was that poll saying in the in the video you had? Because he had a poll. Can you check, maybe? Oh, it's from Destiny's Discord. By the way, Vash was such a pervert. He was a fan of, of Destiny, okay. and Destiny had to ban him from his Discord because of the amount of times people were saying that he was sexually harassing them. Oh, God. Destiny had to oh, ban him. Oh, boy. And oh, that oh, is, oh, when, boy. you know what's crazy? <laughs> That's when Bosch went and formed his own community. That people were like, yeah, I'm going with him. Oh. I'm going with the sexual oh. harassment guy. Really? What a great origin story. It is, yeah. Is that true? Wait, is that what you guys were trying to tell me in the Discord earlier? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, boy. So he said, <laughs> he said, they're talking about sex bots. Well, wait, if the sex bot is just a toy, then why does it matter if an adult fucks a kid robot? Do that. Listen, I think, you know what I mean? He's just asking questions. Oh, that's a, that's a crazy poll in that last video. It's asking about our Western men pedophiles. And what is the, what's so the? So there's yes, and then there's yes, but it's because society, and not sure, and then nah. And it wins yes because society for 60% of the vote. What? Whoa. That is fucking And then 12%. What the fuck? 12% says yes. Wow. That's scary. That 60% say. Wait, what was it? If a sex robot is just a toy, then why does it matter if the adult fucks a kid robot? Because society, and not sure, and then nah. And it wins, yes, because society, or 60% of the vote. What? Whoa. That is fucking and then 12%, What the fuck? 12% says yes. Wow. That's scary. That 60% said yes because of society? Yeah. Great community. So he used to go by Irish Laddie, according to chat, and then he changed his, names, his name to kind of escape the allegations. Wow. There. Yeah. Great we community. live in a society. That's crazy. So, anyway, look, it's like, you can have a philosophical uh, conversation about, can you, if you have sex with a child sex toy, is that illegal? However, in the context of everything, again, in this If my partner wanted to have, again, yeah, no. 
No. Like I'm just, I'm tr- put it in the context of your real life. That's what I'm trying to do. And look, I grew up, okay, I get it. I grew up a deviant reading all the kinds of books. I went to the BDSM dungeons for my 20s. I understand. They're all 18 plus, of course, which is the point. But I understand. But like, I think if somebody, like if I was dating somebody and they're like, hey, I want a sex robot and I want it to look like it's 12, I'd be like, canceled. Like what's happening? Like what would be the reasoning for this? You know what I mean? Like maybe there's a reasoning I'm not seeing, but no. Okay, I'll take it a step further. I'm so sorry if somebody in my community is a part of this, but I think those real baby doll things are creepy. I think there's something wrong with you. I do. And I think that there's something wrong with all of us, to be fair. I just think we all have different traumas. But I think people that like the real baby dolls and pretend they have an infant baby, but it's not a real baby. I, I think there's like, what is it? What What's your what's your problem? What do you have? Do you have a lobotomy? What's going on? Like, I just think there's something wrong with you. But I, I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm just saying like something's wrong with you. But maybe not wrong. Maybe in the ideal world, you wouldn't need to fake having a baby. Or maybe you have like Alzheimer's and like you forgot you're an adult who can have a real baby. Or maybe you shouldn't have a real baby because like you need this doll baby. I don't know. There's something there. Same thing with this. Like, <laughs> Fiddle says Vash is a bad person. Actually, the title of this live stream is, is Vash a bad person? And honestly, guys, like this is hard for me. Because everyone's on a journey and everyone's going through it. And, you know, but man, I do not want any relationship with Vosh. That's for sure. Ugh. Sage says, I've seen the argument that these things could prevent real PDF files from assaulting people. This is the only way I can see someone doing that. Yes. But that's the, what I'm saying. If you want one of them, that's the problem. So when Vosh says um, right here on this text message to the Reddit when he, or the Discord, when he says, well, if the sex robot is just a toy, then why does it matter? Because it's like, why do you want one that looks that way? Like, look, when you go to the dra- Bad Dragon, have you guys ever got a Bad Dragon? It's like a dragon dick and it's like dragon stuff. It's just kind of fun. And like dragons aren't real. It's a mythical creature. It's just fun, right? Like no dragons were, you know, hurt in the creation of Bad Dragon. But when you get a robot that looks like a child, my question is like, why do you want one of those? When you have a dragon dick, you're just like playing up a fantasy that's not even like, it's not even in reality, but a child robot's like a reflection of something that's in reality. So what are we doing here? You know? So I would feel uncomfortable if I was dating somebody who wanted the doll. Then I'd be like, why are we doing that? Like, what's the point of it? What's happening? What are we doing? What do you, what is, what is this? You know, versus like a dragon dick. I don't care about something that's mythical, girl. You know? Discord says, the problem I have with the young looking sex dolls is that the sexual pathology is often escalating in the nature. I worry the doll just would not do it in, any um, do it anymore. Yeah, same. I wonder if it would actually help or hinder. Would it stifle the desire to have it more or is it, is it actually better not to consume it? Because some people do make that argument like Sage, Sage said before. Some people think consuming ethically sourced like lolly let's say might stop people from wanting real kids but maybe not maybe it makes it work worse i don't know (laughs) and that's the thing we protect kids so the thing is like if we want to protect kids how do we do that and we have to do the studies we have to hear from the pedophiles we have to hear why they even want the kids in the first place we got to understand what's going on if they're born that way which it looks like they are okay how do we get you a pill you need how do we get you into a community of adults how do we get you away from children you know how do we get you away from kids mountain of evidence Mm -hmm. you can no longer give him what he asked for which is charitability Mm -hmm. the charitability window is closed unironically dude this is another one from discord oh love uh lolax love says i thought the real born babies were created originally specifically as therapeutic tools i mean that could be very true um but i I, if that's true then like okay so there is something wrong with the people who need them because like you wouldn't need the tool if nothing was wrong But I do think it's weird that it's on the internet and I've never, all the videos I've seen on the internet, none of them have talked about it being used for therapy. So I'm, I'm not surprised if some people have used it for other reasons, but I wonder if, like, I love that it's used for therapy. That's great. Like, that's awesome. But the ones I've seen on TikTok, they just like, they talk about people making fun of them for it and they say it's their hobby and they just like it and they like the attention they get when they're on airplanes and people treat them better in line and they get to like, I've seen videos saying like, oh, people let us cut line because they think we have a baby and like, you know what I mean? So I think some people are just like freaks. First one says, 
ready for that. I'm on do a you, He says, do you ever wonder if anyone here has ever fucked a minor while being an adult? Huh? No. Delete. Also looks like they left the Discord. <laughs> Deleted <laughs> user, by the way. Do you <laughs> like see the opinion? title? Politics. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this isn't the this sex is a talk politics one. channel. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. What is wrong with you? And then another person says, I try not to think about that. He goes, come on, guys, fess up. Who's done it? Confess. Gross. He says, Lola, Lola, Lola Mar has definitely fucked a 15-year-old. Okay, but then, so here's part two. That's crazy. <clears throat> Uh, they, someone responds by saying, I did fuck an adult as a minor. His response was, unironically hot. Oh my god. What the fuck? It's the unironically part. You're, you're really, yeah. you know... I can, is he trolling? Like, is Vosh just making jokes? Does he think he's being funny? Because, look, I've said some weird, cringy shit, but, like, it's obviously a joke. I don't know if it's... Is this a joke? I'm trying to be so good faith here. This is so exhausting. Like, is this a joke? Like, it sounds like he is asking... You know, he sounds like the guy, and I'm so sorry if this is not true. Like, I feel so bad. What an accusation to make if it's not real, like, to be totally, like, honest. But Fosh sounds like the guy who is trying to ask his friends, like, hey, so, like, how young do you like them? You know, he sounds like the guy who does kind of, like, he's kind of asking, hey, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, now it doesn't feel like a joke. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like a joke, but is it a joke? I'm, am I being, are we being cruel? Are we accusing a man of doing something that's like not true? Or is it like, is he for real, for real? It's too consistent, not a one-time thing. The writing is on the wall. I know, I don't want to ignore the writing on the wall, but like, oh man. You're really saying it. And by the way, what I'm showing you guys is is a, a fraction of the totality. Like, I knew I didn't have time to show you, so I just I just grabbed the ones that I thought were the strongest. I'm just imagining you and our Discord having these kind of conversations. Oh this my insane, god. Dude. Like, this is a massive creator. Like, is he just making an autistic joke? Talking to his audience like Well, that. I think, again, this one was, what year was this? 18, 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's trying to suss others out. Is he trying to, like, find, like, you know what I mean? Like, why is he, yeah, why is he so obsessed with this age? Great question. Why does he, why are you so obsessed with kids? So just to, to be fair to this guy, uh, Five years ago. that was still one he was just in um, Destiny's Discord. Just okay, so this is when he was in Destiny's Discord. Hmm. Creep on Discord. Okay. Yeah, he, he was just yeah. a normal creep. He wasn't yeah. a thought leader of the creeps. Mm. Okay. Okay. okay, here he is Never saying mind. that if you get CP for free, you're good to go. What if the offender is consuming child porn without paying for it? If, if you're not paying for child porn, if you're just getting it, there, there is no moral or legal argument against that. That doesn't, that doesn't also like rope in you guys. For the things that you have purchased, I would never um, make the argument that somebody who doesn't pay for child pornography but consumes in any way has committed an immoral act. I would never. What, what? if the offender is consuming child porn? So he said, "Listen, as long as you don't buy it." Why? That's crazy. What a crazy fucking take. What a crazy fucking take. Are people not okay? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for anyone that's my trigger in the audience. Do you know what CP is? Like, do you know what it is? I don't know if you know what it is, because when you say like, I couldn't imagine it's unethical for someone to consume it, you mean to watch a child get brutally graped. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I don't, I don't know if he knows, like, do you know what it is? So it's not even about the supply and demand. I'm saying an individual consuming the, an individual consuming the thing is unethical and immoral. Now, it's a made up immoral. I'm willing to con like concede on that because we're all like little evolved animals. But I'm saying take the dog out and shoot it behind the, the house. You know what I'm saying? If you're willing to watch a child get graped truly and you don't think it's take, take the dog behind the house, old yeller. Old yeller. Old yeller. Like, so is his argument that he's never heard a moral argument? If you found CP in the forest and watched it and no one ever found out, was it bad about what's what is bad about it? No one gets hurt. The, the kid in the video and you, the consciousness. So the kid in the video and you, the consciousness are willing to watch a kid get graped. It's not about people finding out. Guys, 
The harm is to you, the consciousness. You are harming yourself. The harm is that you are willing to watch a child get graped. The harm is to the self. And you're allowing the, like you are literally watching, like your ability to watch it is the indication of something gone terribly wrong. Why can you stomach watching a child getting graped? What's happening? Right? Like why? Like that is the harm. You know what I mean? So the whole idea of like, oh, no one's going to find out. You know, you found out. You. Why do you think it's okay to consume child grape? Okay? Why do you think that's okay? How could you stomach it? How could you stomach it? That's the question. It's not immoral. Which obvi- I'm not even going to have that. I'm not even going to debate yeah. him on that because it's so obviously so disgusting. Good, yeah. But then he goes, well, hold on. Actually, you can buy it too. But you believe that some consumerism is more ethical than others, right? Not all consumerism is equal, right? It's not all equally unmoral, right? I would, I would argue that in a, in a, a, um, in the sense as to its outcomes, yes, obviously there are some forms of consumption that are less ethical than others. But in terms of what it means for an individual's like ethical state, I would not argue there's a difference. I would not argue that there is anything wrong. And, I'll, and I see somebody dis, uh, disbelief in, in, in uh, super chats. I would not say that it is uh, unethical for a person to purchase child pornography or purchase blood diamonds because I don't see a major difference between that. I do. <laughs> one can be produced ethically, one cannot. <laughs> Both are wrong. No, blood diamonds can be produced ethically. That's why they're called blood diamonds. Both are wrong. Both are fucking wrong. I don't own diamonds. I don't wear diamonds. Because I saw Blood Diamond, the movie. (laughs) But like, I don't buy diamonds. Fuck diamonds, bro. Diamonds are not a girl's best friend if they're unethically sourced. I don't buy diamonds, bro. I try my best to harm reduce. I'm not asking for perfection. I will never ask anyone in my audience for perfection. Just work on harm reduction, if anything. Don't buy diamonds unless they're ethically sourced. Don't consume CP ever. Different spotted. Why do you keep talking about it, bro? And again, buying a computer with silicon that was mined up by literal... This is Cult of Dusty. They're collabing with with, uh, Vosh. Um, Cult of Dusty has been in the sphere for a long time, too. Child slaves who are worked to death and raped so more children can be born to work the next generation of slaves in Central Africa. I don't see a fundamental difference there. That's insane. You can't see a difference. I was thinking about this. (laughs) We're talking about child slaves. He's so outraged about child slaves. Police, uh, police, uh, political observer, sorry, says, I think he means diamonds can be produced alternatively, like lab diamonds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you can get diamonds that are different. Um, <laughs> Ethan is too stupid, Raheem says, to understand blood diamonds aren't ethical. Yeah, okay. Well, hmm. Dude, how dare you think that I have a, a, a detraction to minors, it mm-hmm. says to me. What would give you this idea? I don't know. You got, stop trying to gaslight me, pedophile. Pedo. And in the sense that he's attracted to art. I, I see nothing wrong about that. I mean, if the jacket fits. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So he's so he's talking about child slavery. Horrible. Here's where it would be. Ma- yeah, Jordan says it seems like he wants people to excuse his urges and actions by saying something like, "We all do this, right?" That's how I felt with Mr. Girl in in Destiny. I felt like I was being fucking gaslit when Max called me into that conversation with Destiny, and Destiny called me in or whatever, and they were, and I was like, I feel unsafe with Max, and Max is like, I wouldn't hit you. I'm not dating you, and I'm like. I feel it's weird that you would hit your girlfriends. And then him and Destiny were trying to, not Destiny so much, but Max was trying to downplay like people like getting fights with their girlfriend. That's why I say it's a red flag when people say like fighting is normal, yelling at your girlfriend's normal, cheating on your girlfriend's normal. Like might be normal, but it's not healthy kids. So again, like people might be like, hey, we all do this, right? Don't tell on yourself, sis. Because that's what you're doing. No, we do not all do this. Not unless we're toxic fuckers. And that's the point. No, we do not all do this. Some of us might have done it. Some of us go to therapy and get better. Some of us realize it's not okay. You know what I mean? When So when people go like, it's totally, everyone just does this. Like, no, we don't. That's why Max became suspicious to everybody because he kept telling on himself. And I guess like, I don't know if I believe Max is an actual PDF file, but Max is obviously like, something he's fucked somewhere but again i i'm so like minor divergency wants to be really really accurate so i'm very diff i find it very difficult to call him a pdf file because i don't know the inner workings of his brain and so that's my only hesitation is like minor divergency really wants to be accurate and it really kills me to be inaccurate in this way i try really hard to be open to, so i don't want to use this title on someone unless i'm really really sure um but same with vosh it's like 
Is this what you're doing? Are you telling on yourself? I don't know. Let's just say it at this point. I would want to bring you in a room with Mr. Girl or with Vosh. Obviously, don't date Vosh. Don't date Mr. Girl. Don't date these men. Stay away from them and keep your kids away from them. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Maybe equivalent. If to buy a diamond, jewelry or otherwise, you had to go outside of a slave camp mine. And as kids are bleeding and dying and working, you go there and you buy the blood diamond. That's that that would be comparable because you're going there. You're seeing you're there's no question. There's no ethical way to do that. You're there. You're seeing it and you're deciding to buy it anyway at the price of them being slaves mm -hmm. and being tortured or whatever, whatever. But obviously that doesn't ever happen. Mm -hmm. The the. The way that, whatever, I don't explain mm -hmm. it all. But like, it's obviously, whatever. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, they're both bad. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just such a weird point to even keep arguing in the first place. Like, why is he so passionate about it? So many times. So many times. <laughs> what we choose- I guess my point is like, he's making it seem like everyone who buys blood diamonds is there and relishing in the suffering. People right. don't know where the diamonds come right. from. People yeah. don't know where the coal come from. People don't know- Okay, that's true, true. People don't know where the chocolate comes from in most cases. Yeah. In a lot of cases, there is ethical versions you can buy. But like, the average person CP is, not know. is suffering yeah. and exploitation. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's what you're buying. Right. Well, right. That's that what is, you're buying. Yeah, you're buying the suffering of a child. Yeah. We yeah. were, yeah. Yeah. I think we were saying on Friday, like this man has a phone. This man has a streaming setup. Like he's, he's, a, he's purchasing this stuff and he knows all of the horrible things that go into creating them. So I don't know, where is, where is the line for you? Like you still are consuming this horrible thing. So that, that's what he's trying to, he's trying to say, it's just, just as bad, you know, like people don't call me up for this. Right, and, and so they go I wonder. Revolt, and then people go, he's not defending CP. Well, let's follow the logic. He's saying eating a chocolate bar from Ralph's is equally as morally bad as consuming CP. Now, what are we trying to do here? Because I go and buy chocolate bars. In fact, the mo I'd say all of us go to and buy chocolate bars. So if all of us are going and buying chocolate bars, we're morally equivalent to the people that go and buy. Is Vosh just trying to be like salacious? Is he just trying to be like, cause sometimes, I don't know, I'm really trying so hard, bro. Cause I can't tell, is Ethan like fucking blowing the lid on Vosh right now? CP. Mm -hmm. And then therefore the conclusion is going and buying CP is basically like going to the store and buying chocolate bars. It's it's this, yeah. it's this pretzel of rationalization. Mm -hmm. And it seems to me that he's ta he's really just talking to himself. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're still buying the chocolate bars. <laughs> Sages isn't what makes a pedophile bad, their ability to harm kids. Vosh seems to be pro-children being hurt in this way, so it could be argued that it doesn't even matter at this point. He's just bad, maybe. I don't think, like, what makes pedophiles bad is their ability to harm kids. I think what makes a pedophile potentially bad is their potentiality for hurting kids um, and their proclivity towards that desire. And so I think that's what's scary. The scary, the question is, like, does Vosh have this proclivity? You know what I mean? Does he want to do this? Is he trying to like get his bros to confirm in each other? Like we do this, right? We do this, right? And I'm like, no. Because like that kind of, you know? I love chocolate. And you could use that with anything, no matter what Please. the argument is. You could say it's not ethical to kill an innocent person. And then he could say, oh, well, in the army, we, we condone of it all the time. Like it's mm. it's just an endless... You know, well, nothing. Yeah. But no, but like going in the army doesn't necessarily mean right, even death not, or, right, or something. Right. You know, it's there's much more happening. CP, the product is suffering. Again, which is why I ask for harm reduction. Because everything we do causes some sort of like harm, some butterfly effect of harm. So again, we're not asking for perfection from society. We're asking for harm reduction. You know what's a really good way to harm reduce? Not consuming CP. It's like a really, it's a no-brainer. Super easy. Don't consume that shit. Don't look at it. Don't send it to your friends. Don't fucking talk about it like it's like neutral. Don't fucking consume that shit, bro. Don't put that imagery in your head, bro. Not even for a prank. It's fucking vile. I watched a news documentary or like something. I don't remember what it was, but I was watching like a sex trafficking documentary and they didn't even show a graping, guys. They showed the beginning steps of a little girl in a gown shivering like this and a man approaching her and I lost my shit. I was like, holy fucking shit. I'm like, like just that image alone is stuck in my head forever. And it's like, holy fuck. Like I didn't even see anything. It was a surveillance tape. You're watching a guy from an aerial position and my brain, like two, and maybe I'm just sensitive, obviously, but I was like, oh my God, like, I will never forget the look on that little girl's face. It is embedded in my brain. I will start crying if I think about it for too long. I'm going to cry right now. <sighs> and to say that you can consume this, like, ethically, no, no, you fucking weird animal. That's what I'm saying.
if you can consume this without feeling any kind of revulsion, old yeller, bro, old fucking yeller for the sake of humanity, bro. Right, you're buying right. Yeah. a that's child being abused. abused. Yeah. yeah, the child is the product. Yeah, it's that's it. The child's suffering is the product. That's yeah. the product. In a diamond for the consumer, it's hidden. <laughs> right. it's not but like, <clears throat> he's a smart guy, right? He doesn't need us to explain that. No, right. no, he, he knows. fucking knows the difference. And you know what? I wonder if, like, if this has given your career so much grief, why do you talk about it so much? He keeps keep mm -hmm. going, going, going. Why is there so much of you talking about <clears throat> it on Discord and videos all throughout his career? And you're not even making a good argument. It's horrible. Which apparently you admit it. Which tells me there's passion behind it for yeah. some reason. Yeah. Because why else? <laughs> why else? I barely yeah. get triggered about stuff. But someone starts talking, saying the Last Jedi was a good Star Wars movie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and forth with you. <laughs> Truly. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think Last Jedi is a good Star Wars movie. All right, another, another day. <laughs> Hold another day. Another day. Put a pin in that yeah. for Friday. Yeah. But yeah, no, he's definitely on a mission to normalize <laughs> CP, draw yeah. CP. I feel like that's um, the only conclusion to draw. Yeah. I mean, also if you have all these accusations floating around you. I mean, again, I'm sure he would agree it was very stupid to have all that shit on his streaming computer. But <laughs> that's like part of the pathology, right? Like he can't even help himself. Like right. this dude is yeah. like browsing the internet, like just. Right click save, right click save, like I need this, I need this, I need this, like it, it is a problem, dude, it's a yeah. problem. It's absolutely a problem, but we're just being bad faith or poisoning the world some shit. I'm so curious, all these people I see, like even donating, saying, I'm fan of both, you should watch this video, mm -hmm. this context. It's like, are, are you still a fan of both? Mm -hmm. After seeing the lolly porn, after hearing all this shit, are you really still right? There's no way. You no, know, you know what's pissing me off is he's like, there's no moral argument, and I'm like, like that's the only thing that Vosh is like, why does he keep saying that? Why does he keep saying that? And if you are, there's, now that a, there's a reason for it. Now that we've explained everything, then they're... Yeah. Yeah. Why are you still there? Why are you still there? It's kind of weird. What's going on here? If he means everything he said, then we... Everything we said here today is one million percent right. Yo, Olivia's makeup is so on point today. Because what, what context everything. could yeah. be missing? Yeah. Every, he's giving us all of the context. Yeah. Well, the part when the camera stops and he goes, Psych, yeah, that, That's the only context that could change everything. All right. Yeah. Can, can, continue on, Vosh. <laughs> to care about is usually a product of our own internal biases. And I choose to care about all of it, to address it systemically, rather than fuss over the individual mm -hmm. instances of me choosing to purchase things ethically. Um, both, you do both. Again, let's say you're taking a context, you're misrepresenting. It's such dumb fucking shit, dude. We know exactly what you're saying. And he just cares so much. Bro, I just care about both. He cares about everything. All right, so, so whatever, that's him. Um, here he is. Saying vegan, okay. Sage says, I think he thinks kids can consent. Honestly, I think you might be right, bro. <laughs> I think you, maybe, maybe Vosh, yeah, maybe that's the whole issue is Vosh thinks like kids can consent on some spectrum, you know? Shadow Beast says, how did Vosh get his porn leaked? He leaked it himself at the end of his stream. Vegan gains, an interesting character. It was an accident, but. So, you know, there's. Is debating him and asking him an uh, interesting question pedophiles right who buy child pornography would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that yes really what why no Given hesitation huh <laughs> no they're directly supporting child Wait, is that vegan gains right yeah i think that's it's uh, it's hypocritical if, if i because I, I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in africa by slaves mm. therefore me buying cp i'm just look i've already done the crime right i'm just a little sprinkle a little cp on there bro you your, your rationale is sick you found a loophole in the rationale yeah, it's like, and somehow he thinks it, it lets him be like above it all too at the same time. Yeah, that bro, you've got to listen to yourself. Why what? did he use himself as an example there? That's very sus. I don't know why he did that. Keep playing it. <laughs> Seems very obvious. I'm sorry. It looks like he's cosplaying as a pedophile right now. <laughs> oh. oh, that's the context. <laughs> okay, that does change it. So he like takes off his wig. I did not know any of this about Vosh. What the fuck? Vegan beard. <laughs> not vegan gains. This isn't vegan gains. Or is it vegan gains? If I can do that, and that's legal, that's... and no one's gonna call me out my shit, then yeah, I have to be consistent in that respect. That's okay, look, um, I, I think they're- Yeah, it's funny too, because he's like, and I bought my computer. Exactly. <laughs> he's so dumb. Vosh might be the most dumb. He's so dumb. What? It's not about being consistent, you- It's a- it's about harm reduction. It's not even the same. All wrongs are not the same kind of wrong, bro. What? You guys let this guy into the debate space? He's an idiot. Man, I look, I just, I'm gonna slap the fuck out of him, bro. Oh my God. What? He's autistic, dude? Yeah, okay, everyone here is autistic and we're, this is not his autism. This is his fucking reductionness. Damn, right? That's wild, bro. Okay, I always knew who Vegan Gaines was, but I never knew what he looked like. Noted. That's I bought my computer and did that crime. Yeah, he bought the chocolate, bro. If you want to be so consistent about it all, maybe avoid buying the Yeah, computer. how does Vosh live? Like, just die. You might as well just die, bro.
if you see no difference in the consumption of CP versus buying a computer, like old yeller yourself, bro. With the no. thing in it, that's bad. Well, he, he can't. And look for the uh. chocolate that's made mm. ethically. Like, go out of your way. He still bought the computer. Yeah, maybe he's like, I already got the computer, so. That is. Fuck it. Might as well <laughs> put some stuff on there. Stay guys. And here's one more clip of him. Um, Trying to rationalize a nice little oh, space five bucks. for him to Once the product CP. is on the shelf, it's gone through the supply chain already. Don't pin the producer's fault to the consumers, Jesus Christ. The five bucks. Well, consuming does do harm because you're giving money to the industry. I just don't think it's morally wrong. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so Vosh's morals say it's not wrong. Vosh is a bad person. In Britney's values. Britney's values say Vosh, bad person. Don't let him around children. Ban him from being able to have babies. Um, no one should ever date him. And if you've had your, his dick inside of you, you should question yourself. Okay. He's allowed to have this opinion. Brittany's values say mm -mm, this human being bad. No, anything with children bad. No exceptions. Basically no exceptions. Some exceptions. I'm nuanced. I'll make exceptions about culture and evolution and, you know, starving out villages and my no, like my new communities that like I have no technology, but like this is a modern man in the modern world with all of the modern and like, uh, no, no, mm -mm, sorry. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, absolutely not. Shadow B says, well, Brittany, you're really approving your genocidal cult, cult leader. I know. Well, you know what? No. Sorry, like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't like him. I would never trust this man around children. Like, absolutely not. Sorry. Like, unless you, like, again, I want passionate people who want to protect kids, bro, especially because, again, you're saying it's not morally wrong, which means his personal morals. That's totally fine. Gross. How did I not know this about Vosh? I'm new to the community, guys. I just found out about Destiny like two years ago. Like I knew who he was because people had told me about him, but I never watched him. I never watched Hassan or Debate Bros. I only came into the community to collab with Steven because someone in my audience was like, talk to Steven. And I was like, okay. And then Vosh was already out of the community. I came into Steven's work during the whole Anna arc. Like I'm literally so new to the debate space, bro. I am like, I'm just, I was chilling in a completely different space. I was minding my own business. And now I have to watch Vosh justify CP, bro. Oh, is this the right spot? Uh, chaos, the five bucks. So would you say the people who purchase child porn are just as bad as the people who sell it or no? <laughs> no, not, not even slightly. I don't think that you should morally impugn anyone who purchases child porn for the same reason I wouldn't want to be morally impugned for buying clothing from companies that like you select. So you buy. They're not the same, bro. They're not even close to the same thing. You're not just. When you buy a computer, Vosh, you dumb fucking bitch. When you buy a computer. We're okay. So one chain of harm has happened, but I am not consuming anything through my computer that is causing more harm. When you buy CP, you are then consuming the CP. What are we talking about? Why are it's the ability to watch the CP? That's the problem. The issue is you're willing to buy it and consume it. That's the problem. What? When you buy a blood diamond, there's only one harm that's been done with CP. There's two. Like, that's just harm reduction. I'm not, a I'm just asking you to harm reduce. I'm not asking for perfection. But children, out of all the things that should be protected in this particular capacity, should start with you consuming their rapes. Oh, fuck. I said it. Okay. Maybe don't do that part, you know? Maybe not that part. What? Clothing. This is the dumbest argument. But it's also a self-report. He goes... I bought the I bought this clothing. I don't even say anything. You know, and so like if I buy a little CP, what's the difference? I mean, motherfucker, you're justifying that shit. Stop. Stop acting up too, dude. Play labor to do so. Um, however, those who produce and sell the child born, <laughs> that is an entirely different question. Mm. So that's why now you're able to, that's why he's able to live yeah, with it. Yeah, are you like getting off the harm? Doozy says you enjoy the harm, the harm is the product. Yeah, are you like getting off on children, bro? Getting raped, bro? And you're like, there's nothing morally wrong with that, bro? Or is he being so autistic that he's like, oh, when you buy it, it doesn't mean you consume it. Like, what are we talking about? Oh. Those people are the like, worst. I'm not going out of my way to record it or to create it. <laughs> Those are the worst. I'm just, just, my I'm just right click saving. I'm one computer. of the good pedos. Crazy. I'm one of the dope ass fucking cool pedos. And also at the same time, you're creating this like safe environment for creeps yeah. to hear that it's okay. He sounds like that, that woman who fell in love with her student who's like, you don't know our situation. We were in love. It's not the same. It's like, what are you doing?
Hey, rationalize right. it. What they're doing is not mm-hmm. that bad. Mm-hmm. Just a horrible thing, and people know that. That's why they need to rationalize it. So they can live with themselves. Mm-hmm. It might make you, like, really loyal to him. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it him might make you come in our chat and defend him. <laughs> right. Here he is talking about, um... His final clarification on CP. Um, sorry, I don't think that the consumption of the child pornography has anything to do with the inherent um, immorality of the production of child pornography. In case there are people in chat with brainworms who don't know this, the production of child immorality is a horrendous crime, <laughs> which is why it hasn't come up once in talking about the consumption of child pornography. Like- so the consumption isn't a horrible crime against humanity, against yourself, against the child. How can you stomach it without vomiting, dude? What? Like, I understand violence in general. Like, I've watched war documentaries. I've watched people beheaded. I've watched all that shit during 9-11 and the Iraq War. And it's still gross. But, like, sexual deviancy in particular, like, sexual violence is, like, a different level of just, like, gross. And I'm saying, like, it's all gross. But, like, on the spectrum of harm, maybe it's just our brains. I mean, some people would rather get punched in the nose than graped. So... Everyone's got a different spectrum, I guess. Like having the pictures, you know? The pictures that you could literally take one of and then have disseminated to 10,000 people with no reproduction of the original event. This motherfucker oh, is... He's talking about someone's child, He's way too detailed. Mm-hmm. He goes, yeah, you know, like, if you go on, like, uh, Napster and you download one and... For- Has Vosh answered to any of this recently? Batty Ghoul wants to know. I want to know that, too. Has Vosh really, like, rescinded any of this? Talked about it? Does he, like, maintain it? He did two days ago. Oh, yeah. What am I talking about? This is recent. Vosh just got called out and then pussied out on like, oh my god, bro. Forty thousand other people downloaded it. <laughs> it's not like there's more child. It's just that one child being harmed, and it's mm-hmm. not like the other people consuming this are gonna want more of it. Right. You sick fuck. You dirty bitch. Um, he says he says condemning CP is some lib shit. The industry is being bolstered. Well, I'm concerned with the entire fucking capitalist economy being bolstered Ooh. and the moral hypocrisy. That's like Vosh would absolutely if he was like um, a white person and the and he could own a slave, he would own a slave and be like, well, it's just like, OK, I'm trying to dismantle the whole system. But until then, I'm going to like rape my slaves like he's just like saying like, well, I want to take down the system. So until that's taken down, like I don't even care about what's happening here. It's like. Bro hypocrisy that we perpetuate when we condemn people for for participating in industries that are really icky like cp but oh, it's just cp it's, it's, just, it's a little really icky <laughs> like he's patronizing people that care mm-hmm. about it yeah. it's an icky asshole. and we just you know like oh whatever it's the rest of the industry that that really strikes me the wrong way to me this strikes yeah. this strikes to me as some lib shit this is um this is a tacit endorsement of or at the very least permission given to um the exploitative nature of capitalist industry this when, is your brain on fucking communism bro we apply Fuck this dude. hypercritical um moral condemnation to people who uh, contribute to certain industries but then the rest of it we just get free fucking past to it it's really fucking gross to me. It's like actually disgusting. So he's disgusted <laughs> wow. by people that care about CP but don't care about chocolate. I'm disgusted by you. All right. So how's that for a uh, little bingo bingo? Now here is um just one last thing. Here is his to be sorted folder from 2019. That's now four years. <clears throat> so I was just going through the VOD from the Sonic trailer and Vosh showed us his image folders. Hopefully he will do live sorting of the to be sorted map. He says it's 98% porn, so probably not. 2019. What else is in the folder, Vosh? What else is in there? Moving on, now we're going to get to his response video, and this is my favorite part. I had to catch everybody up, oh but now God. let's see what he has to say for himself we after I go pee. We watch the reaction video. It's two right. hours long. What a twist. How long are we going to be here? what a twist. You hit us with that. Here we got a ton of donuts oh that God, I can talk, talk about. Let me pop open this uh, donations tab. Uh, the crew in general is always hilarious to me. I, that's why I was going to wear my dance shirt. I was wearing it in solidarity with <laughs> fucking like, eating chips. You're eating. In the Discord, <laughs> but I just replied to. It'll bring you back up to it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's not what I expected at all. Look at this, Hila. Oh, wow. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, please like this stream. It is 3 a.m. my time almost. Please like the stream. Thank you for being here. What? That's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Wait, but that wasn't in the <laughs> stuff that we saw. That is not. That is absurd that he's like, oh, yeah, I thought of the goblin. No, you didn't. <laughs> all right, let's move on. So here he is in his stream Yo, that he did on Friday. I'm not going to tell him. Um, Friday. Fine. So at first, <clears throat> surprise, surprise, he accuses me of clip chimping. Really? Clip chimping. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ethan Klein and his... um. Uh, friends over in the H3 pod dedicated about oh. two hours of the podcast to doing like a like the platonic ideal of a bad faith Vosh is a pedophile takedown including like like Everything like like uh, five years ago like stuff that's been addressed so long that I mean I didn't see it I saw people in my discord this motherfucker oh, already sit there. I could not believe this Okay, guys, you also don't watch anyone's content. Okay, so look I'm you know me. I'm fair and balanced, bro I'm fair and balanced. Okay. I took Evan preaches I side more in that debacle between Ethan. I took Ethan's side and the Jake 
Doolittle case. And in this tide, I'm saying Ethan and Ela are probably more accurate than Vosh's, but also inaccurate in some things. But for them to be mad that Vosh didn't watch their video when they absolutely do not watch full context of Abba and Preach's videos, I think is very disingenuous. So I'll call you all out. Mama Simon says, no, no. And tell me. <laughs> I'm right out of the gate. That he didn't watch it. <clears throat> Talk about it. I didn't want to watch it myself, partly because it would just make me upset, and partly because I was getting a haircut at the time. Well, um, listen, I understand not wanting to watch something because it makes you upset, but at the same time, just don't speak At the same time, up. if you are going to talk about to it, it, you yeah, kind of do it. If you're going to do a H3 podcast after party, yeah. hey, what's happening here? Why, who's doing it? Okay, but again, like, Ethan has no place to speak on this. He literally says out loud, I didn't watch it, I didn't watch it, I didn't watch it. On this. Oh, okay, he's done. It's like, oh, I'll mess with the button, doggy. Um, but like, it, it wasn't even like anything temporal. It was literally just like, fuck this guy. My understanding is that they were even doing like the Tacoma web jokes and pretending that the Tacoma web thing wasn't a joke. Like, like oh, the, I understand okay. you're trying to be like over the top. Yeah, like, I mean, he has autism. So like, it, you gotta, you know, put it through the autist lens. And, and uh, silly, but it was still creepy and fucking weird, bro. Oh, boy. Like, no, nah, it wasn't creepy. It was just kind of silly and cringe. But like, who cares? Basically, he was saying like, he fucks and Tacoma like wept when he couldn't fuck anymore because of COVID. It's just kind of cringy, but it's like not creepy. I, I, Tacoma just wept, and we ha don't take that from don't us. Don't gaslight <laughs> me, bro. I know what the hell you were. You know, you're trying to be like over the top and silly, but you meant what you said, bro. <sighs> Tacoma he wept. Was, he was having like a heated back and forth. Yeah, that, he, that's what spurred that. I don't. I he's think lying. he's lying. He's yeah, not. He's he lying. wasn't joking. He well, told he, someone to do his research. I fuck all the time. I'm not monogamous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like no. no so he's like they think that everyone in Tacoma actually cried. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know. We know that that's <laughs> hyperbole. Right. That's a hyperbole. I literally, yeah. Yeah. The thing that people pretend to do where they see an obvious joke and act like I'm being serious Shut is a way up. of you, you, know, like you know, like yeah. or whatever. So if it's reached that level of like indiscriminate shit talking and smearing, then it's obviously not any kind of like pointed criticism. So with that in, with that in mind, like what do I even? What are, why did you make this? <laughs> why did you come and do this? Right. Uh, if that was your your insight on it, but okay. Um, <clears throat> Chatter says, Vosh, you need to watch the podcast for the full context. And here's his response. You should really watch the segment. They didn't just watch the out of context clips. They watched some of the explanations too. Um, no. Is Ethan I, oh, still live? Jesus, oh, okay. left a... Vosh is about to go live in real time. Is Ethan live right now? Are we all just live right now? Across the desk. Uh, no, I've done this so many times. So many times. Uh, like Why it's now? Been Why five is it years, now guys. that you're... I've done this so many times and no more. All of a sudden. Yeah, uh -huh. you've refused to come up with a logical defense that we think makes enough sense. Yeah, if you're being accused of something so yeah. serious, you think you'd want to watch so you can mm -hmm. defend it. Come on! Yeah. I give him space to talk. Yeah. Crazy. Sometimes it's just part of the job, even if you don't want to watch it. Right. Mm -hmm. We've had to do stuff like that. Yeah, of course. Uh, then he, oh, here. Five years <laughs> I've done this. And every time it's the same thing. Every time uh, things go down this road, it's always the same collection of like, really no, aggressively no shit, bad bro. faith, obviously dishonest. You know, I think at one point, I saw this in the Discord, somebody said that Ethan said that I had like a folder full of CP or something. What the fuck? Like, what, what bro, am I like? If you're gonna say that, you gotta at least know what the fuck you're talking about. What is there to respond to when that's the level? Like, that's the degree of... Here he is with another uh, outrageous claim based on, I guess, a chatter. The bridge, they said... Okay, so Vosh went live after Ethan already ended stream. Vosh would probably rape real children. Yeah, there was a degree of bad faith there that is not like... He said, somebody said we were saying he rape real hand, children. You know? It's like from my side of the river. So we said that, as far as I can remember. Um, here he talks about Ethan betrayed me. We were friends. Mostly just really saddening because I thought that um, Ethan Klein and I were on good terms, which I know he made fun of. I think at some point he was like, huh, as if I would ever be friends with this pedophile, which is really disingenuous. Didn't say that. So it's, it's all based on stuff you've heard from people or <laughs> comments. He's talking in so much detail. Yeah. He's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? But he's got this, like, cartoon version of the show in his head. Yeah, well, I'm a cartoon, I'm a cartoon <laughs> snake. You know? Yeah, he was really friendly to me. Uh, back when I had a channel strike, he um, talked with me about offering to give me access to his content manager on YouTube. Wow, so I did something nice for you and therefore... Like, bro, by the way, I help people all the time whenever I can with video and IP and YouTube shit because I know how bad it sucks. And when I've been in positions where I don't, I help everybody you with that shit. You people who yeah. were considered enemies. Who, yeah. who have a career out of talking yeah. shit about you, you've helped them. Yeah. I help everybody with that shit because I think it matters, okay? So Would I try to talk to Vosh about it? Would Vosh even talk to me, I guess? I don't know. Like, I guess I would just ask him for clarification, I guess. But I don't really want to, I don't really want to associate with Vosh in that way. I mean, I just want him to clarify his thoughts, right? Like... It's the consumption of, again, like, I don't understand his moral stances. Well, me helping you with that. How are you going to use that against me? Right. He helped me. <laughs> Yo, he helped me, bro. What a hypocrite. What the fuck? So that I could deal with the strike better. And just a little while ago, when he was going through the rounds because he was doing, like, weird arguments with Hassan about Zionism or whatever, he, he didn't like a tweet that I had liked. So he reached out to me and asked me about it. We talked for a bit and I disagreed with him. But eventually... Tryptophan? Yeah, that. The tryptophan. Turkey has a lot of it. Or, or the digestive process that turkey requires produces a lot of it. Or... Okay, he's live right now, but... What is this? Oh. Eventually, I moved over and said, oh, okay, and I unlike the tweet at his request. So, like, every engagement. Yeah, that was before, like, yeah, I reached out because I didn't want, he was liking something. I don't remember what it was, but we talked, and he's like, okay, I think you're right. I'll unlike it. And, and I was like, okay, cool. That was nice. Um, That was before the lolly folder mm -hmm. and all this other shit, frankly, uh, I didn't know about most of it. But, you know what I mean? Dude, it should change, you know, shit changes.
Shit happens, bro. Sometimes your lolly folder gets leaked. And things change afterwards. <clears throat> Let's see. He says he's okay with Ethan Klein's betrayal. Bosch watches Lolly. Why does he call Nazis pedos? <laughs> to be honest, in addition to the Ethan Klein, who I would call betrayal, I'm okay with calling that. Um, you know, one of the things that really bothers me you. is that a lot of these Lollycons genuinely seem to think that everyone is a Lolly. They're doing, I said this before, they're doing the thing that racists do with is racism, where they think that everyone is racist secretly. They're just the one with the balls to like admit it. So a lot of these Lollycons think that everyone is, but like, is he? I don't know about me. They're the only ones with the stones to own up to it, or whatever. And, and, and you know, obviously, this is like genuinely repulsive. But sure, I don't understand that one. All right, I'm gonna move on. Here's the damn conspiracy. This is the good shit. <laughs> so Bosch is like, how did this happen? Uh, there must be some explanation. I do think to some level Dan is orchestrating it. Ethan could be convinced in the conversation. I, I, I because it could have been my best friend Ethan. Yeah. Yeah, my best friend Ethan would never betray me. Unless it was Dan. That's crazy. That's like, like, yeah, when dudes will blame like a girl's girlfriends for her do or doing something or thinking some way. Like whenever she stands up for herself, oh, who's telling you this? Who's mm -hmm. making you think this way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that I have no agency. I didn't do anything. <laughs> like, uh, your response, Dan? On the string. That's right. Giddy up, That's right. Giddy up, motherfucker. <laughs> Hassan fan and he doesn't like me. Oh, wait, he says you're a Hassan fan too. <laughs> right. So, okay. So, first of all, I actually didn't even know that Hassan didn't like this guy because Hassan never talks about him. Mm -hmm. um, which evidently I've learned this weekend I was watching the on stream and Bosch hates him to the extent like maybe not hates him but criticizes him all the time like he I was being it. serious when they, they all hate each other yeah he pulled, up, he pulled up Bosch's channel and searched his own name and there was like mm. so many videos <laughs> and then he went to his own channel and searched Bosch's name and there was nothing mm -hmm. um so that doesn't really check out because yeah, I, I wasn't I, I wasn't even aware that, that he didn't like you. Um, and I, worked. I saw that his son video. I was cracking up with the guy. Sounds like, like you just don't come up, dude. I, I don't know who you are. I didn't orchestrate anything. Ethan's the one that stumbled upon. All I don't know, man. When I was in the bathroom, <laughs> you and his son had some time to work shit out. <laughs> Months yeah, ago, again, the, the only I'll, I'll cop to. I was familiar with the coma wept, and I thought that clip was funny. But I, Ethan, I showed that to you really recently, right? Yes, like a month ago. Yeah, just coincidentally. Yeah, it like came up or something, and I was like, Have you ever seen this clip of the boss guy? <laughs> yeah, coma wept. So, anyways, that's that's it. That's the extent of my involvement. Everything else you, you can talk to Ethan about. Thank you. Him. There it is. So, so he claims. So he claims. I don't know. That was pretty snakeish. Snake or cartoonish, bro. Yeah. Ethan could be convinced in the conversation. I, I I don't know. I know that Dan is like a Hassan fan and he doesn't like me. And I, I've known that for a while. I heard from some people in Discord. I've known that for a while. You've known that for a while. Dan, you've <laughs> been on the radar. <laughs> We've never talked about him on never this talked show. Until Friday. This was the first time. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe I was like, oh yeah, boss, she's okay. Or something. To uh, epically own uh, the narrative uh, at the moment would be, well, leaving aside the fact that everything, literally everything has been addressed for years, so it's it's like incredibly boring, but leaving that aside, trying to address it right now, you might as well go into a church while people are speaking tongues and try to debate them out of believing in God, you know? An emotional environment that encourages irrational thinking has been constructed. Given time, given the fact that, uh, you know, uh, he was having like a schizo meltdown, honestly, from the clips that I saw, like really weird shit, um, we will, we will persist and be quietly, and then as time goes on, more loudly, uh, truthful. That's fine. Now, as for everyone who wants to update me on everything, I don't care. You don't have to tell me. Seriously, I don't. The whole point here is, oh, look, it's, it's overwhelming. This big stream, all the denunciation. Look, 57 lies, debunk them all. The purpose of stuff like this is to exhaust you. Thank, thankfully, with my um, massive brain, uh, I can sort this information uh, in order of relevance. And all of this, very low relevance. Valheim, very high relevance. Maintaining the community, very high relevance. Hmm. Hmm. What the fuck is a Valheim? You'll find out. You'll find out. Don't worry. <sighs> Bosh, he was threatening to post the DMs from you too early. He did post those DMs. They made him look bad. There was nothing. You can go see the H3 podcast if you want. There's no, like, um, fear from my end. The, 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 um, uh, I guess the, like, tide here is against irrationality. If you go for my community to go watch all that, feel free. Damn. Uh, from what I saw, it was insane. Like, genuinely unhinged. Ooh. Saw a lot of people in my community saying that it was so bad faith unhinged. it made them, like, viscerally upset, which is why uh, I Damn. didn't watch it, you know? Well, there you oh, go, man. guys. Unhinged. Oh, that's so He funny. knows, Benjamin. It's fine. Wow. The copium, bro. Eh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, Those of course Texas, Greg Wills. It's like when a bad. guy's trying to pick up a chick, and then when she denies him, they get really mad and say she's ugly, actually. What are you? What? What are you? Look at the, this little guy. Damn. Oh yeah, according to Ethan, you guys are all pedophiles, and if you're transgender and you're <gasps> watching, uh, I groomed you 
into delusionally believing that I have pro-trans politics. Wow. So that's all. You're learning this now about yourself. Vash is so bad faith, bro. What? No, I love this. Wow, I'm getting my first Vosh experience and I am... Why did you drop out of Progressive Victory? I didn't drop out of Progressive Victory. That's news to me. What? Uh, and considering the fact that I talked to Progressive Victory this morning, th that I, I think you might just be wrong. <laughs> I think you might be incorrect. Oh man, he's so off. That's so interesting. Hmm. Bulbato, none of these channels actually give a shit or care about anything. A lot of them don't really have any moral positions either. It's just drama farming. We've been dealing with people like this the entire time of streaming. The main thing that I've had to learn to deal with is not people who dislike me or hate me or have different values than me, but people who have no values at all, you know? From a lot of people on the far right to a lot of people on the left. I mean, to true. Destiny to this, clearly. The consistent pattern uh, is Ethan not, is very strong I, uh, you know, uh, uh, have trouble with people who believe different things, only from people who don't believe things. Uh, but that's fine. It's not like this is new. I mean, I agree with this in general, but like Ethan does have very specific values. I think I understand them pretty well. Does Vosh have good values? I mean, he does have values or morals. Well, I don't know, Blablato. But what are they? Ethan's live stream reached uh, 54,000 watchers, <laughs> almost as big as one of my streams. Okay, that's a joke. He's a much smaller streamer, so autism is a joke. So interesting. Yeah, he's Bro, so... what the hell are you talking about? You might think it's insane, but normies don't think that right now. Let me... Let me see if I could find a different way of conveying this information. Let me... Let me think for a second, because I've been seeing a lot of this. That's okay. This is live right now. This is like right now. Okay. Let's say there's a guy called Andrew. Arbitrary name. If there's someone named Andrew, it's not a vague post. I'm just saying Andrew. First name that came to my mind. Let's say there's a guy called Andrew, and he's a streamer, all right? Now... There's nothing really wrong with Andrew, but he's not been great at making friends. He's a bit belligerent. A lot of people don't like him is what I mean. And he goes to a streamer event, you know, TwitchCon or something, okay? And at one of these meet and greets or one of these, um, uh, you know, social events, you know, he's, he's in the company of his peers. Uh, and he's around dozens of them. It's like, let's say they're all getting food together. And at one point, you know, uh, while, while getting up to get some more food, he lets out a, a big okay. fart, a really big, like loud attention grabbing one, like people quiet down after like a really bad, like the kind him. of thing I'm that people think analogies. about for the rest of their lives. And one of those like late night, uh, morbid reflections on life and all the mistakes in I it. I zoned out. Now, what did he say? Very embarrassing to be sure. And, 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 and after it happened, you know, Andrew was like, oh, ha, 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 you know, played it off as best he could, whatever. Now. The problem is, okay, the problem is lunch table politics is fully in effect here, right? So a lot of the people here, they don't like him too much. And somebody, you don't even know who at first, but somebody starts spreading the rumor that Andrew actually shit his pants. He didn't just fart. That was a sharp. He blasted his pants with shit. And it smelled bad. Okay. Now... That sounds silly, but people really pick on it. I mean, people really, really, really pick it up, right? So Andrew gets back home from the event, gets back to streaming. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone is talking about it, right? Uh, other streamers are talking about it, laughing. People are going over it and laughingly, la laughing, commentating over it, saying like, oh yeah, that was so gross. I always thought that guy was gross, etc. This okay. is all a blindsiding, you know, uh, like completely out of nowhere. To Andrew, right? So Andrew thinks, right? He thinks, hold on, okay, I've got a community of people who like me, a lot of whom seem to think I shit myself because that's the only information they've been provided. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can debunk this. 
because this whole thing was live streamed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a streamer event. He got up and farted and went and got food and sat back down and continued to eat there at that table for two and a half hours, during which nobody acted weird around him in person. How could he have shit himself that that was the case? Wouldn't people have in any way indicated that in the live stream, either over audio or video? Look at the tapes. He couldn't have shit himself, Andrew thinks. So Andrew goes online, he goes live, and he starts saying, look, look at this stream, look this whole time. Okay. I sat right next to people. The fart was awkward, yeah, to be sure. But wouldn't there have been a different reaction if I had shit my pants? People, I'm sitting right next to people who I don't even have a close relationship with. Wouldn't they have moved away from me or indicated that? Would there somebody not have said something? The mic is picking up the speech from all the people there. Sure, sure, sure. But now people are just laughing harder. Now people are just going, dude, look, he's trying, he's so embarrassed. He shit his pants, you know? Oh, look at this dude. And he's just shit his pants and he's trying to like look through the clips like oh look at the tapes I didn't shit myself <clears throat> and 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 this renewed you know he he's he's engaged with the drama now so so now there's more content for people to go over now other live streamers commentators whatever they're making more videos they're like ah oh, you know pants shitter defends himself right and this is around the time okay this is around the time that Andrew notices something else. He doesn't know where the initial rumor spread about the mm -hmm. pants shitting. He doesn't know. Maybe he'll never know. A lot of people seem to be picking up on it and believing it pretty firmly, though. Andrew gets the feeling that some of the people saying it don't care whether it's true or not. Sure, of but course, now, it's the internet. pictures are circulating around. It looks like it's a screenshot from the live stream of the recording of the dinner they all did together. Sure, it's the internet. He was wearing gray pants. Yep. Unsoiled, completely clean gray pants. But somebody has edited sure. a frame from the live stream mm -hmm. and added a dark smear to the backside of his pants. So he It circulates like wildfire. Look! He tries to defend himself in the video. Look, clearly this is the evidence. Now, this image is obviously doctored. It's just one frame out of the video. The video in its original form is still uploaded online in the servers of a third party, you know. Um, but it doesn't stop people from taking to the picture. People lose okay. their minds. So what does Andrew do? Andrew goes live, and he breaks down why that picture is fake. He goes, look, look at this. This is ridiculous. This is a single frame. First of all, mm -hmm. the editing isn't even very good, mm -hmm. okay? Look, it doesn't look, like, realistic. Uh, and what's more, like, you can compare this against the video file. This is from when I got up. There's no, we like, you it. can look at the video footage. And there's the no. Long, we get it, bro. And how do you think people react to this? Oh, look, this guy's trying to, this guy's trying to fucking figure out the pants shitting pit. Look, he's, 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 he's denying, he's so fucking embarrassed. Oh my God. He's, he's trying to like John Madden it with like red lines in a picture. Are you fucking kidding me? This dude shit his pants and he's trying to argue against it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. We get it. What could Andrew have done? Because now this is a permanent feature of his reputation. What could Andrew have done? I ask you guys. Maybe. Well, what I think, and I'm no expert, what I think is that, as I've often said in my live streams, people's willingness to hear the truth is heavily dependent upon the conditions in which they hear it, right? As we know, debates aren't a kill shot, you know? This is one of the reasons why I say that, for the most part, people shouldn't go up and debate like Steven Crowder or Ben Shapiro when they're doing their little college tours. Not only are they much more trained, uh, both on the subject and media trained, but also the environment is against you. And even if you do well, they can clip around it, right? They have that power, you know? You don't have any power in that environment. You should try to stick to environments where you do have the ability to change people's minds. And I think that's what Andrew should have done. Raging against an overwhelming torrent of disingenuous mockery doesn't get Andrew anything. Instead, what Andrew should have done, in my humble opinion, and this is generally speaking what I do when people lie about me, is understand that direct engagement usually benefits the people who were disingenuous enough to lie in the first place. You wait until things have quieted down, at least a little, knowing the full time, by the way, that 
you can clarify things to your audience. There's nothing stopping Andrew from saying no, that didn't happen to his own audience. The mistake Andrew made was raging out, you know, against the entire community space. Uh, but as time goes on and the hysteria dies down, people who encounter him, watch his streams or whatever, are will be more likely to go, oh, he didn't shit his pants. Okay, because he'll casually say it, you know? He won't, like, aggressively project this, uh, you know, insecure-seeming, uh, you know, counter-argument that just gets mocked or whatever. He's just kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, no, that didn't happen. Like, seriously, you can look at the video. And that's more convincing to a lot of people. Because okay. keep in mind, everything that everyone says online is framed through the medium through which they saw it. Meaning that him loudly raging against the nonsense uh, would have been framed for most people through others mocking him for mm -hmm. raging against it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the people he was trying to reach with all that raging, that wasn't like, like he was trying to reach the broader audience, but he can't reach them directly. He reaches them through other people. And those Jesus, other people really have on, a huh? vested interest in being disingenuous. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but is now but, none of this has anything to do with anything going on right now. What? So there's no comparison to be made. Oh my god, he's gaslighting the fuck out of us right now. What the fuck? Is it that his autism? He's making a joke, right? That's his autism. So you're saying you shit yourself. Uh I think if you have this reputation, you just have to deal with it for the rest of your life. That's what you get. You shouldn't have defended CP so often, bro. That's it. He keeps saying no one has a moral argument. Well, there you go, Benjamin. Did you just freestyle that because that was wonderful? Do you think I would have written all that down? An orthodox monkey, every time I see you in chat, at least for the past week or so, you, you've displeased me. I smite you. May you return in a, in a form more pleasing to me. Discord says, is this, are we sure this is Vosh? It sounds like a character of Vosh. I think he meant, did you think about this in advance? Well, I took a second to think first, right? Wow, the autism is so loud here. This is a very autistic community. There you go, Miss Jenna. I love that. Hmm. You should swallow your pride, go on a show. Did you hear anything that I just said? Okay, I was lying at the end when I said it's inapplicable to any current situation. I was drawing an analogy. Do you did you not understand any of that? Thanks, funny rhetorician. I know. I don't know why you would indicate that to me as though I did. I don't mean to be touchy with you guys. Uh, if nothing else, I'm sure you know. If if credit is to be given for anything. Um, probably reasonable to assume that when it comes to weathering disingenuous internet drama, I'm operating off of some, uh, you know, some basis of experience, right? Probably a subject that I, I have, um, thoughts on. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? He seems like he can't be trusted. Thoughts? Why would, Spectre, why would... <sighs> Nobody listens. Says every white man. Nobody listens to me. It's because I'm white. And I'm autistic. Nobody listens to me. No, I have not seen Blue Eyes Samurai yet. Essentially, yes, Fortuna. I have heard many recommendations of Blue Eye Samurai. Anyway, you guys really shouldn't fuss about this. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a you can rage against the heavens or not. Um, mm. As I understand it, the sort of mishmash of nihilistic drama bait bullshit the H3 podcast was about was so incoherent. I don't even know what people are saying anymore. All I know is that it's either complete nonsense or fully encapsulated by stuff that we've been debunking for literal years in this channel. There's functionally no difference, at least not, um, you know, morally or experientially. 
uh, between this and any other time Nazis have gotten rowdy about me. Is it uh, true, though? You know, it's, it's just people in chat, I think, are acting differently because some of you guys like or liked Ethan, uh, which is fine, and I understand that. Has that he being cleared said, this up before? You can't harsh my vibe, guys. You know, it's it, it takes it burns a lot of calories sitting here being right all the time. I gotta relax and play some Valheim. Wow, you his autism is you? so monotone, but I can tell when he's joking. He's pretty funny, but his monotone is so funny. I can understand why people don't know when he's joking, but like, yeah, I think I might be autistic because I actually understand his autism humor. It's yeah, it was a greatest hits compilation, <laughs> DJ Mothman. Exactly. Huh. Okay. Well, Vosh, this shit just annoys me because it could be literally disproven by taking 10 minutes out of your day to... Yes, that's what lies are. This this isn't a, a product of poor research. It's just... uh, it, it's, it's lying. Yes. It's been known to happen. People do it sometimes. Um, you know, you can... You can lose a lot of your life getting frustrated at other people's willingness to be awful to you. Um, and to an extent, that's your choice. But you shouldn't let that impede you in managing it appropriately, right? Like, if you're despairing it, uh, at it in a way that um, hampers you. Hmm. Okay, so... He's just not going to address it. I mean, that's fine. He can make that decision again. Like I'm so for protecting children. I'm surprised he doesn't, maybe he just doesn't want to protect kids, bros. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like it should, it could never get tiring to like protect children, but it might get tiring to have to defend yourself. Maybe he's just, you know what? It feels so weird to be yes, like, I know Sergeant Dave. Like, what an opportunity. You know, you all need to get it out of your system now because I will be muting you people for continuing to drama farm and chat when we're playing Valheim. Can't let you get in the way of that. He could have, like, gone on H3, advocated for kids, advocated for himself. I guess it would have come up virtue signaling, though. But, yeah, like, this seems weird. I don't know. I guess he won't debate Ethan about it. Okay, well. Bummer. Exactly, Annie. Okay, but Vosh, weren't you moderately raging at the machine two streams ago? No, I don't think so. But if your point is that sticking your neck out too far can get you clipped, then yes, as you're about to find out, that is true. Hush. Hmm. Okay, well. I think me and Chad just really want this to be something that could be resolved if someone just sat Ethan down and showed the facts. No. <laughs> Guys. Come on. When has it ever worked that way on this channel? When do you... Is he traumatized? Have you watched anything? I, I, I Not even just here. I mean, broadly. That's not how it works. This is, this, is why, this is why people have shower arguments, you know? Everyone, everyone likes to, to soothe themselves with reassuring fantasies that if placed in precisely the right place, they would be able to get other people to understand how they feel. Uh, to to correct misconceptions or to uh, debunk lies in a convincing way. Everyone likes to believe this. It's a universal phenomenon. The reason why it's universal is because it is universally uh, fantastical. Uh, it is a fantasy. Very rarely does this actually happen. For the most part, uh, for example, on a global stage, disagreements of ideology or fact are usually settled with economic or military disputes, not by debate. Or argument. It's just an exchange of power. Interpersonally, this is usually the case too. When people dislike other people, they convince themselves that they dislike them for legitimate reasons, when in reality, they often just don't like their vibe. Uh, you know, whole friend circles can be torn apart over largely arbitrary and vibes-based assessments of others that then get recontextualized as pe people justify post hoc why sure. they feel this, that, you know, uh, you can, you could, especially me, you, th you, especially me, like more so than any of you, this to be fair, this is autism trauma, you this would is autism think trauma. I would engage in this fantasy as well, but I've been dispelled of it. Trust me. This has happened enough times. Okay. When people hate you and want to lie, they hate you and want to lie. That's it. You know, 
you can you know fantasize about like uh you know oh well if i just said this to that no no for the most part it doesn't work that way you know the presumption of good faith is exactly that a presumption and it's often an unjustified one most of the time when people are interacting especially in an online space like you know with with all the clout and the games and the bloody blah, blah, blah in an environment like this uh most of the time good faith is not the first priority to say the least so don't worry about it you know because I, I i see people you know everyone is like oh i'm just so mad i get that you're mad and i appreciate that but if you think an injustice has been done there are two roads you can go and one of them helps both of us and one of them doesn't and the bad road that you can go down is one of anger and mutual commiseration and you let the community de be defined by indignation at what other people have done or you be cool if you like the community and you must to think that this is wrong then be cool and make the community good okay Okay, I think he has trauma from not being seen, like you guys said. I think he probably feels alienated. This space is really toxic, but I still don't understand his no, views no, on CP. Kamira. No, I'm not. What? Why would uh, this one is a bigger? Uh, all right, okay, you're right. No amount of speeches will dispel you guys from wanting to whine. Mutes, it is. Benjamin, if you do that again, you too. You've bought uh, an uh, an abstention on one mute. Interesting. Hmm. Could he be unable to defend himself? Because this is an opportunity to do it in a bigger way, but maybe he's afraid it will come back and bite him in the butt because he's not as good as debating as he thinks, or he's not good as communicating as he thinks. Or maybe, yeah, I just don't get his views on CP, like the consumption of it not being, it's not the same as Blood Diamonds. It's just like literally not, in terms of harm reduction, it's not the same. I definitely understand where you're coming from, Vosh. Of course. Above you. Because I am the sun. And we, wow. we, are, we, are all, we are all basking in, in the beautiful rays of light. In Valheim, another game with pretty, pretty light physics. We got to play Valheim. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. He's going to shell himself, like you guys said, and protect himself. Okay. Interesting decision. I just want to tell people I like Vosh without being called. Okay. Oh. How about this? Oh. I've never exactly had a great reputation online. I think this is mostly the product of people hating me and not my behavior, but opinions vary. What a little dark, um, bro. The main thing that people say to me or in my community um, when they initially believe that I'm bad but are dispelled of that notion is that the community's positivity won them over. That actually, it's not that bad. You guys are great. I'm great. Tell me, are you acting great right now? With this whining and doomerism, are you acting great? Are you being productive? He's a toxic are you, dad. If you're so concerned with the stability of the community, uh, the oh, this is bad. Oh, it's not fair. He's a narc who dad, would be bro. convinced by this? He's like certainly not his other audience. people from outside the community who already dislike me and you by extension. Oh, <gasps> don't put it that as on your kids. Evidence to uh, this community's obsession with being the victim of self-inflicted drama and nothing else. Damn. Um, he's a poisonous dad. Oh, that's interesting. Is that his dynamic with his viewers? Is he their dad? And he's like abusive to them. And he's like, they hate you because they hate me. And you love me, right? Uh, I don't think I can. I, I, I don't think I have anything more to say on that. Wow. Okay. Quit farms. Well, damn. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I didn't even know what that said. Huh. Yeah, he is a really weird. Yeah, he's super ego inflated, which is probably just an insecurity, which will, interesting. He he has weak eyes. It looks like I could bully yeah, him I'll by just looking at him, soda. honestly. All right. Yeah, I think I'd make him cry. Which he might like. I don't know if he's into that. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Damn. All right, mods, you can mute anyone who's annoying. I'll read all the donations that have been donated up until this point at the end of stream. Until then, I'm turning um, 
PTS on. There we go. Valheim, Valheim. Hmm. Vosh from Phase 3. Hello. You think the title would help. He's put Ace 3 in the title. He should probably change it to Valheim. Damn. Whoa, that's loud. Hold your horses there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm done. I don't care. Okay, well, good luck, Vosh. 6,300 people watching. Damn. Subscriber chat only? No, thank you. Damn. Damn. Okay. Do we want to finish out the Ethan and Ela thing? We're not even done with it, actually. That was interesting. He's got a very interesting way to speak and the way he like conveys his ideas. I do think he's like, like you guys said, he's walling himself off. <laughs> Hold your horses. Slow down there, chat. Okay. So I do think he's going to wall himself off and protect himself. Honestly, it, for me, I get very overstimulated and very, very like when like, I know the internet's talking about me. So give him a few days maybe in a week he'll actually talk about it but I will say I I'm kind of surprised I guess that he's not willing to make a statement but maybe it's maybe he's overstimulated by it maybe he doesn't want to like admit that he still thinks that way I mean it's still reason I don't know there's so many things here I don't understand there's so many things here I don't understand I just don't get the whole like it's not unethical to consume CP like, you don't think it's unethical to watch a child getting graped? Like, not immoral? Like, even by his, like, his own standard. Like, my standard, like, I don't think morality needs to be consistent. Like, it needs to be, this is the problem with debate bros. It's like, morality needs to be consistent. Morality is never consistent. Life is a living contradiction. We don't, we believe in women, like, people's consent unless it's our children and they need to be put to bed or they need to eat their vegetables. Morality doesn't work that way. Morality is contextual. And in the context of consuming CP, it is never, it should not be moral. Not that it's never moral, but that I think it shouldn't be moral. And if you think it is moral, I think you shouldn't be around children. Right? He said he regrets his previous CP stances, I think. Well, then he should talk to Ethan about that. What a great, like, recovery arc. I hope he comes back in a few days and does have those conversations. You know? Discord says it's about autistic utilitarian calculation. It's math. You wouldn't get it. Yeah, well, it's not my fault. I don't do math. Okay. It's literally not even my fault. I have dyscalculia. Just kidding. Self identification, self diagnosis. Anyways, okay. Well, hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's see if Ethan has anything more to say. Something like that, like in passing, but not more than that. On know me. Like, like, and again, separating, like, I always found him cringy because of the Tacoma clip, but I had seen a couple of his videos over the years, commentary videos, was on topics I'm inter interested in. And right. like you, then it was like, it was fine. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't a favorite creator. It's, like, him, but... it's like based on the topic, sometimes he'll yeah. clip his clips and you end up take. watching it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. And that's fine. <clears throat> yeah. I guess a perception that some people have led me to believe that I don't know is true is that he fucking despises me and he kind of like set uh, this up for the dislike, nah. uh, but he wants to pretend that his hands are off it. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I know that people. Dang it. Listen to what a moron you are. Though. <laughs> like, what about bad faith, right? Like, exactly. Weird little, like, about poisoning the well. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> he may have set this up. I don't know. He may have been not liking me for a while and all this and all that, but I don't know. Okay. Well, Dan, I, I'm curious to know what he thinks that looked like, where Dan secretly orchestrated his lolly folder being leaked. <laughs> that's what's baffling me. I was like, what is going on? He did this. He created the situation. Yes. So, Dan, um, he calls you a, I think he called you a tanky, Dan. <laughs> they literally pulled up your debate with non-compete from non-competes POV and they agree with him. So by they, you mean Dan, right? Non-compete is like a tanky <laughs> YouTuber that Ethan and Matt <laughs> probably wouldn't engage with. And my fight. channel is far larger yeah. than his. So if you, and they both contain the same content. So the only reason you would get that content from his stream rather than mine, uh, kind of suggests that there's some kind of like prior bias there. I don't know. It's, what are uh, you man, it, just, it feels so disingenuous. I see what, what he's what trying to say. He's trying to say one of the clips that we had was from like a very small creator mm -hmm. that we must be, or I guess me personally must be a fan of because how else would we source it from them? So I didn't source that clip and I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> what else to say? It's, it's well, given uh, that Dan, is, Dan is jealous of me. Yeah. <laughs> True. And, so my, that's... Uh, and my, my forefathers may have been tankies, but I, I don't think I would self describe <laughs> myself as a tanky, so. I'm going to have to test, I'm going to do a tanky test on you. <laughs> tanky test. Do you think China is entitled to Taiwan? You're asking me? Yeah. Uh, no, no. There you go. That's it. See how easy? Let's go. <laughs> <Good path. laughs> um, horse explanation. Here he explains uh, that you have to be willfully dishonest to accuse him of being into horses. One of the things that they did, which, and by the way, I'm hearing this secondhand. We know. I'm hearing this secondhand. Right. I admit, if I'm wrong, uh, then that's on me. I don't want to watch it, honestly. It would just upset me. But, but you're already upset. Then don't do all this. You're already upset. They... I believe him, especially if he's neurodivergent and is stressful, he might be too stressed to watch it. He might He might be. He might be too stressed to watch it, which could make sense. I mean, it's, it's a lot of pressure. 
even celebrities feel it guys like if they really are impacted i think like taylor swift and all those people feel impacted by things obviously they're people i couldn't even imagine it honestly but do we think he's just like escaping responsibility or is he because it could be both he could be overwhelmed and escaping responsibility i don't know if he's into real horses but you know hentai horses which is like fine i guess you know, but like, I don't think he's into like, I don't know. Is he into real horses? I think he's just into probably hentai horse. I don't fall oh, This is such a weird, I don't know. Acted. He's, he's mad. As though yeah. the whole horse thing was some kind of. Yeah, wait, Discord, you're right. Then why address it at all at this point? See, okay, that's, okay. Why even like, yeah, maybe, well, because that's the problem is like, maybe he has to, I don't know. Like, hmm. Like secret that i'm trying to play off this, as he a joke. loves this point this oh they thought they're pretending like me being openly a pervert i'm been openly a pervert why are they trying to pretend like i've been secretly a pervert it's like okay dude like they were like ah uh, we found thank you sage this is sage says oh my god i'm so tired it's like 3 30 oh my god just want to say thank you Brittany, for facilitating these difficult discussions bro i'm emotionally exhausted so thank you guys for being here spoon in the chat guys spoon in the chat Whoo, I'm gonna need some spoons. I'm gonna need some cuddles. I'm gonna need some soup after this. Oh, it's 3.30 in the morning, morning. I can't believe, I, I'm like slurring my words. Found out like he really does like horse sticks or whatever, which to construct that impression, you would need to be willfully dishonest. I have emotes. Bro, I just saw a folder with horse porn in it, man. It was really not more complicated than that, you know? Making fun of it. Like, 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 like that is a, a level of willful dishonesty that I think, it's, it's stuff like that, you know? Because it means there's no real sincere effort at, I don't know, <coughs> engaging with or uncovering any kind of drama. Um, it's just an effort at like character assassination. <clears throat> Wrong. Are you and then so here's, uh, let's see, 22. Okay, someone in YouTube chat is saying it's a real horse in the unfiltered leak. Someone in Discord is saying they're all drawn. I saw the leak that somebody sent me and I only saw drawn stuff. Two um, minutes later, he says this interesting uh, little bit. We can't let this. We can't let this be smeared. Okay. If to whatever extent you know, people can say, uh, "Oh, he plays it off as this or that." Okay. I'll make it clear. You can write this down. I want to fuck a woman as a horse. None of this is a secret. I just to be clear. Okay. You know? so let's do the math on this. He doesn't. I mean, that's that's okay. That feels very okay. I want to fuck a woman as a horse. Fosh says, "Okay, he should go to Bad Dragon, get a custom horse stick." Cool. I think actually no. I actually think that's illegal. I think you can only get mythical creatures. Okay, get a dragon dick. Okay. I'm gonna fuck a woman. Does he have a girlfriend? Probably not because he doesn't think it's unethical to source CP. Bro, or to watch CP. That's the problem. What woman wants to fuck a guy whose moral compass, like which was a choice to make, is choosing not to think it's unethical to sort like to watch CP. Ew. I could like, you know what I'm saying? Like what? Like, is there a woman that agrees with this? Like, she, that, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, in order to find a partner, I mean, there's got to be women. Women also do CP crap. So, okay. He wants to be the horse. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in the folder, there's <laughs> images of a horse fucking a child. Therefore, if we're going to do the math, if he's the horse. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, do I need to say it? No. no definitely. Not. You know, if he's the horse and the horse is fucking a kid, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's just kind of what it is there, brother. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Um, lolly explanation. Uh oh. That makes sense. Here he explains. <laughs> this is the worst. This part is the. Mind. This is everyone's favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> Framing. Uh, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll explain the whole thing for those who don't know. I thought he was married. Is Vosh gay or straight or bi? I think he's bi, right? Four <laughs> days ago, I was doing oh, what pan I. Okay, Vosh is pan. Okay, well, do any of his partners, who he's going to be with? Okay, Vosh is pansexual, so not necessarily a woman. Okay, thank you, Discord. So Vosh is pansexual, apparently. Great. Now we know. I think someone said that earlier. I forgot. Um. So does anyone, any, so he'd have to find a partner. See, that's the problem is like, I'm really like, I'm so much of my attraction to somebody is like their values and his values are just like, gross. I do, which is showing chat men's formal wear and talking at them about it for hours on end. And I was going to open up an image with right click, open a new window, but instead I did right click, save as, and it opened a folder called to be sorted. The to be sorted folder, which is where I put images that have yet to be sorted. And which is, by his, own, indicate that, was which is by his own admission, 98% porn. Uh -huh. <laughs> the place that it went to, because the file type of the image, which was like, I don't know, JPEG or something. I'll find, I don't know. Um, the last image that I saved to the to be sorted folder was an image of Marcel from Dungeon Meshi being roasted by, um, uh, Gordon Ramsay while cooking a mandrake. Hold on. He's doing this thing where he's like, it's okay. not about that one. No. Nobody fucking cares about that one. Yeah, Nobody. What, what I didn't did even, he I, say? He's trying to make it seem like, <laughs> yeah, no. I don't remember that. I don't, know what I don't remember it because it doesn't matter. I'm curious what he means. He shows it. He shows it. Okay, got it. But like, Hold dude, this pain. is not. That's he's really like, I'll explain it all. Yeah, no, so no, anyway, it was just a cartoon of Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, we don't care about that one, bro. Ramsay. There we go. Off you skate, you bitch. Show it. 
See, I'm innocent. It's a good anime, guys. Yeah. And a good manga. I'm anyway, innocent. What about the other ones? Um, what about the one opened up the, uh, uh, the folder? Yeah, like the, uh, there's like 95% are porn. Let's talk yeah, about those. Preview, which showed thumbnails of images that I had in there. A lot of which were pornographic. Most of which. Okay. Though there were some non-pornographic images, including Reagan Ripley. Don't we don't, don't care. care. We don't, we don't care. care. Do not care. Don't care about those. those do not bother me about? at all, man. You know what? Don't care. <laughs> Inside job standing around You're in bikini, I think. Oh my god. Uh, um, and non-pornographic canon images of Raru from The Legend of Zelda Tears. We don't care. Don't talk about that one. Which is funny because there are I mean, I care a little bit that it's drawn even, but like, okay. There are more pornographic images of Raru in no, there than there are non-pornographic images. Yeah, but honestly, nobody cares about King Raru. <laughs> Wait, Raru. Oh, wait. Flash, Ethan, I'm reading one of the comments because I saw my name. Flash, Ethan literally went through each image that you showed and discussed them, but then afterward, after like it was all pedo shit. Well, some of it was. Is, yeah. do, is, is, is one not enough? Yeah, Bro, he only had one right. pedo image. He right. admits to two of them being. Yeah, he admits Is one enough? Like, that's the question that I think a lot of people are asking. Oh man, I'm tired, bros. In this video, yeah, it just so, looks so, so good that even non-pornographic images feel pornographic to me. Yeah, and innately pornographic <laughs> character designs. <laughs> Thank you. Why did you keep your porn? <laughs> it's to be sorted. I'm not arguing this with you guys anymore. Okay? Yeah, we get it. The most potent roasting. You know? Oh well, why even say? I don't want to argue with you guys about it. Okay? Because it's a to be sorted folder, which had the taxes in it. You know, whatever. Also, which need to be sorted. I, I don't get what's complicated about it. Um. Anyway, of the images that showed, two of them were from the same artist. Two of them, those from that artist. <laughs> that artist turned out to be a lolicon. Oh, Case closed. Did you? Oh, what? what? So. Like, listen, I'm not familiar with this, but if you are an artist that specializes in lolly con, as they call it, and they draw, and I saw this image, and I was like, wow, that's pedo shit. What are the chances that Bosch looked at this image, a professional lolly con artist, he's like, I'm the best at doing this. Nobody ever mistakes this shit for anything. That's, I, I, I ask myself these questions. This is a very hard question to ask yourself. If a person draws lolly, if a person consumes lolly, are they then a PDF file? That is a very difficult question to answer because... They could just be into children, which is not PDF necessarily. They could just be into the atmosphere that is exhibited through the vulnerability of the imagery. They could be attracted to so many different things. But I will say, like, I would definitely raise a red flag. Like, I definitely don't want to be with somebody who's, like, super – like, I, I don't think I could be with, like, a lollicon artist. Again, these are my values and my morals, but Vosh is saying it's okay. And I think that that – he, like I would need to like have a therapist examine him and examine like why does he have these thoughts? Is it pedophilia or is it actually something else? Because I could believe it's something else. And the question is, if it is something else, does that does that then lend him to being possibly a a a a a a a a danger to children or not? Which is really the only thing I care about. Is this man a danger to children? That's literally all I fucking care about. I don't care about anything fucking else. You know, because ultimately, like, we just want to protect kids. And the, the point is, like, are you somebody who's going to not protect a child when given the opportunity? And I do think when you say that my moral, my morality will allow me to consume CP without it being immoral, I, I don't think you are someone that's willing to protect a child. Like, I think you're willing to n deliberately not protect a child. And one of the easiest ways to protect a kid, I think when it's like an opportunity to the most, in the easiest way, protect a child. You know what I mean? And you say no, it feels like, what are you doing? What do you, why, why not? Why, you, why, oh, well, because like, you know, diamonds. And I'm like, what, what, what are you talking about? My kids. He goes, yeah, no, I didn't know. I knew, and I didn't know shit. One of the two, like the fact that it's a lolicon artist kind of removes Ben for the doubt there, buddy. Yeah. Images. As far, now, unfortunately, talking about this is always like a double edged sword because I can't show to defend myself, nor would I encourage you to go look it up because this is a lolicon artist, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you have that shit. Really? <laughs> yeah, good idea. Like, mm -hmm. Want to direct you to that, you know? But one of them, one of the two images from this lolicon artist, okay? To be clear. Why not? Why wouldn't you want to direct people towards it? What's wrong with it then? One of them flatly did not look like Lolicon. I'm sorry, you can say it's defensive. I think that's bullshit. I literally- Bro, I don't believe you. They're Lolicon artists. That's it. The fact that there was even any room for air means you're fucking lying. He went back and looked. The chick is like six heads tall. She literally, like, it's like, apparently, the reason why people have said that- See, just says I don't think he was talking about himself in those clips. He was saying from his moral perspective, right? And then when he was interviewed, they said, do you think it's wrong? He said, no, I don't think it's wrong. Not that Fosh himself would consume CP, but that he doesn't think it's wrong for somebody else to consume CP. That's what he said, right? Same fucking thing. It's an opportunity to protect a kid or even protect the person who's consuming it. And maybe I grew up too Catholic for this, but in Catholicism, we believe like self-harm is bad. Like guys, self-harm is not good. It's often done out of unhealthy things. We self-harm in different ways. It's a spectrum, right? Um, so obviously like we self-harm um, in many ways. Like I work out, I have fibro. When I don't work out, I'm self-harming. 
in a, some aspect, or there's a version of self-harming that's actually more like actually destructive, like cutting yourself, but all of it is coming from a place. So, you know, I'm open to the nuance of like, what is self-harm? But ultimately like, you know, one, one, you want to mitigate as quickly as possible, right? You want to like, Hey, I recommend not cutting yourself. You know, you want to try to harm reduce. So again, with Vosh, it feels like his moral compass isn't allowing him to say out loud, like you can be anti someone consuming CP bro and still be anti blood diamonds. You can do both, but like, you know what I mean? Like, so when I say like Catholics think like the self harm is also the bad, like you're hurting yourself. Why do you want to watch a kid get raped? And if you're saying it's not wrong for a person to watch a child get raped because blood diamonds, you're not even considering the consciousness that's consuming the material. And I think that's weird. So I don't know if I'm being too Catholic in that way. Like I was raised as a Catholic and I know I'm an atheist now to say like, you don't even want to consume it. Don't have the imagery in your head. It's not good for you. And then you sit there and you consume it anyways. And I'm like, what are you doing? And then you say, it's not bad to consume it. Like I'm very confused on this, like moral stance. Like it's your decision to have this as your morals. Absolutely. But it's also my decision to say, I think you might be a danger to children or you might not do what it's necessary to like protect a kid if given the opportunity, you know, <sighs> you know, Raheem, I'm not arguing what's normal. I'm arguing what's healthy. So like your question doesn't make any sense. You said is watching a cartel video that shows them de decapitated, decapitate a woman can you consume that and still be normal? I'm not arguing for normalcy. I'm arguing for healthy. No, I think consuming like violent porn, like, you know, what's that called? Guy gruesome porn or whatever. It don't consume it. It's not good for you. I have consumed beheadings. I've consumed a lot of things. I've told you this. And it was like, I want to be tough and I want to see the violence and I want to be ready in case I'm ever kidnapped. But like, it's horrible and you shouldn't do it. But like, if you're going to do it, like on a spectrum, I think it is less harmful to consume the murder of someone than it is the graping of a child. I think the graping of a child is like beyond. It is the worst of all worst. This is my bias. This is my like, this is my morals. I think consuming the graping of a child is by far the worst thing to consume on this planet. It is never, there's nothing that is worse than that. Okay, watching a baby die in war is less bad than watching a child be CP'd or watching CP, sorry, watching a child being raped. Because again, we watch, I've seen kids dead, dead in Palestine. You've seen Israelis dead. You can watch videos on the internet of war. It's horrible. It is much more tolerable to consume violence than CP. So again, if you're watching the graping of a child, okay, it is worse than watching war or people being kidnapped by the cartels or whatever else. So again, that's my spectrum. Maybe it's not yours. You guys, okay, some of you seem to have the same standard. Look, I'm not projecting that onto you. You do you. I'm not saying you have to have that value system. Vosh obviously doesn't. But yes, harm reduction and on a spectrum. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. It's a weird ass thing. Is that how people describe it? Not normal people. No one I know. Age six heads tall. It's yeah. fucking crazy. <laughs> Adult heads or child heads? So right. how old are you now? I'm six heads tall. <laughs> so he's okay. basically saying, oh yeah, I was lolly porn, but she did look pretty old for being lolly. Bro, yeah. I saw that fucking shit. insane. She's a mature baby. You yeah. downloaded lolly porn. And by the way, once again, you had two images from this artist in the peak, 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 peak tip of Mount Everest. That is your five-year-old porn collection going back to right. 2019. Right. To be sorted. Bro has his pedal jacket table fitted, dude. That's, <laughs> that's what's up, bro. He's got his like name and he's he's right? embroidered yeah. and shit. It's custom made. <laughs> But this is the best part. Everybody listen up. This is important. It's a drawing of a, um, a VTuber. Uh, uh, and the VTuber is usually drawn as a lolly. But in that case, that's blaming me for a drawing that's, that's not the drawing that was in there. So. Bro, if you fucking what? knew the VTuber and they're usually drawn as a lolly, what are you doing, brother? What are you talking about? A lot of VTubers do look lolly, though. I wonder why they do that. I've always wondered that. Why do they try to look younger than they are? Why the fuck are you lying? Why the fuck are you lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Nice return. I remember that one in a minute. So I don't, I just, I, I completely reject that line of logic. It just looked like a normal drawing. No, um, definitely not. I hope it's all okay or none of it's okay. What does that mean? What Where's are you talking about? I don't, I don't even know what you mean when you say that. Where's the goblin part? Right. I don't, like, it's, this is exact. So this is one of the reasons why stuff like this is impossible to clarify because even talking about it comes across as like crazy defensive or whatever, right? Yep. What, what, am, what else am I supposed to do? Stop doing it. Mm -hmm. Stop downloading Lolly. <laughs> yeah, just don't, don't. Let people like Ethan Klein Do you guys think I could understand Vosh? 
I feel like I'm trying to be so fucking nuanced here, but I'm also like, I really think CP is the worst thing ever, 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 ever. I really think it's the most awful, gruesome thing ever. So do you think like I could understand him? Like, I bet I could understand him better without the cameras, if I'm being honest, because I think he'd be more honest with me. I think the camera makes it dishonest. I wonder if I could understand him. I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if he'd be honest with me. He doesn't feel very honest. I think if you talk to him, you guys can understand each other. Maybe he feels, I don't know if it, like, I feel like I get him, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I and say that it was all like a folder full of Lollicon or just explain it, you know? Anyway, I explained it better than you have. One of the two <laughs> images, uh, it just flyly didn't look like Lolly. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, like cope, I, mean, I just don't care. Like disingenuous shit, you know? Like, I the know. other one right um, is like a threesome with two. No, Mr. Girl and him are not the same person. Baddie says, no, you couldn't or would want to understand Mr. Girl. Mr. Girl and him aren't even on the same page, though. Mr. Girl and him are totally different bubbles. I feel like I understand Vasha's possible because I was in the BDSM and King community. And like, I'm not sure. I think like they're different. The only dilemma is whether or not he's actually willing to admit he could be wrong or if his ego is too big or if he's too narcissistic. You know what I mean? I think that's the only dilemma. Yeah. He does seem manipulative. Yeah, I agree, Amy. That's the problem is like I don't trust him. So I'm not sure that he would ever come to me in good faith either. I don't know. Okay, you guys keep Raheem. You're going to get muted, bro. You keep saying he explained his stances. We watched him explain his stances. The dilemma is that he is not separating the difference between blood diamonds and he doesn't separate the harm. He has no context for it. He's trying so hard to be consistent that it's it doesn't make sense. Morals aren't consistent. That's not how morals work. That's a fantasy. It's a fantasy, right? You can have a harm reduction philosophy. I'm saying his stance is wrong. Only wrong in the sense that like it doesn't make sense in how humans actually work as people. Unless he's making an excuse for CP. <clears throat> Discord thinks Vosh would think that uh, EG children dying in mines collecting rare earth is worse than CP. But he is completely bad faith. But he is also complete. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. You know. Two chicks and a guy. And in retrospect, looking at knowing now that that artist is a lollicon, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> see, bro, I can... like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh, it's... come on. If it's like even that close to being underage, then you kind of like if if, there, if you can miss like, oh, that might be lolly, but I'm not sure. Then it's lolly. And you fuck, you're a lollipop, you brother. It. Not only did you, you look at it, you saved it. You wanted it forever. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want those kids to age. You wanted a snapshot of them now. Someone saved it. Yeah, that was the threesome with, I, we, we're not sure if it was a horse, but we think it was. It was like a giant horse cock. And two. Egg says, would someone not exposed to large swaths of uh, degen internet porn ever develop these traits? No, I don't think it's inherent. Like, look, I, you know, maybe I'm an anomaly. Maybe I'm special and smarter than everybody on the planet. But I just feel like a lot of us consume porn young. We consume all kinds of weird porn. And we end up just fucking fine. Because we have a really good sense of morals and values. And we want to harm reduce. So I just don't think it's about that, right? Super chat from Peanut Butter Popsicles. Which actually sounds really good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. With a diamond emoji. Raheem says, you only saw the clip that Ethan showed you. If you watched the whole video, explained it fully. Because I've seen it myself. But you you mil you... May still not like his explanations. Yeah, I mean, somebody sent me the direct link and we watched some of it. Um, not from Ethan, but from Vosh. And so maybe I should have watched more of it. And maybe we will. Um, not tonight. I'm too tired, obviously. But um, I don't know. I didn't even like his reaction, though. You know, I just feel like... I feel like you're giving him too many chances. You know, he won't even say any of the thing he had was lolly. But I saw some of it. It was obviously lolly. Like, don't be ashamed. If you're into Lolly, don't be ashamed. You follow a Lolly artist. Like, how do you follow a Lolly artist? And then he's like, none of the leaks were Lolly. I'm like, I, what are we doing? I feel like I'm being fucking gaslit. What are, what are we talking about? Young girls. I Either own the Lolly or like, don't own the Lolly. But like, he's not, he's what? He doesn't think it's unethical to consume CP. So, what does he care if he has Lolly? That's not the one? I don't know, but I don't think it was a horse one that was. Immoral, sorry, immoral. Yeah, they did. That's yeah. what I. Yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah. It's a joke. The whole thing is a joke. Is just, I, did I misunderstand him? Did he say that that Gordon Ramsay one wasn't that? Horror? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing that. I'm right, not, I don't remember. Yeah. Or maybe he said he was downloading, going to download it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. obviously he's just filibustering. Everything yeah. looks yeah. like lolly shit. Two of them are confirmed 
this is like this is Loli explicitly that he thinks one of them doesn't look like kids. He disagrees. I disagree with that. I reject that. The other one's like, oh yeah, those are definitely kids. I see where they are. I mean, guys, what are we arguing about here? There's nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Capitalism did it. It wasn't me. Good society made you want to fuck kids. Capitalism did it. It wasn't me. Maybe that's right though. Maybe that's true. I don't know. You still want to fuck kids though? So let's do something about that. Discord says, I mean, his position is that if you denounce participation in one form of unethical consumption while consuming another, then you are being hypocritical and stupid. He's wrong, though. But the H3 squad explains why that's dumb than I, why that's dumb better than I would. No, I know, I know Vash's stance. I, I think that's fine that he has that stance. I think he's wrong for the stance. I know what the stance is. I understand. I think he's wrong. I think the stance is absolutely harm going to cause more harm than good. I don't think he actually cares about harm reduction. I think he cares about sounding right, which is going to increase harm. So I agree, I think, that his stance is consistent. I think that is causing more harm than harm reducing. And it is better to harm reduce in a world that, like, is harmful. So that's what I'm saying. This is about his ego. This isn't actually about helping anybody. He doesn't care about helping anybody. With that like way of thinking, he's not helping anybody. He's just making himself feel good because like, ooh, I'm consistent. That's easier to change than society. True. <laughs> that's what I mean. Undoubtedly. Now that with two chicks and a guy, and in retrospect, looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lollicon, yeah, I can see it. When I uh, looked at it, I think the vibe that I got was like short stack, thick kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, like the way uh, like goblins that. get drawn in porn. You, you'll so. <laughs> So he says, okay, well, yeah, so this one, this one definitely looks like Lolly. However, in my defense, I thought it was a goblin. Uh, I thought I was looking at goblin porn. You'll have to entertain me for a moment on this presumed shared knowledge of how goblins get drawn in pornography. But you know how they're all like thick short stacks, right? No, that was we the don't vibe know. That I got because in the image, the girl that's shown has super thick legs no. and has like tits and a belly. So no. that's just the vibe I got. But no. now knowing that the artist is a lollicon, which I have been roundly reminded of, obviously knowing that it was intended to be a lolly drawing. So like, that's how oh, it is, right? What? It's a drawing, you get it without context. I know. I don't need context, no, it looks like a child. <laughs> context by the, lolly the context is in the damn picture. It's a child. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, who cares who painted it? What the fuck? It was drawn. That's what I'm saying. Is he gaslighting us, bro? Is he autistic? Like, what is happening? Yeah, like he's being incredibly either bad faith or he's the dumbest person who's ever existed on the internet. No, it's done by professional. Egg. That shit was no goblin too. No, that was <laughs> no, there's no goblin, goblin in there. No, we're goblin experts. He's here. the only goblin I saw. <laughs> but uh, well, he, said, he didn't say it was a goblin. He said it's like you know how he's it was a goblin. to your, uh, as he would put it, platonic ideal of a goblin. <laughs> yeah, the thing with goblins and what's up with goblins, bro? And like the games and shit like that, they're short. They are short. They're short. They're short. They're green. But they're generally green. But when they're not green, they are just short. And what are shorts? Yeah, kids. Right. Yeah, yeah. Who else is short? Kids. kids, yes. Checkmate. Are kids green? No. No, okay. Yeah. Checkmate, I think. But when I save them, I, I got save you, because both the drawings have like a meaty dick in it, and I'm a huge size queen. So, okay. like, you, about him today. You, you, you look at it in retrospect, and it's like, okay, well, now with a broader context, <laughs> I can understand how it comes off. CJ says, what do you think about Ethan's crew laughing and mocking Vosh? I mean, they're comedians. That's usually what they do. I'm not a, I'm not opposed to it. I think it's fine. I mean, my Discord's making fun of him, but, like, it's fine. Um, though they're making fun of him and giving amazing clarifying points. You guys are doing great, Discord. You're very entertaining to read. Um, I'm not I'm totally opposed to it, I guess. I think they just feel like they won. Now the question is, what do we do now? You know? Off that way. Um, even if initially you're like, so let me get this So straight. you should have just started with that and apologize and not call people liars. Why the fuck is he calling me a liar yeah. <laughs> and going on and on about all this shit? When he just said, yeah, one of them was Lollicon. So what, where's the conversation going? That's what I mean. He's like, none of them were Lollicon. One of them was Lollicon. I feel like he keeps switching his story, which makes him the liar. Oh, from here. You said I'm right. You said you look at Lolly. Why are you saying mean things about me? <laughs> Stop saying Stop mean things. Stop calling me a Stop it. Stop it. Stop calling me worm time. Stop it. At first glance, the vibe would be more fictional. Stop it. What? You'll notice. <laughs> Has anything that I've just said sounded like it would even remotely convince the kind of people who are intent on smearing me? Convince me that you're not looking at Lolly when what? you say it's Lolly. <laughs> Why am I have to say Lolly so goddamn much? I actually want a Lollipop now. Do we have any? Damn. Ooh, oh, they had some horse ones that. at the store. Oh, for real? Oh, horse lollies? Bro, what the fuck are you doing? What are you talking about, man? What? You just... You just showed up to the Chris Hansen kitchen and set, had a seat, man. And he's like, why are you judging me to Chris Hansen? Me over this. No, and, and, and frankly, the effort to defend it, from my perspective, comes across as exactly what you would expect. All right, so that was fun. I'm just going to blast through this. Here he says, don't do this to me during an election season. <laughs> That's true. I guess I should yeah. care more about the, uh, the you movement. Know, the main thing I'm concerned with is... But frankly, there's just a lot of people in Ethan's audience who I think have the wrong idea about me. Yeah. And I think that some of them might be pulled over. You know, not all. The well's been pretty poisoned, but some of them. And I think it's important to do that. Not only because it's come on my show and done it, you could have mainlined right into him, man. You know? Yeah, what? Me from an obvious career perspective. No, no denying that. But also because it's an election year, you know? All hands on deck. It <laughs> Bro, is going you to get bad. We don't want your hands on deck. It is bad. You know, this is not the time that I want 
to be doing this kind of petty drama, circular firing squad bullshit. Dude, you are such a fucking loser. The election's all riding on you, Vosh. Yeah, we don't. We're all counting on you. Uh, I need you. What will Tacoma vote for now? <laughs> I need you. Yeah. Yeah. Here he says, I'm attacking him because I hate trans people. Interesting. That's what Kefels was trying There's to say. There's probably a large overlap, Echoplasmic. <laughs> I like the part where he said this is a pedophile community. Um, yeah, did, did, did he uh, did he say that with regards to there being a lot of transgenders here? Is that what no. he meant? Mm -hmm. no, here he is. no. Why did you think? Um, definitely not. Um, weird no. First of all, bro. Yeah, like what is that? Is that a joke? Like this is just a joke, right? He's like making a joke. He just can't mean that. You know what I mean? You may not know a lot about me, but unlike you, I'm f actually for the trans. We have tons of trans audience, and we love them. Mm -hmm. and we do Pride Minute, <laughs> one minute exactly, and then get out. But mm -hmm. we got a lot of trans people in the yeah. audience, man. Yeah, we, we do. Sure. Special. Yes, we yeah. Do. To be clear, the problem was the lull. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know. It was the people that like lol. Right, that's not why we call them pedophiles. Not that you have a lot of trans people in your audience. That's not an issue. It's the lol. Yeah. Right. I feel like the, 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 drawing. Yeah. the assumption in itself is extremely transphobic, no? For yeah. To say that. Right. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of messages. And you, you know what? You may call me bad fate. You yeah. may. I've lost faith. I have no faith. <laughs> I've seriously lost faith in God from this whole thing. Yeah, it's not great. But that was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, another, and then here he says it's because he hates Israel. <laughs> this dude is grasping at the most insane straws. <laughs> what if it's because you're pro Palestine? No, no, no. It's nothing like that. Oh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> the bridge can be mended. No, wait. Yeah, no, we're... are you guys accusing me in the Discord of being more triggered by CP than by, like, slavery and items? Yeah, I think sexual violence is worse than violence. It's two whammies. I made my argument, and it's a good fucking argument. Are you making... Are you Discord, are you bullying me? I literally made a better argument than everybody. Being offended at blood diamonds is one offense. Being of Violence. Being offended at sexual violence is two counts of violence. That's why it's more egregious. It's double harm. I am the superior debate bro. Move over. My dick is 12 inches. I, hello, sexual violence is worse than physical violence because it's double the offense. That's why it's worse. Losing two arms instead of one arm is worse. It's double the violence. So obviously, it'd be worse to rape a child then force that child to carry rocks back and forth for your mining coals, whatever. Because obviously, I'm pretty sure anyone within reason would choose violence over sexual violence because it's double the whammy. But if you're going to choose sexual violence over regular violence, I don't know why you would do that because it's double the whammy. It's double the harm. That's why, my, that's why people don't like CP, bro. It's double the harm. That's why people don't like sexual violence. It's double harm. Not because people like like slavery better. It's just double harm. That's the argument. Discord says, so if it's double the violence, raping the child would be two child slaves. What? So if it's double the violence, raping the child would be two child slaves? What are you trying to say, Discord? I'm a fucking... What are you trying to say? We're just saying one-to-one. One-to-one. Would I rather my child be used as a maid in a home or as a grape slave? Obviously, as a maid in the home, it's less violence. Oh my God, I'm a debate bro. Look at me go, guys. Like, some people hate slavery more than CP. That's fine. I don't. Because I think it is, it's all about harm reduction. Harm reduction. My philosophy is harm reduction. So it is harm reduction. To have it done that way. So, your mom. No, 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 okay, no, no. So, no. So he said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was part one. That's part one. Oh. Then one point five hours later, okay. he's changed his opinion. Yeah, right he, he's changed he his opinion. He also weirdly said you were one of Hassan's people. Okay, this had better not be some weird spite thing because I'm like anti-Israel. I don't know. Like that's weird. Like what, where is that coming from? Yeah, it's not. He's just more confused about what the chatter's saying. Well, yeah, okay. Right. Said, but... Um, Hassan is anti-Israel and like. Him and Ethan are friends, so. Okay. He was one but yeah, did, uh, well, again, he's he's responding to all of this like third hand through like his yeah. chat or whatever. So like, I, I guess we'd have to go back and look at what you said. I think the chatter was even right, but I think we lumped him in with streamers like Hassan, political, political streamers. streamers. I mean, yeah, yeah. Bro, there's, yeah so, there's more. I mean, what the fuck, man? There's like a lot more. <laughs> well, it is well after five, and I know you, you know, guys really have to go. Minutes. So there's the one of him sexually harassing Poppy, who was a member. All of... right, Discord. We're doing a poll. We're doing a poll. What's worse, slavery or sexual abuse? What's worse, slavery with no sexual abuse? Because obviously the insinuation that slavery would come with sexual abuse, so that's also just as bad. But obviously we're talking about slavery with no sexual abuse. What's worse, sexual abuse and slavery or just slavery? Because sexual abuse is slavery plus sexual abuse. So obviously the sexual abuse adds an extra element, right? That's what the argument I'm making, to be clear. The argument is like, do you want slavery? 
or slavery and sex abuse? Which one, guys? That is the argument I'm making. Just the slavery would be better than sex slavery and sex abuse. Okay? That is my argument. Because the sex abuse would be consistent. Raheem says slavery is a lot worse. How is it a lot worse, Raheem? You're trolling. Because you'd be having both. It's not like one time, guys. It's not like you only get graped once. If you have sexual abuse, it's going to be continuous. So would you want slavery? Okay. Slavery and sexual abuse. In, guys, in my argument, they're both going to happen more than once. Sage says slavery implies continuous abuse. So does the CP. Guys, I'm, I'm talking about continuous. They're both continuous. What is worse? They're both worse. That's what I'm, the argument I'm making is that both situations are going to consistently happen. Okay. That is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. That was my original argument. If you heard it wrong, hear it again. The idea is like, do you want violence to occur consistently or both violence and sexual abuse? Okay. Cause like, hello. So again, um, harm reduction. I'd rather have one form of violence than two. That's all I'm saying. One form of violence versus two. That's all I'm saying. One form of violence versus two forms of violence. They do not come without the other. I'd rather die than deal with either. I mean, honestly, I got that. No option, equally bad. No, 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 no. I'm here making a stance, you know. <laughs> of, um... I think it was Destiny's Discord where she where he was like really aggressively um, uh, sexting her up in chat. And uh, like I said, Destiny had to ban him. The whole conversation's on the internet. It's really crazy. There's also bonus anti Semitism memes. Like here. These were fast. These are fast. These are fast. They're fast. <coughs> here. This is from Discord. Foreskin, I like Jewish chewing tobacco. That's fine. I don't care. Will you get me in good with the Jewish in world order if I send dick pics? I mean, okay, he's being silly. Um, I'm actually in Hollywood right now. So if anyone wants to take down the Jewish media elite, let me know. Okay. I mean, it's and then here this person says, <coughs> Jews aren't humans, they're reptiles. This is his Discord. And then he posts a picture of his lizard, my Jewish buddy, he says. Mm -hmm. Now, <coughs> listen, I'm not sensitive to this stuff. I really don't care. But as someone who represents the tolerant left, he's an Irish dude who's 0% Jewish. Do you really do you really think that you're in the right, in a good position to be doing these kinds of jokes? You know, there's more. Jews control. Oh, this one's really wild. Yeah. This one's fucking nuts. <laughs> this guy's got, this guy got boshed really good. There's, I don't know who this guy is, but. Their ideology was not aligned with reality. How, how can you tell? Because Jews don't actually control banks in the world. There was a disproportionate number of Jewish control of banks in Germany during the Weimar Republic. All right, watch, we're done here. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but like, again, just sugar and salt. Cool. Just yeah. a little sprinkle of powder. Mm -hmm. But like, first of all, they don't—they didn't control. You know, the Nazis were not correct about the Jewish people. I don't know if he was arguing like, well, he kind of was think, touch, like getting his toes wet a little bit there. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, oh yeah, and the reason he got banned for Twitch is saying that we should nuke Israel. Whatever. Also, there's one more for the road. More weird animal shit. It's not just horses he wants to fuck. It's lizards. <laughs> And one of my geckos will run down and jump on my dick like they're giving me a full body hand job. Yeah, consent is irrelevant for animals. Even pets get no say in being locked up, taken away, fixed, or euthanized. I don't think BCL should be a crime. <laughs> I put a gecko. He's doing that thing again. Okay, so I'm just, I'm done. This is what I'm going to set it up. So Vosh's moral compass is fine, but it's wrong in my opinion based off my morals. See how we go? Morals v. Morals, bitch. So he says like, we violate like you know, consent all the time. Therefore, no consent matters. And I think that's dumb. I don't think it's all or nothing. Life is about harm reduction. Thinking it's all or nothing is a mistake in thinking. And you've logically like debated your bro into the dumbest position. Okay. The point should be harm reduction. In my opinion, this is my argument I am making. So yes, we neuter and spay our animals to cause to influence like harm reduction so they don't not they they are not creating more pets that won't have homes or be fed. You break your child's consent by sending them to bed on time and making them eat vegetables because in the long run it's better for them. Obviously, we don't want to violate people's consent unless within reason it actually is better for them and causes harm reduction. So obviously when we talk about harm reduction, we're talking about understanding when in context things make sense because life is imperfect. Okay, free speech is an absolute. You absolutely do not live in a free world. You absolutely are slave to society. And you have to learn that there is a reason we do that. And often it's because of harm reduction for you and your offspring. And whether or not you like your society, well, you know, that's up to you. But there are plenty to join. You can fucking move or you can advocate for yourself and change it. But in Vosh's world, like, what's the solution, right? So God bless him. His consistency has literally made him just the most untrustworthy person in the world. I wouldn't trust him around pets or humans or animals or anything. 
Because, like, I don't know what his stances are. He says he's morally consistent. He is morally redundant. Like, that's where we're at, okay? We all know what redundant means in this community. It don't mean redundant. But, you know, okay, that's just where we're at. So, okay, again, I'm about harm reduction. That's Brittany's personal philosophy. You don't have to agree with it. I just think it's the best, most realistic one because we are just evolved animals on a planet. We're just, like, these little, like, biology bubbles, like, or I shouldn't use that, biology creatures, like evolving over time and creating constructs and figuring things out. And we're trying to do the best. And I think harm reduction is best. What is the least amount of harm within reason? Within reason. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool